Was that the first line of the podcast? Remy saying, that's amazing? No, I think the first line was you saying, is this the first line of the podcast? Because uh, <laughs> you, hit, you hit that, and then uh, he started. Well, Remy, what was, this, what was the score of the Yukon Duke game in 1999? He doesn't well, have since his computer my computer's running. not on No, right you, don't, now. you don't know that? Come on, when they won the title in... Wasn't like, that 79-77? No! 77-74. There you go, yes. It's like Why the most famous that? score ever. Because it's like... Just, that was like when they first won the title. It was all over the place. What year? Just when you 99. think you can't, you can't. 99 was like Khalid El Amin, fucking Jake Vosco. Oh, Jake Vosco. Nobody who, good in the NBA. Who was the other guy? That was the third guy, I think. No, they weren't any good. What was Okafor? 04? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Okafor. He was Remember the, the best debate? College players ever. Dwight Howard or fucking Emeka Okafor? Emeka Okafor is back in the NBA now. Apparently. You did tell me that. Yeah, That's and right. uh, Dwight Howard just got 30 rebounds and 30 points. Starting with basketball. Not good. Well, I just wanted to see if he remembered the score. So, uh, yeah, I, I was going to make a video about this, but I, I have a pl- I'm have a proud owner of a PlayStation now. Three. PlayStation 3. PlayStation 2, that little mini one. No, Remy bought me a PlayStation 4 for apparently no reason. Richard Hamilton. He was on the 1919. Yes. Duh. I wow. He, I thought he didn't win a title. Khalid Alameen, Kevin Freeman, Richard Hamilton, Ricky Moore, Jake Ross. Hamilton. Hamilton. Didn't they lose Hamilton. That year? Well, that was the year. Before. That might have been 98. When they hit, when they, they beat, beat Washington. Washington, I only know that from the commercial. Was that the year that they won the title? I'm checking. No, because I think they lost that. Maybe they, I, no, he might be right that they won the championship the year after he left. Yeah, that might. No, wait. I don't think Rip won a tournament. So you just said Rip Hamilton without knowing if he was on the damn team? Oh, he was named the 99 NCAA Tournament's Most Outstanding Player. So yeah, Rip Hamilton was on the there team. There you go. Right? So he did win a title. He, uh, so figure out what year they beat Washington. Though. He scored 27 points, seven rebounds, and three assists in that game. Hamilton. What, what uh, year did they beat Washington? Ninety eight or ninety nine? What the uh, fuck? That would be man? the nineteen ninety eight Sweet Sixteen. Yeah. The two seeded UConn against the eleven seeded Washington Huskies. Barely. So Huskies versus Huskies. Huskies versus Huskies. Wait, they were pissed because the eleven seed lost. They should have expected it. It's a stupid commercial. They weren't pissed. Yeah, the, he's like, wasn't it like Who's a UConn pissed? kid sits down at the uh, the Washington Huskies table or something at that commercial, and the family was like, "You can't sit here." Yeah, well, I mean, they still lost. I'd I be know, pissed. Like, if few NBC lost, run. if UMBC didn't win, they'd be pissed. Yeah, I don't think they'd be pissed. Yeah, they would. They'd just be like, well, yeah. we just lost to a one seed. So uh, let me find the text messages of why Remy bought me a PlayStation. At least it was on sale. Yeah, it was on sale. And it still, rationally, can, rationally, you pay me rent every month. What I do is not, said rent money. That's true, but you still bought it for me. Yeah. It's but either I bought he's it getting rent money. for free or he's getting a PlayStation for free. Pick one. Basically, got the rent for free. There you go. Uh, He's buying you things he thinks you need. Hookers? Yeah, exactly. I haven't seen any of that. Or a gun with some bullets. Um, fuck. Is we text, computer working yet? We yeah, text came on. way too much. I just scrolled up for like a minute, and I'm only at the jersey part. Yeah, he also got something else. Where? You and I text a lot, fuck. and you live downstairs. There was one time where we texted, and it was like, remember when A-Rod was on Francesa? Yep. And then, like, two years later, I was like, I just went to the top of our, our fucking conversation. I still haven't deleted it. How do you, How does your phone have enough memory for that? That's what I, I didn't realize that, like, it takes up that much space, so I deleted it. Yeah, my I phone never, ran so much fucking faster. I never delete That's why messages. I delete, like, if I'll text my parents, and then I know I'm never going to text them again, I'll just delete it. There's no point in staying there. Uh, where is it? Uh, almost, almost. We're trying to kill time really early on. I'm at the point where I'm realizing he actually did it. What happened to Odell? Oh, here we go. Junior? Three different things. What, th- more than just the Coke? Yeah. So when MLB The Show comes out next week and I buy it, do you want to just play it for three weeks straight and live out the glory of the Yankees winning? And I said, yeah, that and GTA Vice City make me want a PS4. He said, haha, don't tell Kate, it's coming next week. <laughs> and I said, why would she be bad instead of mad? You bought a video game, LOL. He said, I meant a PS4 for you. Ha ah, ha ha. I said, LOL, yeah. And then he sends me a screenshot of one item will be shipped to Christopher Ramey. Wasn't kidding. Texas Tech is blowing out Villanova 9-1. to And then what happened? You tweeted. And I was I- like, there's no way you bought me a PlayStation. And then he actually sent me the Amazon order that says PlayStation 4 Slim 1 TB console. We'll be there. I had no idea what one TB stood for. And I said Photoshop. I know April Fools is coming. And then he told me to suck it. What? Uh, and then you tweeted, "I need a Higo- Nico jersey." And he said, I "What said, size?" Yeah, I said I wanted a Nico Heisher jersey because they don't even have the damn shirts when I go to the games. And he texts me, "What size?" And I'm like, "I tweeted this." What is he? I had no idea what he was talking about. Legit, no idea. I was like, "What? Did I miss a text from him?" 
And I said, my penis is one inch. You know this. And then he said, no, the jersey. And then he bought me a jersey. What size did you buy? Large. Oh, that should be Those fun. were on sale, too. And then 15% off. You didn't even get Still. a Nico jersey for yourself. Just for Matt. You know he would never wear When do wear I ever that. wear jerseys? He guys. doesn't wear anything. He doesn't I, wear t-shirts. Jesus Christ, I'm wearing a goddamn coat down here. You don't right own now. any jerseys? When you go to a football game, you don't wear a jersey. He doesn't own any. What do you t- wear? He doesn't wear t-shirts. He probably wears wear that. What do you wear to a, a Cowboys game? I haven't been to a Cowboys game in like six years. What do you wear to? You don't go to Giants Cowboys every year? No, I usually sell the tickets. You fucking loser. Well, you probably, if you make money, I would do that too. Yeah, I make six bad. years without going to one. I mean, I went to two from him, I think, and they lost both. So I was like, fuck this. I'm not going again. Still went to two in the last six years. No, I don't. Th- I, I, mean, I, I used to wear jerseys. The last jersey I had was a T.O. Leon Lett. Wow. I think I might have seen that in college when I hung up the posters and you didn't notice. What posters? I used to wear Yankee jerseys. He had like three or four posters that he just never hung up, and I hung them up one day. He sat in the room for almost a day and didn't notice. Uh, I feel like this was a topic in our first episode. I was I'm like, oblivious to I was like, did you notice anything? And he... It's like no, I'm like well, you don't the notice the up, poster. Though. I think it was one was a TO poster. There's there's been times where Kate has like hung up a new something or other, and I just don't notice. Like, you, Do notice you notice anything? when she that, gets her that, haircut? That, that make that makes more sense. If she hung up like new drapes, he'd be like, what? I Kate don't... should just go blonde and see if he notices. I would not notice. Like she, literally, she could walk in the room with like n- her head shaved, and I probably would. It not could be think. her sister. And you'd be like, hey, Kate. <laughs> yeah, totally. Wouldn't even notice. Would they at her least brother, look alike? Hi, Kate. I would not even notice that ro- remotely. <sighs> but apparently, whatever happened with one Odell. Day, uh, co-owner John Mara said that uh, was it the I, fake bar fight that was somebody else other than Odell or was his, it his friend getting beat up by a security guard because he wanted money well it says what was Giants co-owner John Mara's reaction to Odell Beckham video and how it affects long term contract I guess my response to that is I'm tired of answering questions about Odell's behavior he knows what's expected of him and now it's up to him oh that's, on, that's about the coke one then. is that well, about the coke sounds one? like the yeah. other two weren't him no, the other anything. the other thing he had a party at his house or something, and some guy came in or was drunk or was a no, like being a dick or something. I heard he he was trying to get Odell to pay him for something that he owed him. I don't know. And then his security beat him up, and he's suing him for like millions of dollars. Well, I just clicked on an article of a financial breakdown of all the Giants' eleven free agent signings. Should we talk about that? Didn't sign Russ Cockrell. A look at one of our one of our defensive guys we signed is suspended four games. But they knew that he was going to get suspended before they even signed him. Stupid. All right, I'll give I'll give it out, and you guys can give me your opinions. You guys didn't draft or uh, didn't sign Cameron Fleming. We'll give him. A, we'll do grades. Most of these guys, I don't know who they are, so we could do grades. Nate Soldier, terms four years. Soldier, sorry, four years, sixty-two million, guaranteed thirty-four point eight. I don't know how you get to that number. He's way overpaid. Thirty. Still give that signing an A. Thirty-four point eight million and guaranteed. I don't know why. Oh, they they needed him, but he's way overpaid. But his cap hit's only ten dollars. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty low. Way amount. overpaid. You wouldn't have done it? No, they needed to do it. Exactly. I mean, it's so, better than Justin Pugh. But, uh, so, uh, no, it's that's... better than Eric Flowers. No, I mean better than giving that money to Justin Pugh. Yeah. You guys should have signed Cameron Fleming, too. Don't even know who that is. He was the other offensive tackle. Isn't that the guy you the just signed? Oh, yeah, the Cowboys signed him. Fuck you. He was so, the second best uh, tackle that was that's, a free agent. That's great. Well, we need a, a left tackle more than a right tackle. He played both. Okay. Well, so that's an A. And an then a. Patrick... A weem away, you know I they think. called Eric Flowers after they signed Solar and said, you're moving to right tackle, and then they said best five players are playing? He could fucking, so he's probably not going to play. No. Patrick Amame. B plus. Oh, Amamamu or whatever I don't know who that B-plus is. B plus signing. Apparently he was good last you year. You didn't even let me give you the terms. Oh, I don't Three years for 15, only five and a half guaranteed. Cap hits only $2.5 million as a guard. That can't be bad. He was an undrafted free agent that got... Uh, he was... He apparently he almost Niners, he apparently almost didn't make the team last year for the Jags. Had a terrible camp and then played really well and was good for the whole season. Here's the best of the bunch: Jonathan Stewart, two years, six point nine million, two point nine five guaranteed with a three point four seven D minus uh, cap hit. I don't it, understand it's why it's going to depend him. on how much what's his name signs. Darkwa. Yeah, how much Darkwa gets from another team. D minus. I don't and it doesn't matter if Darkwa signs for nothing D, or a lot. D minus. I don't know how you couldn't don't, get any other running back. I don't know how you keep. Fucking, you don't keep Darkwa, but you fucking sign Jonathan Stewart, who was terrible last year. How like, old is he? Awful. 31, 32, 32, something like that. Yeah. If yeah. anything, you guys should have signed Adrian Peterson if you're going to sign an aging he's running back. 31. He's still, he's, he could have a decent year, so I won't he's say He's younger F, than we but, are, by the but, way. But uh, D minus. I don't like that. He's, he's not going to have a good year, though. He the, had a terrible year with a good Gallman will be the starter. I don't like it. And then uh, fucking uh, 2014 Bowman Sterling All Star, Cody Latimer. One year, 2.5. Almost all of it guaranteed, 2.475, which C plus. is weird. And then 
cap hit of 2.5. Somebody posted that uh, even if he's not a receiver, you just signed a really good special teams guy with an upside to possibly be a, a receiver. Yeah, and he's so always hurt, a, right? So I give that healthy? like a, I give it a B signing because our special teams were pretty shitty last year. I say year. C plus. Well, Latimer's never had more than 19 catches in a year, so he's definitely not there for his receiving. He prowess. also was under Demarius, and uh. What's his name? Sanders. Well, now he's going to be under Beckham and Sterling Shepard. Yeah. Until they get hurt. Yeah. Whatever happened to Victor Cruz? Is he still in the NFL? No, he went to no. the Bears and then and got then cut. Did he ever play on the Bears? He got, got cut, cut before, before the season. Outside linebacker Kareem Martin. Don't know where he was. A plus. Three years, $15 million, 7.25, guaranteed, cap hit of 3.85. A, a, a plus. Find out how much Alan Hearn signed with the Cowboys for. We'll do the Cowboys next, all right? I think it was like twelve million or something like that. Resigned. We brought back Kerry Wynn. One year, one point two five million, uh, half a million guaranteed. One point two five cap hit. B. Yeah, He's fine. a fine player. Defensive end Josh Morrow. No idea. One year, eight hundred and eighty. That's the guy who's suspended. Guaranteed right. none. From the Cardinals. Morrow is suspended for the first four games and can earn six hundred four thousand one hundred eighteen. Weird number. B. W. Webb. What is that? Who? R. W. McCorders' Wh- cousin. What is a B. W. Webb? B. Dubs. He's a cornerback. Eight hundred fifteen thousand. See if he had better stats than Russ Cockrell last year. Another cornerback, Teddy Williams, one year. Eight hundred eighty. Any of these guys. Defensive back, Curtis Riley. Linebacker, Mark Herzlick. Yeah. And that was the last one. Herzlick. Those last three guys got eight hundred eighty. I think overall we're good. We're not there yet, though. I don't know who else is. But even we were there though. last year, though. We were. Twelve fucking, and four, baby. It fucking uh, what's his name? Bobby Hart wasn't so Giant fucking Giant schedule pathetic. is hard. Yeah, we're gonna suck. This Even shit. the like we finished last in our division, and we still we have to play the Niners. Can we debate on the draft now? With everyone that the uh, Eagles keep signing, the Eagles are gonna go thirteen and three next year, and the entire NFC East is gonna be terrible. At least thirteen and three, they're gonna be fucking like sixteen and zero. They're they're stacked, and it's starting to piss me off. They keep getting everybody. Doesn't make any sense. I don't understand it. They were uh, they were over the cap. They were like seven million over. What's the, the cap. penalty if you're over the cap? I don't think you can be over the cap. You have to cut people and stuff to get under oh. the cap. God, this fucking one mustache here is pissing me off. Go shave it. I was thinking you about bite it. bite it off? I bite mine I, off. If I can reach it, but this one's, like, uh, annoying. How do you Wait. bite it off? Because when you they just come like, into your mouth, you just chip it off. Yeah. Just the ends. Sometimes they do. Ramey you wouldn't know. You can't Ramey grow facial hair more than it whatever you it have. It doesn't connect. That one's not ironic. That All right, Ramey. <laughs> as a ni- have we even discussed the draft pick? What we should do with it on the podcast? Let me talk about the Giants' opponents first. Do they know Matt w- has changed? W- want to give want to give their uh, record? What you think they'll be uh, right now? Yeah, th- nothing over eight and eight as of now. The no man, I I tell you. like the games that they should win. Here, all right, home: Dallas, Washington, Eagles, obviously. Saints, Bucks, Jags, Titans. Oh, let's go one by one. I'm just gonna say them first: Saints, Bucks, Jags, Titans, Bears. Oh Fucking Jesus Christ! You got the Bears. Yeah, that's home. That's, Bears. That's one win against the Bears, maybe against the Bucks. And the Bears no. aren't even a gimme. Bucks got better. We did. <sighs> yeah, but we almost beat them last year. We were terrible. But the Bucks have JPP, so they he's going to have ter- like nine sacks. They were terrible. Yeah, but last they had year no. Too. They had no sacks. Like at just, all. just think about it. JPP against the Gi- Giants offensive they line. They haven't he had a double digit sack guy in like twenty years. And then what the the road. No, it was somebody else. Road Dallas Washington Philadelphia. Carolina, Atlanta, Texas, the Texans, Colts, gonna... and the Niners. Oh, we're, my God. We Giants can beat the Redskins top... You can beat the Colts. Yeah, the Giants are getting a top pick again. They're getting in the top five. I... All right, can we talk about draft pick real quick? Well, it's actually probably going to take like an hour to well, what's the? This. They'll beat the Colts, right? They'll beat the Colts. They'll beat Will the they if they have Andrew Luck and fucking Bradley Chubb? Mm, but they got no one else. They got nothing. Who's their running back? Exactly. It's not Frank Gore anymore. It's no one. Okay. That's a... T- for a f- well, team, they have T.Y. Hilton, Andrew team Luck, that and Bradley Chubb, that could be the draft. For a team that finished the second worst record, that's a horrible schedule. Who are those last place teams that we're facing? The Bears, the Colts, the Niners, Bears, the Niners. Who Jeez. obviously who are now are going to be amazing. God damn it! I'd rather play the Seahawks. Although last year didn't exactly work out like we thought. We thought that we'd get destroyed by Kansas City and Oakland. Those were close games. Exactly. We beat, I'd Kansas, beat City. Kansas City. I would rather play the Seahawks than the Yeah, 49ers. the Seahawks are going to well, suck next year. I mean, year. the Seahawks are terrible. This this hair is really pissing me off. <laughs> All right. Oh, Texas Tech is only up one. I want to know Ramey's what we sh- Ramey thinks what we should do with the draft pick before me and Matt discuss it as Giants fans. Oh, I need to fucking shave this thing off. Wait, no. Somebody needs to first tell me what the hell Alan Hearn signed the Cowboys with. I right, think- look that up while I go. Uh, I shave think it was my two pubes. years, twelve million. Really? He's wa- he's walking. He's walking. So away. annoying. Wait, I can't even see it. It's just one of the side ones. It's so annoying. I just chew those off. Should we just give a play by play of Matt cutting off one of the hairs look. on his mustache? See, I, see, that happens here a little bit on mine, 
But then I These shave it off. These are the longest ones, or the ones that connect. Well, then I shave it off. Oh. I've never bit it off. That's yeah, I always bite it off. I've done that before. Really? Was it? Was it? Oh, Villanova's winning. Was it successful? Do you want to yeah. just do play by play in color mission, for this game? Oh, we... going for a three. The worst the mustache yeah. I ever had was when the Giants beat the Patriots that one year. Like I didn't shave at all, and I was like, it was like eating. I was eating it on a daily basis. Dude, the like worst was when I didn't shave. shave too, and I would bite into my sandwich, and half my mustache would be in it, and then oh, it would hurt. Well, that was just your own fault. I was it doing a playoff beard. Hurt. Mine was a Ranger playoff beard too. I don't think it was. Well, you're it not was, gonna have to worry about that for a while. It was a Franklin. Oh, it was soon. a Franklin Pierce baseball what, what, one. No, thought, it was the year we went to the. Finals. What's amazing is the Rangers got rid of all their players, got a, like a bunch of draft picks, but they're still gonna finish outside the top ten. We're good. We're still good for a young team with no good players. They're winning too much. I like it though. We we got a lot of picks. The Rangers are looking good. They still got. Yeah, Two guys that have, haven't come up yet that are supposed to be studs you, from you last year. Would have been better off with losing, all the players and losing. I like our young players playing. So what well. did Alan Hearns sign with? Since you've asked a hundred times, I think he got. Two Why do years we have? Why you look it up? You're the stat boy. Well, I'm not looking up the own stat for something I'm requesting. Why wouldn't you look it up? You said you were going to do it while he went to shave his pubes. Alan Hearns signs two year deal with Cowboys. That's it. I need to know how much because I think they got. I think he took a cowboy friendly deal to sign with the Cowboys. Signed a good. two year not... deal worth fifty six million dollars with the Cowboys. NFL Network. Ian Rappaport reported. Oh, fifty six million. Nice. How much Highest did Allen Robinson sign anyone? Did, did you even come close to believing that? No, not even. <laughs> it's remotely. too high. How many beers? Like sixty beers. It's not a believable number. He signed a two year twelve million. Ah, get off. That's actually a really team friendly deal. Robinson, I think, signed with the Bears. What an idiot. He. They should have franchise tagged him. The Jags. I don't know why they wouldn't want their best receiver back. And what's his name? Hearns is still young, too. He's been injured the last couple of years, but he's young. He's like 25. Yeah, I'm sure he'll suck and drop balls on the Cowboys. He'll fit right in with Dez. Exactly. To Brian That's a great commercial. Remember that? Yeah, of course. I randomly watched that video. Fucking Dark Mane. Tell me what year that was from. Uh, 2003. That's got to be like 2003, right? I just pretended that belonged to Brian. Were you agreeing with me, or did you just I, also say 2003? That was, that was going to be my guess. Because it doesn't tell he, What me. is he just like push over a vase and he's like, he, I just pretended he throws that belonged it, to yeah. Brian Deegan. What do you think Brian Deegan's doing? What do you think Dark Man is doing? Fucking watching X Games. Oh my God. Did everybody see the uh, the thing with Jeff Fisher and Vince Young? No. Did they fuck? Vince Young apparently <laughs> sent a letter in 2013 to Jeff Fisher, like apologizing for being a piece of crap. Uh, immature player when he was. Did on he the team. apologize for being an overrated coach? Well, Jeff Fisher said that he did receive a letter for, of apology from Vince Young, but he never responded because he wasn't sure that it was really from his former quarterback. I got a letter from Vince and I didn't respond. My name was spelled wrong on the letter. The letter came from the University of Texas and I had no way of knowing if it was really from him. It came from the athletic department, but my name was spelled incorrectly. I didn't know if it was from him, so I felt no need to respond. I thought if it was from him, maybe he would have spelled my name right. <laughs> How do you? Screw I would have thought the opposite because he's dumb. Like, how do you spell Jeff Fisher wrong? Like, what is F I S C H? Maybe. I, like, did he spell Jeff with a G? How do you G? spell it? Is it just F I S H E R? Yeah. Let's t- Google it, guy. We never talked about this, but this was uh, m- weeks ago. Um, did you hear the Texas baseball coach like wouldn't accept a kid from uh, yeah, he got fired. Denver because because oh, yeah, he was like illegal. yeah he's like we don't uh, accept anyone he from Colorado fired. because you guys all smoke pot. Yeah, he got fired the next day. Yeah, good. He's a fucking idiot. Maybe he wanted to get fired. That was his ploy. What a dumbass. Montrezl Harrell. I can never find that on YouTube. They're doing Drop Madness. So Who ev- says the it? Whole- Rosenberg. Montrezl Harrell. It's uh, not on YouTube. Yeah, you they, should upload that now. They tweet it. What about this one? What do you think's better, that one or? Rob Damio. Rob Damio. Rob Damio. What the hell? It's a, it's like a disease or something. I listen to the one where fucking what's his face Don bans a guy. He does that uh, a lot. What about this is the best one of the best Don drops. Pythagorean theorem. That. <laughs> was he uh, trying to mispronounce it? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah he was doing he the was nerdy voice. Pythagorean theorem. For this Pythagorean. Yeah, and he's just doing the lisp. Don's fat. There's nothing wrong with being fat. There was one where yeah, you know he was arguing. With, garbage. He was arguing with Michael K about. I almost said Michael Cole. About how he was rooting for the Giants to no hit the Mets with like two outs in the ninth, and Kay was like, "You should never do that." Well, like, yeah, I he wanted to he's see like, it. "I wanted to see history." And I was like, "I, I would probably do that too." His wife's His a Giants fan yeah. too, huge. Yeah, but he's she's like, "I wanted to give her some happiness," and Kay's like, "She has three fucking championships. What are you talking about?" But if I was at a Yankees game, they're down five nothing with in the ninth, 
and there's like nobody on, I'd probably be like, what the hell? Let's do it. Let's see it in well, person. No one would be on. No, I mean, if they got like a base runner or two, and like, well, the tying run could be on deck. I'd be like, all right, let's try and win. But was it a perfect game? No, that was a no hitter. So like, I could unless maybe, it was like the Red Sox. Yeah, that's what he said. He's like, I have no hatred for the Giants. If it was the fucking Phillies or Braves, yeah, I wouldn't fucking. Yeah, the Mets are probably out of Red it. Sox, I'd yeah, hope definitely. Drive goes off. I'd hope Bryce Flory it like right off his face. Wow. A little reference. Didn't back Chris there. Sale just get hit in the leg or something? You said. Yeah, he got like a hip contusion. They said. If everyone knows taking off your penalty is a helmet, you know taking off your penalty is a helmet. Did he really do yeah, that? Yeah, he had no he like penalty. had like a stroke and had no idea taking that he said it. Taking off your penalty is a helmet. Hunter he Hurst said it twice. I listened to the some of the podcasts. Sex. And it was uh, we, I clicked on it and it was Sex. the random the Hunter Hurst helmet debate about how it was a stupid fucking team name. Hunter Hurst hand. Hunter Hurst helmet. Speaking of hand, I'll put my hand in your shirt. We have no drops of ourselves though. No, we don't. So I'd have to go through the podcast and listen for those. Answer it! <laughs> How has he not had a stroke yet? Fucking Don. Don. man. How has he not had a stroke? So you guys won't think this one's funny, but this is honestly the... Well, do you... You listen to Michael yeah. K. Shaw. Do you listen to uh, the early one with Rothenberg? Sometimes, not always. But you know who so he there's is. There's a yeah. Rosenberg so, and a Rothenberg? Yeah, Dave yeah, Rothenberg. Dave Rothenberg. Rothenberg. Giants, fucking man. Jews taking over? He, uh, yeah, he... um. So he, every time he sees, like, Rosenberg, he'll be like, he'll just name wrestlers. And he'll be like, oh, Ric Flair, huh? Coco Beware, huh? And then Andrew Gunling, the producer on uh, the Michael K. Show, and he does both. Um, he was like, yeah, he'll do that with me. He knows I like soccer, so he'll just, and then he says this. So this is him mocking him. Oh, Pele? Ronaldo, huh? huh? And David Vinoli, huh? Yeah. Andrew Gunling's the man. Isn't that your favorite part? What's going on with that arm? What's going on with that arm? No, you love that part. It's a great part. What fucking Sal's just like flicking his arm around. Matt, fucking when you Joe talk, this is on. all I want to say to you. Ah, thank you. But you said <laughs> you weren't going to make fun of me. Oh, you set me perfectly up for that one. <laughs> Nice. That's now that Mikey, we've used that's, all of our drops. That, that's a Mikey. I got a couple more. That's Mikey's uh, favorite Kane quote. I thought you said you weren't going to make fun of me. If you can tell me who he says that to, Ramy, I'll suck your dick. Gary Cohen has the runs. It's not Gary Cohen. <laughs> I can actually see the video. So God probably damn it. Be, Is yeah. it Ray? No. Uh, I mean, if you can see it, just might as well just say it. Get a I blow. can't see it. I was lying. Wait, who, who, guess. The Undertaker? I don't know. That's what you thought, Michael Cole, <laughs> former sheriff, big boss man, Sheriff Austin. Yes, uh, and then Austin goes. He rips the mic out of his hands, I'm not trying to make fun of you. and then he gets clotheslined. This was got to be two thousand fucking four or five. This is the one where JBL's like, "Ray, you're so stupid, you don't even know what date it is today." And he's like, "Of course I know what date it is. It's May nineteenth." And then Kane comes out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, but JBL's on SmackDown, so no. Uh, all right, so it was uh, Ray and Kane. Kane was on Jimmy SmackDown. Garoppolo. Yeah, I don't know that. Jimmy Garoppolo. Oh, I thought you said Jamie. I thought you said Janie. No, it's Jimmy. Doesn't she have a gun? <laughs> well played, sir. And I only got I got like two lists, and then like the WrestleMania 34 cards. Let's so. talk about the draft. Oh yeah, Ramy, who do you think the Giants should take, or what do you think they should do? Trade. Or why don't we just talk about? Right, just say what you what the scenario would be. I want to know what his Cleveland pick is because he's dead set that they're taking the fucking. They're take. All right. They got to take Barkley. Cleveland has to no, take. No, they're Barkley. taking Darnold. Fuck that. Or Allen, whoever they think is better. Take Barkley. One of those quarterbacks would still be there at four. Yeah, but what happens if they only like one? You I don't, take the one. There was somebody I forget who tweeted it, but it was like Cleveland has fucked up in the quarterback so many times. They have to take the guy that they really like yeah. first. They have to take him because they're gonna get Barkley if, at four. Say not necessarily. They no, are. Say, say the, the Jets are definitely taking a quarterback. That's why I think if if Barkley does not go number one, the Giants would be stupid not to draft. Yeah. Him. If if the Cleveland if the Cleveland if Cleveland doesn't take Barkley and we pass on him, I'm gonna be so fucking. If angry. we pass He's on a so quarterback, the Jets good. take him and he is great. We will never live that down. Yeah, but you don't take Barkley. You take a quarterback. The Jets take a different quarterback, pans out better, and then the Browns still get Barkley. You just have if the we don't take ever. the best quarterback, that's not – if say Cleveland takes a better quarterback at one, obviously we can't do anything about it. If we don't take the best quarterback next, we're fucked. I, honestly, I think the way Cleveland's going to work it either – well, first of all, if the Giants trade up to get the number one pick, 
It's for We're a quarterback. Not it's, it's for Darnold. Yeah, exactly. It's for Dar- which the Browns would be. I don't want not Darnold, do but if we draft him, I'm all about it. Is it Darnold or Darno? I Darnold. say I say Darno. I D- thought it was Darno. It's not fucking the Mets catcher. I think it's Darno. It's Darnold. Is I thought it's spelled Darnold. Well, if then it should be Chubb, like Jeff Fafa Dunham. Nobody really. I I, I I chuckle to myself. Nobody gets it. I, obviously, he's we a get ventriloquist. It. Rami has a sign that says "fuck me too," not "fuck me too," like "fuck me too." Darnold, there's actually YouTube videos of how to pronounce these people's names. Yeah, you play the yeah, Saquon Barkley one. It could be anyone else. All right, so, all right, Matt, what is the most important position on the team? Give me top five in order. Of what you guys need? No, of what you're starting a team. These are the positions that you just like the most position you need the best players at. Quarterback, top five, quarterback. running back, receiver, offensive no. line. No. Well, if you, if you have nobody left tackle, offensive line. So I would say quarterback, offensive line, defensive line. No, just positions. Position. Quarterback, left tackle, cornerback. Why left tackle? Because he protects the blind side. What if your quarterback's a lefty? Then a right tackle. <laughs> so choose the tackle, damn it. It's the uh, my quarterback is a righty. I'm okay, assuming. There. So quarterback, left tackle, cornerback, defensive end, wide receiver. Why cornerback? It's just what everyone says. Because it's most you need a shutdown Everyone corner. Everyone says that you need the shutdown corner. Name? No, you don't. Name how many shutdown corners are on the NFL. Yeah, and the teams handful. that have them are good. Richard I mean, Sherman in his prime. The Jets ever won a Super Bowl with Revis? No. Richard Sherman's a fucking bitch though. He just stayed on one side. At least Revis would go to both sides. Look at the Jags. They have two. Should Giants corners. believe that Eli Manning has at least three years left? That's you don't need to draft a quarterback. Doesn't. How do you know? Because he wasn't that's good these last two years. That's why talking to you about this stuff is ridiculous. See, he's what, telling Eli, me all this shit about oh, Baker Mayfield's going to be great. You've never I've seen never him play that. a I said game. I he's the most quarterback. Never he's the most any NFL of these ready. people play any game. I games. listen to the radio all the you time know, what people I actually know say. This is what I'm telling you should happen. Eli Manning should have, like, the biggest fucking heel turn. Say he's going to play, like, another three years. Giants don't draft a quarterback. He retires after this year. Be like, fuck you guys. Bench me. You ruined my streak. If they believe he's going to play another two but or three why years. Do we, why do we hire the quarterback guru coach? Because they needed a coach. Yes, but it doesn't, they didn't hire well, him. Davis Webb could still be your future quarterback. You don't know that he's not. If if the people who drafted him didn't see him enough to to think he's ready enough to play in a meaningless game, so you think Jerry why would Reese Pat Shermer good? think that? Okay, Dak Prescott. Think very highly of him. He wasn't going to even make to being the backup quarterback. You unless think Dak Prescott are just sitting screen. all over the league? No, I don't. But you know, stranger shit has happened. I, I wouldn't Davis, count on it. Davis I wouldn't, Webb. I wouldn't not draft a quarterback because Davis Webb might be a Dak Prescott, even though we've never seen him. But you don't know that a Sam Darnold is going to be a. You also didn't draft Dak Prescott because you needed a quarterback. Yeah, they kind of did. They you, drafted him knowing that he could be the future quarterback, not that he'd be the quarterback. You, exactly. Six months later, you should have had Mahomes. I I Brown they, they tried, they tried to, to trade up for him, and I think whoever got or whoever Jeez. had that pick traded them to Kansas City, and they couldn't get it done. It might have been Cleveland. Cleveland, you know no, who, Cleveland could have drafted that him or Barkley is a can't Watson. miss. None of these other fuckers are. I hope everybody I realizes the quarterback. Than a the quarterback I back. wanted in that draft was not Dak Prescott. I wanted nobody. Con- you I probably wanted, didn't know who Dak Prescott was. No, I did. I wanted Connor Cook. The Raiders traded up oh, yeah, one pick right. before the Cowboys to get Connor yeah, Cook. Connor and then Cook the Cowboys... was actually supposed to be good, though. Prescott was supposed to be decent. He wasn't supposed to be, you know, a Pro Bowl quarterback. If you're a fourth round quarterback. You're not supposed to be that good. Tom Brady. Who, who are the quarterbacks He's coming six, up and next year? He wasn't year. supposed to be good. He wasn't even the backup. That's why the Giants should take Barkley because they're not going to be any good this year anyway, and they get a quarterback next year when they have the fucking top pick. And Cleveland goes fucking eleven and five and wins the Super Bowl. I think we trade with Denver. They get their quarterback. We get Quentin Nelson. And then they still suck next year, and we get their pick next year, number one. They just signed Case Keenum, didn't they? They still want a quarterback. He's only 30. I don't think the Broncos are drafting a quarterback. Yeah, they I think just... if they trade up, they are. They've swung and missed too many goddamn times. Paxton Lynch, how You that can't not draft him? someone because you haven't drafted well in the past. That but means the Browns would never draft a quarterback. They signed Case Keenum. They don't need a quarterback right now. Oh, that's why the Browns. You, that's exactly you why think the Browns. Case Keenum's going to have another year like that. That's he why. Could, the, that's why could, the Browns so would take a quarterback. Eli, but it doesn't mean he will. Case Keenum's still young. He's only thirty. Yeah. He's yeah. still got another seven, eight years. He could be. The, so you'd be surprised if they dra- they tra- they traded with the Giants. Yeah. I wouldn't. I'd be very surprised if they. Did. I was surprised the Colts did. They don't know Andrew Luck's going to come back. They do. That means they do. He still can't even throw the football. I don't think. You think you think them trading that pick 
means they're still questioning Andrew Luck? No, I think the fact they assume Luck's going to be back. Exactly. But, but how can you assume that when he hasn't shown that the, he is? They, have, they talk to him. They talk to the doctors. I'm sure they're in the know of Andrew Luck's health. Obviously, he could get injured again, but right now I'm sure he looks fine. So I'm sure the Giants are in the know about how long Eli Manning's going to play. Yeah, but he doesn't know if we know he'll be good because he hasn't been good the last two years. Nobody was, was good sucked, last year. Two years ago, we went to the playoffs. How do you say he's not good? He didn't have a great year, though. He doesn't have to be great. He can be good with fucking Barkley. That kid is a fucking stud. I'm of the mindset you take the best player that's available. Running back is still a need for them. But you don't need a running back more than you need other positions. I'd rather take the guard than the the running back. The Cowboys drafted Ezekiel Elliott instead of Bosa. And they... Well, they had fucking... Well, their defense wrong. is because terrible. Didn't Bosa go three? Lee. But he went three. But you know what I mean? Like they they were expecting Elliott to be gone. He fell into their lap. If Barkley falls into your lap at two, you'd be yeah, stupid not to. Yeah, but how, the, how many playoff games have they won with Elliott? How many times they? How, how many playoff games have they won with Elliott? That's what I'm saying. And Elliott is not. He played one year. How many playoff games did they win with Dak? It's a quarterback. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, Dak is also the fourth round guy. How many playoff games have the Giants won with Eli Manning outside the two times they won the Super Bowl? Like it's the same thing. It, you need more than just that player to win. Yes, but we could get somebody better than Eli. We don't know. Like this is these are four supposed to be great quarterbacks. Supposed to be great. Barkley is fucking the top can't miss yeah, prospect. Barkley's the best running back prospect in better than Fournette. Ever. Better in than ever. But Zeke. it's the position that is less needed than the quarterback. But so. you have a great running back. It makes your quarterback's job easier. So if you get Saquon Barkley, yeah, if you Saquon, have whatever, it's going to make Eli's shelf life probably last longer. He could probably last another four, maybe five years. No, what will last? When you hand a the guard ball- that could protect him would make him last longer. Well, Which we you, signed already. You, you signed right, guys. I, I, you know the two can't miss pro- prospects are Barkley and Nelson, right? No, I know that. Supposedly both the Hall of Famers. If yes. both of them are so, available, you take Barkley. So was Robert Gallery. Look how that turned out. Robert Gallery. Wow. That was the guy that the Giants were talk- talking about picking instead of Eli, if Eli was gone. Which he was. They didn't know that pre-draft. Fuck but I'm saying they decided to trade instead of... But that's what Robert Acorsi was all about. Ho- that's, fucking, that's not a real guy. What's his name? Ernie Acorsi. Ernie Acorsi. What did I say, Robert? Yeah, since he said Robert Gallery, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Apparently none of these quarterbacks are like... Even Darno is like the best. I'm, gonna, I'm still calling him Darno because that sounds cooler. <laughs> It sounds better. It does. He's like the top one, and he's not even. That, it wasn't even that good last year. None of these guys are like that's why Carson I, that's Wentz, what I'm saying. Jared Goff. That's why so I take I, Barkley. Well, uh, Carson Wentz was hurt most of his senior year and, and didn't have great stats either. Darnold is like nine years old too. Isn't he like a redshirt sophomore? No, he can't be. Take Barkley. You have to be a junior. I thought he was. Just, he's a sophomore. If you're, you three years out of, three if you're three years out of high school, it's fine. Larry Fitzgerald only played two. We, yeah, he's <laughs> a redshirt sophomore, so he's three years out of high school. Oh, okay. He turns 21 this year. Rosen and, well, mostly ba- Baker Mayfield. I know he's short, but he played in a pro-style offense against the top teams and top defenses in the country and threw 14 interceptions in what? What did I say? What was it? 41 touchdowns? Well, the thing that you need to be worried about, though, with Darnold, he turns, small the, hands. he turns the ball over too much. Yeah. he's. I he don't fumbles. think Darnold will be good. He fumbles That's not way the quarterback I want. He fumbles way too much. And Jake Allen, or Josh Allen, whatever the fuck his name is, his he's just like six six. He's huge. They're he's like, the yeah, one, he went he, to a bad school. It's like, well, if he was better, he probably would have went to a better school. He's the one who's the most raw that has probably the most upside because he's so fucking big. And yeah. he just had horrible talent. None of these are like fucking, fucking sheer Wyoming fire top. It's like he has huge hands oh. and he's a big guy. All right, well, I'd rather have a guy who's actually good than a guy who could be good. But a lot of his crappy stats could have been because he was throwing to people that were less. Well, why do you think he went him? to a shitty school? I don't know, but he's not smart. Probably. I I I have fucking Rosen has fucking mediocre written all over him. I don't want that guy. I have Rosen is. Championship material. Why don't you sign Johnny Manziel? Based on literally nothing. That was a joke. Based on his college stats and based on, he wasn't even that good. He was. He was better than Darnold. Yeah, but he Who? doesn't. It's all about Rosen. Like an Rosen and Mayfield had the best. They were the best college quarterbacks last year. Yeah, but they had. They don't see him as having anything else to do. Like he's not going to get any much better. That's why they think J- Josh Allen's a fucking could have been the top pick because he has way bigger ceiling than Josh Rosen. But Baker who, Baker Mayfield is kind of a bitch. I mean, he he bitched out on Texas Tech after his first year because he had a he miscommunication. Didn't play. He, had, he did play. He started five of the Something eight Something happened. Yeah, he had a miscommunication with the coaching staff, so they probably told him that he wasn't good enough to start. He anymore. seems so like he'd be a fucking real headache. He got arrested last Especially year. Especially in New York. Yeah, fucking everyone gets arrested. What else doing coke? 
don't care. Odell <laughs> doing coke. I thought he actually allegedly. isn't. The but girl allegedly. was doing coke. I think the Giants are going to guarantee end up you he didn't do the coke. I bet you he smoked. No, he smokes. seems like the type. I don't that know does anything coke. about college football. Are there any good quarterbacks in the pipeline? Because we're going to be terrible again next year. So that's what I'm saying. If we can get, I'm cool with not taking quarterback. If we could trade for fucking Denver and get their quarterback next year or their pick, we don't need their pick. We have our own, which is going to be terrible. Well, I'd, you, I'd rather two then. I can't wait for Barkley to go to Cleveland and just be like the fucking greatest running back ever. And I can just fucking make fun of you forever. They're also going to get a quarterback. Who? <laughs> the Browns. Yeah, but if they fucking, if they don't take Barkley, they, sh- I don't know what they should do. I, honestly, if they value, I'm not saying Barkley if, isn't going to be great. Ezekiel Elliott is great. Doesn't mean he solely Bar- is going to. Barkley is better them. than Elliott. I'm just saying, he's not, him solely isn't going to get them. The Giants have never had a running back like that, ever. And we've won two championships Elliott, in the last, what, 20 years? Damn it, you had Ron Dane. Elliott was a big a reason why the Cowboys Ron went 13. Dane? Damn right. Elliott was a big reason why the Cowboys went 13-3. and three. Yeah, he, he was the, a he huge was the, He's a bigger then, reason than Dak. He was a bigger reason than Dak. Then he got suspended for some bullshit Yes, but I'm saying these quarterbacks are going to be way better than Dak. Are you insane? Are you insane? That's the stupidest thing. You're, you do not know. Based that on at all. what? None of them. No. Based on their projections, so like why be, they think oh Josh Allen's going to be good. They're going to be better than Tom Brady. They're yes, going to be better was, than Tom Brady. How did I? Who said that? Who said they're going to be better than Dak? Me. I, it's my prediction. That's insane. Speaking of coke, you've been smoking some. It's no, not like Dak crack. is you don't... that good. He's just really good for what he should have been. That didn't make any if sense. If he was a first overall, a first round pick. This is would just be expected. It's not like he'd be great. He was a fourth round pick, so people are happier with his stats and they think he's better than he is. So that means Eli Manning's not as good as he should be. Eli yeah. Manning isn't as good as he should be. And that means Tom Brady is like his stats are well, more, more, of all time. more amazing because he was picked fucking in like the thirtieth round. No, it's just Tom Brady's the best of all time. Everyone so just knows that because basically he is. Darno fucking Allen. <laughs> Every time he says Darno now. I'm saying it. Allen, all these guys are gonna be better than Dak. I'm saying they could be. No, you said they are and, going to and be. And Barkley could be the greatest running back in the history of the NFL. But I'm saying a running back is not as important as a quarterback. It's just known. Yeah, but that quarterback's not stepping in and doing nearly anything that Barkley will fucking step in and do. If Cleveland really has one quarterback ranked way higher, they need to take a quarterback. They can't fuck around anymore. I they guarantee need. you I don't think it they goes to the quarterback. Yes, they do. Well, who do they have? Tyrod Taylor? It's Darnold. They love Darnold. If that's yeah, what but, if, the rumor but if you know that you're going to throw— Tyrod Taylor's not a bad quarterback. He's not, but like they're gonna have they could have Darno sit. I'm I'm gonna just Darnold. No, I'm, I want to say Darno. So I've already said I'm gonna say that. So don't correct me. If they want to take him, then they need to take him. If that's like their future. But what if they think they that fucked there's up gonna be a, way too many times? What if there's times? a free agent quarterback they can sign in two years? It's gonna be a free agent. Like Aaron Rodgers is the only good one. But you know what I mean? Like they don't know if Tyrod Taylor is gonna be a good take, stopgap. Take the young guy with Barkley. They fucked up way too much. And that's why, and you can't trust anything the Browns do. Barkley you know, is the one thing they can't fuck up. You know up. why the big, there's rumors that's that are true. coming out about Giants not taking quarterback? Did you hear that? Yeah. The Post and the, the Daily News. Do you think Gettleman is stupid enough to let that leak? I think they want the Browns to take Barkley number one so they can have Darnold. Do you think Vince McMahon's stupid enough to let shit leak? People leak stuff. It happens. It could be true. could not be true. <laughs> but if... So let's Shit say gets leaked the, all the, the time. Browns could actually work out even better if they get Barkley at one. You know they the can Bears didn't four. tell John Fox they were t- trading up for Trubisky because he would he would have said something. He would have said no. No, he would have leaked it. He would have just had a bit. He has a big mouth, so they hid it from him. He didn't know they were taking him. Wait, is that true? Yeah, <laughs> that's really funny. I, if I'm the Browns, I draft Barkley one. You let quarterback quarterback go two three, and then at four you have a choice between the other quarterback or Nelson. I, that that would be their best draft if they could do that. But if they Tyrod really... Taylor is a good enough quarterback for them to win ten games next year. He is with how, the talent they have. How many games did the Bills win last year? Nine, I think nine. And the Browns have a much better offensive unit. In they have no defense still. Yeah, their defense is terrible. They should just draft Minka Fitzpatrick number one, and uh, number four who Bradley Chubb. Well, that's the thing. I think if they draft Barkley one, they have they'll at four they'll have choices between one of the quarterbacks, Chubb or Nelson. I don't think a running back's gone one since like Kajana Carter. So I what if people would be f- afraid to take him at one? What if the Giants don't draft a quarterback or Barkley? What if you draft Chubb? Uh, I'd be you pretty traded, upset, you but at least JPP. we got rid of JPP. You traded JPP. I think we can get him at five. Try to trade with Denver. Trade back? Yeah, Chubb will be there. Because if, if Denver is going to trade, they're taking a quarterback. 
You don't trade up to take Chubb or Nelson. If the Giants take Nelson number two, I'll be pissed because you can get him at five or six if we could trade. But can you? I mean, if we're at two and we don't take a quarterback, obviously we have to take Barkley. I'd rather trade than take Barkley. How pissed would you be, though, if Barkley goes one? I'm not even going to be mad if we take Barkley. I just think something could be better. How pissed would you be if Barkley goes one and you have Nelson at two? I think that's so stupid, but I'd be happy we have Nelson. But it would be so dumb. I think if they take Barkley at one, that's the best way they can get him at a quarterback. If they take the quarterback at one, he might be gone. Well, obviously, it's the Actually, best way he they can get him and a quarterback because there's four quarterbacks. But. He wouldn't be because the Jets three, aren't going to take. There's him. only three quarterbacks that can go in the first 15 picks. The Jets are guaranteed Mayfield's to take not a quarterback. Going top 10. So the Jet, they should talk to the Giants and figure out what the fuck they're doing. But I know it. I know it's Barkley and he's amazing. But wouldn't you rather have the quarterback with Eli for a couple of years? And I would have until Barkley became like amazing. Barkley like, was says, always amazing. Who no. says Eli even wants them to draft the quarterback? Eli wants to win that. The fuck he care? Eli, Eli didn't a, even Eli. But he's no Brett Favre. He's gonna. He'd actually. He helped Geno Smith prepare. No, I know. He but you know what I mean. Like Davis Webb every day. Who says he has to? Like, that's who he is as a person. But if I'm Eli, I'm like fuck you. He knows he's not going on forever. If you ask Eli, he wants fucking Barkley. Well, yeah, I'm sure. He probably wants Nelson so he doesn't die. <laughs> if I can get a guy that's like Zeke for the fucking Does for the, like 10 well? years, then, uh, I mean, give and me catch that. Well? He catches well. Does he block? It's apparently Barkley decent. does too. He's decent at blocking. Barkley is a better pass catcher. And Elliot's a good pass catcher. Barkley's just a You think a, he'll is... actually be better than Bell? Yes. But they don't even pay Bell. They won't even guarantee Bell money, that's pay- which that's is stupid. Pittsburgh's I don't understand fault. that. Because a running back, they don't value the running back as much as other positions. That's just wow, what football is. As sad as this is, and as good as a can't miss prospect Barkley is, if the Browns draft him, I'm worried he's gonna be Trent Richardson. Uh, that was... the, the Browns drafted Richardson, right? And they still nope. got, they still got a first round pick for him. They drafted him three overall, and they got a first round pick from the Colts, the Colts for him. Morons. <laughs> Yeah, so Luck and Griffin went 1-2 in that draft, and they drafted Trent Richardson, then Matt Khalil, Justin Blackman, Morris Claiborne, which was a terrible pick. Mark Barron, Ryan Tannehill went 8 to the Dolphins. I, I don't want the guy who sucks now but has the highest ceiling, but with Pat Shermer and Eli Manning, I feel like Allen could be the best pick for the Giants. I wouldn't take him at 2. Plus, He's going 1 or 2. He, he's supposed to be the be- best two in Rosen. Based on who? Bayfield are supposed to. Everyone. You guys are always saying Rosen's not going to 12. Bayfield's not going to 15. McShea doesn't have Allen going in the top three. Pretty, pretty sure he has Darno and fucking. It also changes, like, weekly. I can't keep up. I'm not sure what Cleveland. I feel like they have to take their quarterback that they like. They have to take him. Because Tyrod Taylor for a couple years, they could be good, and then they won't have a top pick. So I think they have to take the quarterback. That could be the Giants, though, if we get Barkley. And but it depends. If they're, if they're like, well, fucking this one guy from USC and this other guy from UCLA, they're kind of the same for us, then take fucking Barkley. And yeah. then take whoever you can yes, get. Yes, if they have three quarterbacks they love, you take Barkley. That's why the Jets traded the three, because they know, they. I guarantee you they have three quarterbacks that they think are all the same. Well, I mean, they weren't going to get any quarterbacks if they didn't trade up. Exactly, they but you don't trade up Mayfield. and get rid of a bunch of other picks if you don't. They didn't even give up that much. I know. They still gave up a bunch of sec- three second rounders. But I'm saying you don't trade up to that pick if you don't like the three of them. If you only like two of them, you wouldn't risk all those picks. You just wouldn't draft a quarterback this year. They, they need the a Jets. quarterback, so they had to do whatever they had to do. But, I'm, but you There's don't, no way they think they're all the same. They think three that they're happy with. There's I mean, definitely three that they I'm think sure they're Cleveland happy with. would be happy with somebody if they fucking took Barkley and just got somebody at four. But everybody, that's, that's what we're saying. If they, if they are happy with three quarterbacks, draft Barkley. Everybody first. has if not, which one that they like more, and I think Cleveland needs to finally just take a good quarterback. Court, I think the Jets are just like we're happy with either any of these. That's how fucked up McCagnan and Bulls are. You know, the '99 draft had five quarterbacks drafted in the first twelve picks. Let's see if I can. Yeah, that's name the. Them. That's the fucking um. Most. The Bengals had a pick, right? This was also the draft where the Saints traded all of their picks. For Ricky Williams? For Ricky Williams. Why can't I think of this fucking guy's name? Ricky Williams? How long was he even on the Saints? I almost said Quincy Carter. What the Three fuck? Years? Yeah. Bengals are in the top, right? Don't they have a, didn't they draft a quarterback? He was on the Saints. So the, the Saints draft traded all six of their picks to the Redskins to draft Ricky Williams at five. He was only on the Saints from 99 to 2001. It's because he sucked. What did they? Tra- well, then he got really good. He wasn't really good. Well, what did he? Uh, what did they get for him for... Miami. 
He was traded to the Dolphins for four draft picks, including two first round picks. Jesus Christ! Wow, <laughs> for Ricky, he got traded for like ten draft picks. You tell me if the race. goddamn Bengals took a quarterback? Who who was drafted number one overall in '99? Who's what's the team? Browns. I feel like there's a black guy in the top, black quarterback. No. What year was that? '99. So number one was Cleveland. They drafted Tim Couch. Oh, the Tim Couch years. Number two was Philadelphia. They drafted McNabb. <laughs> Number three was the Bengals. They drafted Akili Smith. That's the guy I was trying to think of. So was, thanks for never telling me what I fucking asked for. The Bengals then at the top. The and he's draft, black. What are you talking about? You said that went at the top. He wasn't the top. Top three. You just said top. Yeah, I the, the, top, the top of the draft is the top five, not just one. And Akili Smith lasted a total of three years with the Bengals. Fucking Akili Smith. His NFL career stats, five touchdowns, 13 interceptions. That's it? Yep. Wow. The Colts drafted Edger and James. Saints Fucking drafted Edger Ricky Williams. James. Wow. That's a good pick, Edger. Rams drafted Torrey Holt. Redskins drafted Champ Bailey. Cardinals so the only good quarterback in this draft was McNabb. At number 11 overall, the Vikings drafted Dante Culpepper. That's he was pretty good. good. At 12, the uh, Bears drafted How Cade did you McNabb. say his name? Dante Culpepper. Culpepper? Culpepper. Culpepper. It's Dante Culpepper. Culpepper. You didn't say it any, any different than most people say it. Dante Culpepper. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, yeah. You're saying Cole Pepper. Cole Pepper. Cole, like Michael Cole. It's not Cole Pepper. I don't think it's Cole. C A. I mean, it's, it's spells C U L. It yeah. It's Dante Cole, Cole Pepper. Well, I'll YouTube the pronunciation in a second. <laughs> I'm seeing any other quarterbacks that got drafted. Those are the only ones in the first round. Sean King drafted number 50 overall to the Bucks. My name is Byron Murphy. With socks and shoes on my feet. Salad for lunch. I don't think so. Brock Heward got drafted by the Seahawks. Who? Brock Heward. Yeah, no idea. Joe Germain to the Rams. Woo! What about Joe Jurevicious? Whatever happened to Joe Jurevicious? Probably died. What uh, What did the Giants do in this draft? Aaron Brooks got drafted by the Packers in the fourth fucking round. Fucking love that guy. I'm going to wear... Oh, I got to find that at home. Bring my fucking it's Aaron in, Brooks jersey to New Orleans. It's in your closet. got to fucking wear that shit. 13 quarterbacks got drafted. All right, who did the Giants take, though? Let's see. First round... This was after the Giants were decent. They drafted Luke Pettigrew. Oh, Petit Goat. That's right. They drafted one pick ahead of the Cowboys who drafted Ebenezer Akubon. That I love that fucking well. name. E- Ebenezer Akubon? Fucking Luke Petit Goat. All right, we're 47 minutes in, and we've only talked about the draft. No, but still, what would you do? I Didn't we already told talk you. about this? I no, would take but... the quarterback they love or trade for Nelson. So that's not really answering. What would you do? Pick one. Do you trade up? I would take one? the quarterback. What if you want the quarterback you want? You have to go five picks. No. I wouldn't go up to take the quarterback to get rid of all of our future picks, especially because we're probably going to suck if we – So what if what if the quarterback you want – Then we trade down. If, it's, if he's gone at one, you trade down. Get picks. Get the guard. Get in, get this Chubb. Draft. Get the running back Chubb in the second round, who will be good. But you're saying that they need a quarterback. They need a quarterback. They need a quarterback. If if the quarterback if they is good love to go one with, quarterback and he is gone, why don't they trade up to get him then? Trading are in how many picks? You'd probably have to trade your second pick, your first round overall pick next year, and probably two or three other picks. I don't. <sighs> if the Jets can move up to three without giving up a first rounder, then I wouldn't do it. If we had to give up a first rounder to move up one spot, the Jets moved up three though. Which the Colts are stupid for yeah. doing that deal. That's why I think the Giants Two, are— Two, three, though, but they didn't even get a first-rounder. So I think the Giants are trying to say that they're going to take Barkley, so they take him so they have their quarterback. I but. think the Browns are better off if they get a quarterback and—not quarterback, uh, Barkley and Nelson, I think, would set them up better. With Tyrod for two, three years? They could probably win 11, 12 games a year. What is— Yeah, but is that even—was that wild card? That and would then a be. loss? That the would Steelers be. are still good. Until Big Ben retires. Well, as opposed to what? what? Winning one game, I'd take whatever the fuck I could get with Tyrod Taylor. I don't care if I lost to the Steelers in the playoffs. Still made the playoffs. I mean, you're going to be better than the Ravens. I think they're going to be a second or third place team this year already, but... You think they're going to be a third place? They're not. They're, the Ravens just, are terrible. They've passed on so many quarterbacks. You should go back and see all they've the... They've also drafted terrible quarterbacks. Like, what was the they year drafted, they, they drafted Manziel? Who else went in that draft? Because like, they waited. They had two first-round picks. Damn it. They drafted Tim fucking Couch. Well, yeah, I know. Well, he was supposed to be good. They had uh, they had two picks in the first round, and they took Manziel with the second one instead of taking a quarterback. With and I wanted Johnny just Manziel. passed on yeah. Mahomes and Watson in recent. So that's why I think they're going to take the quarterback first so they don't fuck it up again. It's the but new how do you know they're not going right? to fuck it up? 
Well, because like even if they fuck it up, it's not like they fucked it up. Everyone thinks these quarterbacks are going to be good, unless they picked fucking Baker Mayfield one overall. Why you think he's going to be good? I do, but he's he's going to be better than Dak. Why don't they just take Lamar Jackson number one? If you know, what, I'll be pissed. Let's talk the about most the quarterback. If the Giants trade about. down with the Bills, and we only get a twelve, a fucking twenty-four, in like a third round or whatever. Let's talk about the candidate nobody's talking about. Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney. You were talking about Mitt Romney. When? Remember Smith and Romney? Oh yeah. So, the year that Manziel got drafted, there were not really any good quarterbacks that what were drafted. Were they, what high. was their first pick? Their first pick, they drafted. What was it though? Eight. They were that high. What do you mean they sucked? I expected him to be in the top two. They were oh. they were four. They traded back. Oh, for, so who? What was it? What year was this? 2014. What were the first? Yeah, this is the picks? fucking Bowman Sterling. Oh, this draft. is a sick draft. Jadavian Clowney went one overall. Greg Robinson went two to the Rams. Sammy Watkins three. Blake Bortles three to the oh, Jags. Fuck. Sammy Watkins, Watkins four. four. Khalil Mack, Mack five. five. Yeah. Something called the Jake Matthews six. Pretty sure. Yeah, he was an offensive lineman on the. Uh, Didn't Falcons. Evans go before Odell also? Yeah. Evans went seven. And the Bills traded up to get Watkins. They drafted, not even the not even the fucking second best receiver in the Justin draft. Justin Gilbert got drafted by the Browns. He's not even the third best. I'd still take Kelvin Benjamin over him. No, over Watkins. I mean, they're both not that good. Justin Gilbert is uh got traded by the Browns to the Steelers. The Steelers released him. Now he's suspended. Wow. Way to go, Justin Gilbert. Justin Gilbert got picked eighth overall by the Browns. Oh, poor guy. Uh, Anthony Barr went nine. So they pretty much wasted two first round draft picks. Eric Ebron ten. Taylor Lewin eleven. Ebron sucks. Beckham went twelve. Aaron Donald thirteen. Wow. Aaron Donald went thirteen. Kyle Fuller fourteen. Ryan right. Shazier fifteen. Back to this fucking draft. Zach Martin sixteen. But Aaron Donald thirteen. He's probably one of the best. He probably is the best player in that draft. Him or Beckham. Uh, Zach Martin begs to differ. Right. Aaron Donald is the best defensive player when J.J. Watt is Zach Martin is a much better lineman than Odell is a receiver. What? I'm talking about Aaron Donald. Well, I'm saying, no, I'm saying you said Donald, other than Beckham, is probably the two best yeah. players. Zach Martin. No. All day, every day. No. He's a better lineman than Odell is a receiver? Yeah. Did you watch Odell when he was healthy? Uh, Zach Martin's been a pro bowler every single year of his career. Has Odell not? Has Odell stayed what? healthy? Odell missed a couple games in the – four games in the beginning of his career. Had more rookie – or more yards than any rookie in history, right? And catches. I mean, they're both close. And Zach Martin has never missed games. a game in his career. Okay, cool. It's, you can't fault best, somebody for getting hurt. Best offensive Especially lineman. in a preseason game when the Browns are fucking stupid. He's best known. offensive lineman. Okay. He's, he's I known. still think Odell's better. Ooh, until he proves it. He's had one year. He's one had year. three. One what year. What are you talking about? He's definitely had You had me until he's one, one year. year. He had that one great year. He plays 16 games, then talk. Look up his stats. Play 16 games. His first year, his second year, and his third year. Even when he missed four games in his first year. Those are three. He still missed games. He broke every rookie stat, I'm pretty sure, missing four games. He broke every every record for the first three years of of a receiver. And he's pretty sure he played every game the next two years. Do you think it's 2015? He only played 12 games in his rookie year. Yeah, and he he still broke every rookie record. He had a great year. Played 15 the next year, had a great year. He got suspended for one. The next year, he didn't have as good as his first two years, but he had more receptions, but dropped off almost three yards per reception. And then last year got hurt. So he's had two two out of his four years he's been good. The third year he was still good. Third year he was still great. Just because he dropped off from amazing doesn't mean he's not great. And I would take Zach Martin every day over him ever. You're just no, you idiot. wouldn't because your best receiver is fucking Des Bryant. Imagine if you had Odell fuck Dak to throw to. Uh, if I didn't have Zach Martin, Dak would never have time to throw. You have four other good offensive linemen. If, okay, who, if you had Zach Martin, you wouldn't need Odell because Sterling Shepard would be your best receiver. You get farther. Just the same reason why he wants an offensive lineman. Nelson can't miss. That's what Zach Martin is to the Cowboys. I mean, the Cowboys I want a quarterback too because when Eli's won. gone, we still have an amazing receiving core. I mean, we didn't have very good offensive lines when we won Super Bowls. They weren't terrible, but they weren't great. And the Cowboys went from having one of the worst lines Fucking Chris ever. Snee is just standing there looking at nothing. I know, and they still have no playoff wins to show for it. So Fucking Chris Snee. Fucking Chris Snee. Oh, yeah, Haha Clinton Dix went 21 to the Packers, by the way. And then Manziel went 22. Some of the quarterbacks that got drafted after uh-huh. that they could have had. Texas, Teddy, Texas, Teddy Bridgewater. Texas eliminated. Derek Carr. Yeah, Villanova's winning it all. They're so good. Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo. So if Cleveland takes Barkley one, Ramey, what are you doing if you're the Giants? 
If I'm the Giants and they take Barkley one, they have to have a quarterback out of the four that they love. They have to yeah, if Barkley one. goes one, then you got to draft a quarterback. So then what happens if a uh, quarterback goes one? Who would he's, you draft as the Giants? Barkley. Barkley. Yeah, that's what I would do. I like. I would not even hesitate. But what happens if that's not the quarterback you love? What happens if they take Jake Allen and want to work on him? And we love Darnold. Oh my God, Jake! Do you mean Josh Allen? Well, fuck. <laughs> Who is Jake Allen? The goalie. Yeah, he's oh, a goalie. Fuck. Is he on the? I uh, wouldn't uh, be lose. opposed. To, to that because he has more upside because he's not going to play in the first year maybe two anyway but I wouldn't waste a pick on somebody who can't help us but we are going to suck next year anyway so I don't know oh I didn't realize that what happens if we draft Nick Chubb that's f- fuck that in Josh the second Allen. round oh Josh no, Allen's Nick old. Chubb the running, running back, back from Georgia I mean, I'm not I don't fucking he's know. supposed to be very good and the diff- if you have a good running back, you're, right. you're fine. You don't need the great running back if you have the good running back and everything else is fine. We could have just kept Darkwa at that fucking rate. And then well, I wanted some- to keep Darkwa. I did. If it was up to me, we would have kept him. All right, so now I know why what Josh if Jonathan Allen- Stewart wins the fucking MVP? If Jonathan Stewart wins Comeback the MVP, I'm buying you a car. All right, what Comeback car? Player of the Any year? car you want. <laughs> <laughs> if he wins Imagine MVP. Imagine he just gets 16 touchdowns, averages 200 yards. That'd be amazing. He'd be on every steroid known to man. I'd have a car. <laughs> So the reason why Josh Allen wasn't really well known because he went to Wyoming. He no, he went to a community well, college before that. Joe Flacco went to fucking where? <laughs> fucking Cal. Some, Joe Flacco? Didn't he go to Cal? No, he went to some like Dakota. No, oh, that you're thinking of Carson Wentz went to North Dakota State. Yeah. Flacco went somewhere weird too. No, Flacco went to a good school. I think he went to Cal. No, Delaware. Delaware. Uh, there you he go. Went to University that's, of that's, Delaware. That's, that's fucking, not a good football school. That's a fucking stupid. I, so, I, I knew it was with D or something. So Josh what did you say Allen, like, Dakota. Yeah, Dakota, something like that. Josh Allen went to Reedley College. Yeah. Which is in... But I'm pretty sure Carson Wentz's stats senior yeah. year weren't We got great. that quarterback guru. Why don't we just draft him and fucking wait a couple of years and see what he turns into? Well, they said at the that, time... That's not a bad idea. I the, wouldn't take him at two. But I'd rather... Rosen. The reason why Allen got so little interest out of high school is at the time he was 6'3", about 180 pounds. He didn't go to any of the elite quarterback camps and wasn't a widely known prospect. His high school team didn't participate in many seven-on-seven camps because Josh and many of his teammates were busy playing baseball and other sports. He was, oh, wow. He was the leading scorer on his basketball team, and he also pitched on the baseball team and could throw a 90-mile-an-hour fastball. Assuming Coach. everyone stays healthy, Barkley's going to help this year, next year, third year, fourth year, fucking tenth year. Depends. That no, guy is so Running backs don't have ten years in them. Good. So Josh Allen. What running backs his... have been good for over eight years? Barry it's Sanders. hard, right? Barry Sanders. Yeah. Well, if you get uh, Emmett Smith, I think, was it good for like thirty? I think Ezekiel Elliott has three, maybe four years left. Oh come on! Yeah, why would you want that though? Instead of a quarterback who can give you ten to twelve, I got both. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I know you do, but, but I'm at saying, the same time, if like, you don't have either. You figure with, you know, the they get life, hurt more than anyone, and they they break down. Yeah, they, they break down. But he's a he's he was can't miss. Like you couldn't pass on him when he came to you. Like, Barkley's gonna be tough to pass. But it's the posi- if he was a receiver, uh, not even because obviously the Giants don't need one. But but receivers don't last that long usually either. They have a short they're, shelf life. They're better if they don't get hurt. I really think good ones. I mean, do, they last so longer. It just depends. I think the receivers last way longer than a running back. They don't get hit as much. Exactly. Why would? It's not how or why. It's just that it happens. Running backs don't last that long. Adrian Peterson was phenomenal for six years, seven. Was it that long? Six, five, yeah. Until he hit his kid. He was good for a while. Look it up. Which rather Josh Allen grew three inches and gained sixty pounds. Wow. Good. He needs weight. He has huge hands. Darnold has sm- small hands. So does Baker Mayfield. He's just small. Darnold's big with small hands, so he's probably got a small cock. Speaking of cock, where did Russ Cockrell sign? I don't remember. It's Carolina. Yeah, he's on Carolina. So Adrian, He's going to have seven interceptions next year. These are the uh, rushing yards that Adrian Peterson had every year of his career. 1341. How many he's good for? How many he was good for? 1760, 1383, 1298, 970 in only 12 games. 2097, 1266. So it's one, two, three, four, five, seven. Six, seven years. Then he tore his ACL 75 yards. The next year came back 1485. That's eight years. All right. I think that's, yeah, that's about the most you can expect from us. And then this year, or then last year, he tore whatever the hell again, only had 72 yards. Then this past year, 529 yards. Look at what's his name, too. John Brown. Who? Fucking Josh. What, what's his name? David David Johnson. I don't know why I'm thinking of John Brown. 
the fucking uh, the receiver. Yeah, David Johnson because they're both on the Cardinals. David Johnson's really young. I know, but he's already been hurt twice. One was kind of a freak thing, but still. Well, if you're just gonna draft based on somebody might get hurt, then like, why even like bother? Why even watch football? Just saying, it's the, it's a pretty vulnerable position. David, David Johnson's had one good year. Yeah, and he's only been in the league for three, right? Yeah, his rookie year, 500 yards rushing. Then 2016, 1,300, and last year, 23 yards. Way to go. Way to go, Johnson. He he's got old, hurt though. twice last year. Johnson's turning 27. Wow. So he got drafted when he was 24. Which I'm, just, I'm just saying it's a vulnerable position. Josh Allen is turning 22. He's a full year older Le'Veon than— Le'Veon Bell doesn't stay healthy all the time, too. He's still, like, amazing. Oh, I know. Doesn't he just get suspended? He just Both. Get... He's either hurt or suspended. It's like Randy Orton. What do you mean Randy Orton got hurt again? That guy's a fucking idiot. What do you mean Randy Orton got suspended again? Can't wait for Jinder to beat him. For the fourth time. Fifth. Fifth? He, he beat him on SmackDown recently. Jinder's oh, yeah. not going to beat him. What are you fucking talking about? Of course he in is. In four title matches, he would have beaten him win. four times. No way. No, they're they're going to have Rude win. I think no, they're, they're going to have Jinder win. That's what, Why don't we just talk about the Mania card right now, then? Um... Okay, what, what, just run down all your topics that you have. Real Why quick. does nobody want to talk about Lamar Jackson? Is it because he's black? Because he should be a receiver, yeah. yeah. That's what they're saying. WrestleMania uh, right now is 11 listed matches. You add Cena in there, that's 15. 12. Then uh, you add the Shane McMahon match, that's uh, Smackdown 13. And then the Smack, so that's another Did three. Did they add Alexa Nia yet? Four, yeah, that's been on there for a while. A while. They a announced week. that on, of course, yeah. they added immediately. They took off Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn as soon as they got fired. Sorry, I'm not on the Wikipedia and, page. And Bray Wyatt doesn't have a match? There's 14 matches Because he's going to come back after Mania as a new character. He went into the fucking so Lake Who do you think is going to win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal? We're not going to be able to do a podcast with Raimi before the show. So This is our last podcast before Mania. We will do a Mania podcast. Yeah, that's what we say. We also said we were going to Universal twice. Yeah, but we all knew that wasn't going to happen. In California <laughs> and in uh, Wait, you guys are going to do a Mania podcast without me? Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to get everyone over friends. We can call me. you if you want, but you, you never answer. FaceTime me, damn it. <laughs> it won't be about anything. Um, how You know how many people have been announced for the Women's Battle Royal for uh, seven, Raw? One. Sasha Banks. And then every base. No, Becky every, Lynch, too, I think, right? No, from everyone. Raw. From, oh, Raw. from Raw. Just Sasha. I Bailey saw. will be added. Does mm-hmm. Sasha win, do you think, throwing out Bailey, or Bailey wins throwing no, that's, out Sasha? The, only, the rumor I heard is Bailey wins throwing out Sasha, and then Sasha just flips out. But Why would they flip? It is every woman for themselves. Because you cannot get mad at your friend for trying to win. You can get mad for losing. Hello. Duh. Well, you can't be like, you eliminated me. I hate you. Like, Raimi thinks yes, every feud starts like that. Yes, hey, that happened last year, damn it. Yes, of course so you, you can. Think, you could be pissed that you lost. Yes, but why and would you? then you freak out on the person who did it. That's stupid. Then everyone should freak out on everyone. Yeah, they do. You don't think, think fucking Baron Corbin gets eliminated? He's not pissed at the guy who eliminated him. He fucking beat the shit out of everyone last year. Yeah, you get what? pissed. It's, of course, you get it pissed. Wouldn't, wouldn't make you hate your best friend. They're not they best you. friends anymore. If you watched anything at all, they're, they still haven't broken up. They're still, I love you, I love you, but oh, no, they're not. I'm they so don't mad. ever say that. One of them's like, "Well, I'm sorry," and the other one's pissed, and the other way around. They're yeah, not Sasha fucking best friends. Sasha literally said, "You're my best friend," like last week. Yeah, she did. Yeah, but Bailey didn't say it, so they're not exactly. best friends. So why would she just automatically? Sasha still has love for her in her heart, clearly. So why would she just automatically, you eliminated me and every woman for yourself. I hate you now. So, you, I mean, obviously winning's not that big of a deal to you. Oh, my God. But why would you hate your best friend? Because they you won. You would be pissed. It's not like we're best friends. I wouldn't attack my it's best friend. It's not like friend. we're best friends and everything's been perfect. They've been fucking just pissed so off at each other for fucking six months you th- now. You also thought it was stupid when he got she got mad at her for attacking her in the elimination chamber. It's the same no, type of did match. did you hear her explain it? She was fucking I'm smiling at, at time. She, um, yeah, she smirked. That was the Yeah, there's no reason to do that. If you're going to beat me up, just fucking do it. You don't have to smile about this it. This feud is terrible. It's gone on way too long. Oh, it has gone on way too long. It hasn't like, even technically started yet well I already told Matt it's going to be the slow burn she's finally going to turn heel and no one cares <gasps> no, cares? what's going to happen they're never going to have like... a match because then it'll be the, the superstar shake up and the other one will get drafted to Smackdown they'll never have a burn off good they're better off turning Sasha but I bet you Bailey turns and they are better it, off it turning Sasha it doesn't Sasha's because a she's heel. a real heel she's a bitch so who do you think wins the uh, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal as we go back to the men Samoa Joe that's my pick I don't even know if they'll put him in. I don't feel like they should. He should. He's earned the right to at least be on a fucking card. The reason why I think Obviously, they're going to have him. I don't think they'll do the that. The reason why I think they'd have him win it, they're going to build him up to face Roman Reigns. Yeah, Rain exactly. Who summer. else is going to fucking win it? Nobody else. Baron Corbin. Gives a big shit. show again and have him be like, I'm good. I'm going to team with Braun. <laughs> so we're picking Joe, even uh, though he's not even. Probably won't even be in it. They probably won't. They'll probably be Who's it? Is it? How many people are even announced? They've only announced. Dash, Dawson, Corbin, Mojo, and Ty. Oh, Mo- Zach Ryder can't even get some love to be announced yet? Dash and Dawson are going to win it as a tag team. That would actually be kind of amazing. 
and then one eliminates the other they, they break up. No, they both <laughs> jump out at the same time. No one wins? So, uh, uh, I don't know. I'll go Elias as of now. All right, women's battle royal. They never give it to the hot guy, though. I'm going like to hope. Sandow getting eliminated by the big show. That'd be, yeah. I'm picking Bailey for the women. Last eliminating Sasha, finally turning her heel just in time for the draft. Wait. I will go Sasha, last eliminating Bailey. It'll never happen. So then Bailey's going to turn heel? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be, you know how, ah. Uh. It'll never happen, but. Well, remember, sorry to cut you off, but. It's fine. Sami Zayn, no one thought turning him heel was a good idea. He's amazing as a heel. Much better as a heel as he ever was as a face. That's it's because true. they're letting him do shit. Maybe they'll let Bailey do shit. The but crowd she, already hates her. Sammy, I don't think Bailey has a speaking ability yeah, to true. get me to believe that she's mad at That's anything. True. Did you anyone listen to Ch- it's Chael Sonnen, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you see what he said about Ronda on Jericho's podcast? No. When she got married, she's like not allowed to talk to her guy friends anymore. She's one of those. She's not allowed to. Yeah. So it's one of him. He's one of those. Yeah, he's one yeah. Of those. She's one of those who listens though. Oh. oh, yeah. She's an idiot. Apparently, she's like he. There, there weren't sure if like. He was like, I don't know if the women are extending the olive branch to her or if she wants to, like, not be with them, but she's like, gets her own locker room or some shit. Did you see her with Dana Brooke? Like, she barely did a hip toss. I'm calling it right now. She's going to be terrible. But is that Rhonda's fault or is yes. that Dana Brooke's fault for sucking? She she looked why, bad. Why put it. her with Dana Brooke? That's all I'm saying. She's going to, I'm calling it right now. She's going to be awful. Yeah, if you're if you're practicing with Dana Brooke, you are going to be awful, regardless no, she, of whether you, you think could she's be been good practicing or not. with Dana Brooke. No, she's been practicing with Shayna, whatever her name is, Basler, Basler. She's not even that Basil. good. She's, I guarantee. Well, she's one of the women. Just at looking at the stuff she's Ronda's not, done, she's she, still gonna lose. She did That's a, the other thing we need. She to couldn't talk even about do it. a Samoa drop. Samoan drop. Oh, she can't do a Samoa drop. Why would no. they have her do a Samoan drop? You're not Samoan. And they're also setting her up to fail with a terrible partner in Stephanie. All right, I still haven't even picked my yeah, battle royal because yeah, Ramy cut me off twice. Sorry, I don't think it'll happen, but I'm gonna pick it anyway because I wanted to and I think it's smart. Carmella. That makes zero sense. Because have her build her up more. She's going to cash in and lose. She, no, she's the yeah. only way, I think you said it, the only way that she cashes in and wins is if she goes to Raw. And then the briefcase goes with her. And then they'll say, well, you got drafted. That's We'll just give you the title shot for Raw. And then she wins it on Raw. There's no way she's cashing it in on fucking Asuka. What if she cashes it in at Mania? It'll still count as an Asuka loss. But they'll say Asuka's never been pinned. I know, back. but that still ruins the streak. That's no streak. No, I know that. That's but. the worst way. That, I'd rather have Ronda beat her clean than fucking have her lose in a triple threat match. Because they, they've they been saying the Mania match next year would be Asuka versus Ronda, both of them undefeated. Wait wait till we see how Ronda can wrestle. Ronda will have four matches by next year's Mania. I also they, not, she's going to win the title I'm not, convinced, I'm not convinced she even signed a full-time deal. She's not on fucking TV. What yet. title? Raw? Yeah. And then well, the, the title, title versus title? That's so dumb. Yeah, that's terrible. All right, Kurt. And who would win? Ronda? Yeah. That's the worst They're, they're going to have Ronda beat Asuka. I think. Although it would mean Asuka would get another year, so that'd be pretty cool. Kurt and Ronda versus Triple H and Stephanie. Well, obviously, Kurt and Ronda are winning. Yeah, and uh, obviously, fucking Triple H would never take a pin anyway. I bet you Ronda pins her him. I bet you Ronda makes Triple H tap. Can they do that? Can they? Ma- well, I mean, would they make it intergender and then you just never see Stephanie fighting Kurt? No. Although she'd probably beat him. Her balls are bigger. Wow. I'm, I mean, I'm saying what, do Ronda's do doing something they to Triple want, H. Do you think it's more they want Ronda to get the pin or Triple H doesn't want to take the loss? Because I don't think Triple H there's cares no about way, losing to There's Angle. no way that they're, they're, Triple H is winning. Oh, I'm I know it's going to be. Double, double tap out. That's so stupid. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think of that. Seen Triple H is not tapping type out type to fucking Kurt. Yes, he is. He's, Triple How's H Kurt going to get the ankle lock on? Exactly. <laughs> you saw their – that's why they, their their segment on Raw was really bad. He couldn't even turn Triple H over to get the ankle lock on. So yesterday was Taker's birthday. It was bad. Yeah. Did you see he the picture they posted? Did, did you see that – Christopher Daniels turned 48 yesterday, too. He's old. I fucking love the fallen Jeez. angel. How is he still, like... Good? Re- yeah, how is he still good at 48? Remy, what would you rather see? The biker taker versus Cena, which we've already seen, or the dead man versus Cena? I'd, it's not the dead man. He's I'd dead. rather see the dead man, but they're playing it up to be the biker. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. It's going to be the fucking biker. But, but it wasn't we've really... We've never seen he, the dead man. He wasn't badass, the American badass against Cena. He was big evil. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's different. Much different. He had the short fucking red hair with a fucking bandana. I love badass. That's what I grew up on. Oh, me too. I loved it. I loved it too. It's because you didn't. Well, you should know better what, how much what, better the fucking I know dead man cool. was. I know a dead man and and Cena. We haven't seen, but it's like, what type of dead man are we getting? We're getting a shell of what he what he. Well, was. I think that's. So, what, you think we're gonna get the fucking original badass? No, but I'm saying you're talking like about. We're getting. We're gonna get a shell of the guy himself because he's fucking old and he's a fake. So let's see, badass. We haven't seen that in. Yeah, how many badasses you know are fucking damn near sixty? Billy Gunn. I'm just saying, I'd rather see badass. We saw Undertaker retire last year. It was a great way to go out as the dead man. A great way to go out. He lost. Yeah, you always lose on your back. No, you don't. 
I don't necessarily do, especially with somebody like that. Also, if you're fucking going to another like a company, younger guy, you get put o- you put over the younger guy who's going to be over- taking over the company. Yeah, if you're someone like Shawn Michaels, not a guy who's fucking had one loss at WrestleMania. Two. And you fucking no before that. Oh. I I think you always lose on your back, but I think he retires. Well, how how, how else do you, you can lose on your stomach too? If you, you tap. tap out, yeah, it's it's just an expression. You always so have, anybody who's leaving guaranteed has to lose. You can if you're retiring. You, you can probably win, lose your last match. You can win your last match and go out a winner. Possible. How does that? How often does that happen? Exactly. Though? I'm sure it happens a lot. It's not smart. Rick Flair didn't. Shawn Michaels didn't. Well, Shawn Michaels had the stupid. They both had career-ending matches. What if that happens this year? You so can't, he puts you his can't career re- in line against can't Taker. Really retire? Oh, I thought you were going to say Undertaker's going to retire. What if they do that once a year? What if they did that career versus career? They wouldn't. Then it's guaranteed Cena's not going to lose. Yeah, that's stupid. What if Cena decided he wanted to retire? That would be a mistake to make. Dude, he retired. As, he could leave. But I do think Undertaker should win this match and retire now. Is everything just he's done? He should have. He, he's should, gonna, he should destroy Cena. You can get so much more from this because Cena keeps playing up. You know, he didn't have his WrestleMania moment. He keeps losing. I he guarantee was, it would be better than the Roman match. Cena losing Cena's much better. Would do so much more for Cena's character in the future when he comes back. Like he'll well, he'll be on the Raw after Mania and be like, I lost. I'm I'm going away for a while. There was a story where they were like, remember when Ric Flair retired? Apparently, and Batista and Jericho were ripping Shawn Michaels for retiring yeah. him. Yeah. They could make that where, like, Cena beats a fucking old dude and people are like, John, what the fuck's wrong with you, guy? Why'd you egg him on? Why'd you make him come back? So they could do that. I think Undertaker's going to beat the shit out of him. I They're think, building I think it Taker's up where he's win. calling him basically a bitch every yeah. week. I think Taker's going to win. Which is why it's not going to be the dead man. Badass. Yeah, exactly. It's, 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 which is exactly, I think Taker wins and I then had, Cena goes away for a while because he's going to film another movie. And it says, you know, he he has to get, like do some soul searching because he can't win the big one. Anymore. By the way, his newest movie actually looks pretty fun. I just really wanted the blockers f- or whatever it's called, the one with the parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. just really wanted fucking Undertaker to retire with one loss. Then you'd be like, he just had that one loss, and it's like Roman's win. Did that really mean anything? The dude could barely walk. I mean, come on. That's what Cena said to to build it up. His fight with Roman. Yeah, no, I, I just that match would probably be better. I cared. I did not want to see this match at all. Taker Cena. Until Cena called him out, I wanted and to see I got it into four it. years ago at WrestleMania 30. Well, well Cena starting to call him a bitch now is actually a little intriguing. Yeah, it's a, he's building it up well. I mean, but his logic. I don't think his logic said is this pretty, too. His logic I, is pretty stupid, though. He had it until he he went a little. I forget what he said that put it over the edge, but it was like he called, he said something about Taker like not showing up, and it's like, dude, come on. But does Taker show up tomorrow? I think you said this too. He shouldn't show up till Mania. Cena That's should just come to the ring for. and just be like, dude, take her. And then uh, I want him to Kid do, Rock comes out and just starts do fucking a, playing. Just do a video package where they fucking, a lightning bolt and sets a fire and it says, I accept or some shit like that. But he's Don't even. Do lightning bolt. Keep, keep it. Keep, well, you just, can't, we're just going to have John Cena walk out there and. John, I mean, Cena, John Cena just goes, if you're not, no. He comes out in the middle, you also of, need middle it, to You also need it for merchandise. You have to announce the match. You have to make merch for it. He could just be like, Taker, I'm going to the ring, WrestleMania. If you don't show up, Ref's we, know, count the 10. we know who you are. You're a bitch, basically. Uh, it's a fucking badass. Just so and stupid. then he goes, he's here. Also, he, 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 better wear, he better fucking have a wear. better fucking ride a motorcycle if he's going to be the badass. Segway. Ah, yeah. uh, that'd be fucking wheelchair. <laughs> Motorized So who wheelchair. do you think is going to win? But if Kid Rock's there and he comes out as American Badass, he has to have the he has to play it live. Oh, obviously Kid Rock's got to play. Well, then it. he's even gonna though, then he's gonna lose. Even though the better th- you get your theme played live, you lose. Even though the better theme for him was "Rollin'" by Limp Bizkit. Oh, completely. Or the Gong, you know. No, we no, saying, as badass. I want to see the Dead Man versus Cena. We're never gonna see that now, ever. No, because they're de- Dead Man's retired. But that's so stupid. Roman retired it. What is he gonna come out as Mark? He's gonna <laughs> mean come out Mark. as a badass. Yeah, fucking well. Yeah. You're not wrestling. You're wrestling the man, John. You're wrestling the man. My name's Mark. All right, and the, so who's winning? Taker. Taker. I'm going to say Taker, and I'm going to hope. All right, and the match everyone's talking about, Cedric Alexander versus Mustafa that's gonna be Ali. That's going to be a 20-minute match should, on the pre-show. Should have been, been, been Gulak. That was the second-best match on the card last year was a Cruiserweight title. Should have been Gulak. Should have been. But uh, I'm going to say Cedric. They've been building Cedric the yeah, whole time. Cedric's he was supposed to, to beat Rich Swan, and then Rich Swan did his thing and got suspended. I will say, then though, they, I really like, like what they've been doing on 205 Live. Yeah, it's been a good show. It's because it's no longer character-based. They just let the fucking guys wrestle. Which yeah. is fantastic. If Neville ever came back. Neville? He, what they what, should do, put Daniel Bryan. Put him on 205 Live. Fuck yeah, up. you should kill yourself. All right, we'll talk about that. You then. should commentate it. Let's let's talk about this. Shane and Daniel versus fucking Allegedly. Cammy. I mean, I'm sure that's going to happen. Is there um, any way I, they were very, fucking... very safe with his head? Did you notice? Like most of their punches were missing. Oh, and then even with the kick, 
Sami Zayn put his hand, so it kicked his hand yeah. instead of his face. Also, how could Sami have put his fucking his own hand or he, Daniel's hand? No, it was he against kn- Kevin's kick. It was against Kevin's oh. kick. So when he was holding Daniel, he actually helped put up his hand. And I love. Hey, that I know. They'd... I know you're all fucked up and just came back from two years. So let's do the hardest, worst bump you can possibly no, no. imagine. It's, that's why the apron bump was the best. It's nothing. It does not hurt his head. They did it on his lower back, and it looks way worse than yep. it, if you did a pop-up power he, bomb. He you heard of whiplash? Been... It's he... way, if he did the pop a power bomb, it would have killed him. How? Because it hits your head. Well, every time he was doing back when he was doing the running drop kick. If he, he can't take a pop up power bomb, he shouldn't have been cleared. Just saying, so, you don't I do mean, it right away, just in case. Well, one of the deals with Daniel Bryan coming back is yeah, after every tested. match he has to have an impact test on. Yeah, which which hey. is probably fake anyway. I don't. No, probably. I don't trust WWE's shit. But he took the. If this is his head, this is where he took the pop the power bomb. The event his lower back. Yeah. Fucking whiplash. It's probably it's not better than him landing on his head. Whiplash is a little bit better than landing on Power head. bomb doesn't land on your head. If you land on though. it wrong, you hit your head. Just saying it's well, a bigger don't, risk. Don't do it wrong then. I mean, like, I, I don't understand how you think a power bomb is landing on your head. He throws him up in the air and throws him down. That's more whiplash, too. Not really. Than a fucking. The apron? Yeah, he lands. The guy just back. came back, and you're going to fucking do an apron bump? Yes, it looks worse, and it's l- less worse for him. Well, I mean, think about it. But you're saying don't do the pop-up powerbomb, which isn't as bad because he might get hurt again. Well, the turnbuckle powerbomb Don't do anything then. Don't let, don't clear him. Sting's career. Well, that's, I think Sting fucked that up. It was a safer move doing the apron. It just was. Well, obviously, no, he had to have been cleared for a couple weeks prior to that. Yeah, I'm sure. And they just announced it because... No shit. He was surprised it didn't get leaked. I can't believe it didn't get leaked. I still can't believe it's they not probably there. They probably didn't even... Probably, it was probably like Vince and Triple H and like nobody. Until they started beating the crap out of him, I still didn't believe that he was actually cleared to wrestle. Yeah, that would have been funny if they beat him up and then say he's not clear anymore. That would have been the most WWE thing to do. But the second they kicked him in the head and shit, I'm like, okay, he actually really can take bumps now. I can kind of see Kevin and Sammy winning. Because, like, what benefit does Why it do for they? Shane? Yeah. Well, because fucking Daniel Bryan's returning. He's going to lose in his first Shane match gets back. Pinned, though. Well, Daniel never needs to have a title shot. Like, any match that he does now is just going to get instant attention because he hasn't wrestled in two years. Yeah, I hope he doesn't get hurt again. I'm going to be scared every single time. Yeah, every time yeah. he ever takes a bump. It's almost going to be like, not worth it because you can't enjoy his match because you're cringing the whole so time. So you don't do power bombs on him at all, ever. It's just, bad. It just wasn't worth it he, right he, there. I was he saying. needs to never do the freaking flying headbutt. If he ever tried he to do the flying he headbutt, he should just he be can. automatically retired. How He was trying to, like, when he did the kicks in the corner, the, the drop the kicks, he would, like, try to flip himself. So he landed yep. on his feet and he almost landed on his head twice. Yep. He's fucking dangerous. So uh, who's winning? He was like, yeah, he was like, on Total Divas, I remember he was trying to create, like he said he was creating a new style, much yeah. safer. He did the exact same moves he did every time. Well, I time. mean, he didn't really have a match. He just no, I know, but he fought did. people. He hasn't the shown that moves. style yet. Yeah, I hope, I mean, I hope it's something good. Who's winning? He can't do suicide dives, I bet. He shouldn't be. Uh, right now, I'll say Kevin and Even Sammy. though those are fucking, you just, oh, you know why all you do Kevin is push the guy and you just land on your feet, unless you're fucking Sasha. Oh, God. I'm, or you know Leo. why Kevin and Sammy win? Because their jobs will be on the line. Uh, I, I'm going to go I mean, with you, Shane. You can't be like, I'll, Shane, rehi- I'll rehire Dan- you for one match and then fire Sh- you again Shane if you Shane and lose. Daniel lose their jobs. It'll no. be like jobs no. versus jobs. No. That, and Daniel you, becomes a full-time wrestler and yeah, Shane and goes and away. And actually, that makes no sense. That actually, Who's going to run? Fucking Hogan going to go run bring, SmackDown? They bring a new guy to do SmackDown. It's who? not like, Bobby I don't know, Lashley. whoever they want. Who? Bobby Lashley. He's going to feud with fucking Lesnar if he stays. They don't know if Lesnar's actually staying. He's but if he stays. Lesnar won't come back till SummerSlam. Yeah, nobody wants to see that match. And why would Shane McMahon put his fucking own job on the line? He's the commissioner of SmackDown. What's fucking just to get his WWE hands on logic. him? Well, they'll say that we want to, you know, we want to fight you guys. Well, put your job up. Put your money with your mouth there, Shane. You fired us. Put your job on the line. If we, He'll be, just in, if we be, or he could out. just say, do you, do you want your job back? Fucking have this match. If not, okay, bye. Like I could see it Sammy and way. Kevin have no leverage on that. I, you you want to match think, at WrestleMania? Then? I still think Shane and Daniel win, but I could see the job thing being on the line. I could see that. I mean, I would have Daniel win and have start kickstart his career again with a win. All right, Sheamus and Cesaro versus Braun Strowman and TBD. Braun Strowman is going to win the tag team titles with Elias. I really Better fucking be. hope that is. You know how much f- they could be Team Hell No 2.0? Elias is winning the Battle Royal, so I don't know if he'll be in two matches. Yeah, well, he's also planning a, do that a concert, that. a performance. I almost guarantee you he's not in any match, and he just does that concert. That's fine, too. I don't know who his partner's going to be if it's not Elias. Big show? Besides that, yeah, which is my worst fear. I don't want to fucking Is he that. healthy enough? He just had a... Didn't he say, like, two years ago that it was his last WrestleMania? I thought so, but he there just was had a, a hip There was a picture of him with Stephanie where he looked like he had a fucking suit that was way too small for him. 
or way too big for him. Wow, good for Big Show then. What was it a fucking sheet? I mean, I would I would assume Braun Strowman wins, right? Yeah, Braun's winning the tag titles. Poor sh- poor Bar. I just wonder who is part. It's too many match. I can't get through this card without I have to fucking have to pee. So um, many fucking matches. It's gonna be Ziggler, Braun and Ziggler. God, Charlotte versus Asuka. Oh, Bazooka, Asuka. Bazooka Joe's gonna win. Well, I thought you fucking want Carmella to cash in. Terrible. I think she will. So, you, so you think Carmella's little... gonna win? I think she could ca- cash in. They'll a little probably ever ca- cash in. So <laughs> Charlotte <laughs> looks good, and they don't have Charlotte lose, and Oscar still stays undefeated. That's I mean, terrible. Charlotte's not gonna look good either way. She's bad. She's the Hulk Hogan of the uh, women's wrestling. Yeah, she can't wrestle. So all uh, all agreement in Asuka? Yes. So two new women's champions, I assume. Everyone's picking Nia yeah, over Nia's Alexa. Gonna destroy I Alexa. could see Nia losing, too. I don't think they're going to do it. Count out, maybe. I think I'm Nia's going to kill Alexa and Mickey James. Fuck I it, c- I'm picking Alexa. I could kind of see that just because they don't want to fucking give it to Nia. Who's going to fucking realistically, who sh- fucking beat her? Nia? Yeah, if you build Rousey. her up. Fuck off. That's what they're gonna do. Ronda's Bailey terrible. And Sasha have They'll have Nia be the unstoppable, whatever the hell her name is, for the entire summer. Until Ronda beats her at SummerSlam. So Nia's winning. I'm gonna pick Nia. I'm gonna pick uh, uh, Bliss. Randall Keith versus Robert Roode versus Jinder Mayhall. Roode. Jinder. Jinder. Orton's Fucking... gone too, right? After this, I think to, so. To do what? He's I taking he time a off. Movie. That guy's off. such a pussy. He takes so much time off. Maybe because he wants to be a heel, so he's just like, when I come back, I'm kicking ass. Yeah, Ginger. All right, Ms. Seth Finn. Why do you think Rude's winning? I think that's why they enter. They put uh, Ginger in the match. He couldn't just beat Orton. No, I think they, they, Orton's going to get like some well, they, amazing they RKO, Ginger. and then Rude's going to steal the pin. Rude's going to turn heel in a couple weeks after after uh, Mania. Well, if that Orton's, means Orton would have to still be around. If Orton's leaving, Not necessarily, they don't need to heel on somebody else. Well, he's already feuding with him and Jinder. He's going to be like, what the fuck, man? But why? If Orton's leaving, then Rude's just another face that they can have to replace him. I don't think he's going to turn heel. He would be better off that way, though. Much better as a heel. I think Jinder. Yeah. All right, Intercontinental. Miz, and then Balor wins it on Raw the next night. Or Rollins. One of them wins it on Raw the next night. Yeah, I'm taking Balor. How many days until Miz becomes the longest reigning Intercontinental champion? That's not a real thing. Like, um, combined reigns, like, I don't know why that's Im- fucking impressive. Like, longest reigning is, like, one reign. Yeah, he's the longest combined. Yeah, that's, know, that's, that's not... It's better a, than nothing. I mean, it's just another thing for him to talk about and fucking say how great he is. Um, I'm going to say Miz, and he loses the next night. Oh, he's still, like, 35 days Because he's away. taking time off, right? Because his baby? Yeah, yeah. he's... His well, baby's she, supposed to be born on the day of he's doing that. Yeah, it's supposed no, to be around WrestleMania. It's the day he's doing that signing. What signing? The one in New Orleans. No idea what signing he's doing. Yeah, we are all talked about it, so. When? A couple days ago, it got announced. Yeah, you never told me about that. I could literally show you the, the conversation. I go, uh, it's going to be Balor because Miz is taking time off. Because I would have just said I don't need to meet the Miz. What if Jericho much is did. Braun's partner? Jericho? Yeah. He's, he has a show that he's, night. He's in New Hampshire. He could fly in. He could. I'm sure the show is at night. <laughs> Maybe he has a 1 p.m. show. Look. Look at <laughs> what time that show is. It's like 8 p.m. AJ versus Shinsuke. Shinsuke. Gotta be That's right. That's going to open the show. <sighs> so annoying. I mean, it, it sucks that it opens the show, but, like, it's better to open the show than be stuck mid-card. Well, it's not. because they, they have main events mid-card. Like, no. wrestle, look at WrestleMania 8. The fucking title match was in the middle. Well, look at WrestleMania 27, Edge Del Rio. Uh, last year, Bray Randy. Yeah. That was the main event. Yeah, but that Randy was, won the Royal Rumble. That was mid-card. That world, was, t- got that world title about. meant nothing back then. But uh, that's the main event, though. Whoever wins the Royal Rumble is, is the main event. So yeah. the main event was whenever that match happened. Should have been. Randy was like, "Yeah, I, I want to match the main event." Kevin Owens said I... this, and I agree. If you're not for, if you're not last, you really want to go on first. You want to open the show. the The opener is supposed to be a really good wrestling match, too. So Which I think it's a good spot be. for AJ Nakamura, but it sucks that they're not going to main event. So I think the only other spot besides main event is the opener. I mean, there's 15 matches they could go in any spot. I know, but I'm saying that's the you best can put spot them in where the middle. Showcase. I feel like it gets lost in the middle. How? So it just gets surrounded by other shit. I don't know. I feel like if they open with it, they open strong. The crowd is already hot. It's gonna make that match better. One of the battle royals has to be on the pre-show, right? Guys. I would hope so. I hope the men is. I figure it has to be because they're gonna build up the women as first ever. But it's not. What? It's not the first ever. First ever it's women's WrestleMania. WrestleMania battle royal. No, wasn't there a divas battle royal at WrestleMania a couple yeah, years ago? Women's. Oh, sorry. They they changed the terminology. 
I don't know. It's going to be for a trophy, so. So Nakamura wins. And then the match. I'm wins. picking AJ. It's not going to happen, but I want him to win. Do we even have to talk about the last match? I mean, we all know Roman's winning, so. It's going to be terrible. It is. A no, fucking, it's not. It's going to be a good match. They're but gonna just, the fact, the, that, shit out just of each the fact other. that it's been. I don't care. This is actually more preordained than. I, you Cena really, Rock. you'd really Brock rather you'd rather Brock be the champion right now than Reigns. Be no, him. I'd rather Braun have been in the goddamn match and win the title. Yeah, they already ruined that though. He took one F five and lost. Yeah, before that's fucking that's Roman's fault. How was it Roman's fault? It's Vince's fault. Yeah, it's because he wants Roman to kick out of it, so it looks fucking amazing. That's why nobody's kicked out of an F five. In well, the I last... think that's not Roman's idea. Yeah, but it's his fault because they're doing it for him. No matter who they – if it was Samoa Joe, it would have been Samoa Joe's fault then. Yeah. That's but what... we all would have liked Samoa Joe to win. It no, just I sucks that Samoa Joe's stupid... going to come back, feud with Reigns for the title, and never even come close to it. I mean, he's fucking – He'll probably beat him. It's not like Roman wins every match. He doesn't win that many pay-per-view matches. He had a streak where he lost a bunch. Yeah, and he still looked better than some winners did. So No, but seriously, though, Roman is going to main event WrestleMania next year too. The dude is a strong guy. I don't I, He looks strong. Get over it. Like Braun versus Roman main event 35? Only if fucking... Braun, if Braun doesn't win the title by next year's WrestleMania, it's, I don't know what they're doing. I don't think they are. I think Roman's going to hold the title for a while. They're not going to hold it for a year. None of his title reigns have been long. I think people are going to tune out if he's holding it for that long. People are just going to not stop caring even more. Can we talk about if Paul Heyman turns? I think he should. I think that's a great way to go off. It's doing Austin Rock right. Because it's a better turn. That would be Vince McMahon saying, I was wrong about Roman. He needs a mouthpiece. He can't talk. I don't think he's, his ego's going to do that. Or does... He's also inducting Goldberg for no reason in the Hall of Fame. Makes no sense. Because of his feud with... Uh, Lesnar? Makes or no or sense. Who is? It should have been Eric Bischoff. Paul Heyman. Oh. It doesn't make any sense to have him induct Goldberg. Who else None. would? Anyone from WCW. Have DDP do it for all I care. Fucking Heyman? Because of the feud last year. So, I guess. That's fucking so... He's stupid. not going in the Hall of Fame based off that feud. Let's be honest. Paul Heyman's not turning. You know who's inducting the, the then Dudleys? You, then you can, yeah. Who? Fucking Edge and Christian. Yeah, and they want the Hardys to be a part of it, too. But then you can never have fucking Brock Lesnar come back because he can't talk on his own. So if he's never coming he's back. He's turned on three times or two times. Yeah, he can't speak. Okay. He's, he's forgiven not, Paul. So he's going to turn on him, and then a year later he'll just come back and be with Paul for no reason? Yeah, Paul turns on whoever he's with for Brock again. It just, it, it can happen. It's not, it's, it's WWE. It's not going to happen. Or Brock never comes back. Good. Fuck him. Also, that would make Roman look weak if he needed Paul Heyman's fucking help. I'm not going to fucking do that. They're going to have Roman just fucking kick out of an F5, probably two of them, and then fucking beat the shit out of Brock and pin him. Well, you know what's going to be funny? When then he, maybe Paul Heyman would go with him. When but, he kicks out of, like, three F5s, one spear, and it's over. Oh, my God. If he, it's if they, never one spear, and it's over. People say that. Like he, John Cena hit, like, five Superman punches and two spears, well, one su- through a Superman table. Superman punch is just a punch, so I don't it's really a consider it. signature move. So I mean, so is the blue thunder bomb that never wins a match. It I mean, did. Of course it, it won doesn't. one no, on SmackDown. It yes, it did. I don't think it did. Because you've complained about that. Let's let it win one match one time. Nobody wins with a Superman punch. I'm pretty sure it's been one spear occasionally. There was a there couple was a, times. Not every everyone thinks it's one spear and it's over after he kicks out of four finishing moves. It's never it's like that. Usually like that. He's more Super Cena than Super Cena. He's not. He does not win, win nearly as much as Cena. But like when Cena would lose, he'd like lose and just like up oh, AJ fucking beat him. Cena didn't look that great. When Daniel oh Bryan beat him. Yeah. Like he just beat him. But they're always putting him in a position where fucking Rock Broman has to look good even if he's losing. Like you don't always fucking have Arnold Schwarzenegger to look looks good in all of these strong. movies. And you love him. You don't have to look strong. You can just lose. Let somebody beat but you. you. You're blaming Roman for this. But think it's about not Roman's it's fault. All, think about it. you're, the, you're like, I don't understand the Roman hate. That's the character we're given. I'm not going to be like, well, it's Vince's fault. I like this guy. But he's still good. Yeah. His matches are always great. Always great. I wouldn't go great. He's had great matches with Miz on television like three weeks in a row. It's because of the Miz. It's because of both of them. It takes two They're to tango. Great. They're always great. Look at last year with The Undertaker. That was fucking great. That was phenomenal. It was That match was like 20 minutes too long. Always great. Oh, my God. It was terrible. It How was, long was that match? It was you didn't even watch. think it was terrible when we were leaving the arena. I knew it was bad. You said didn't... it was fine, and then you were like, I didn't realize it was that bad. You just said it was great. I didn't. I said he has great matches. No. You just said he was always great. He is. Undertaker the was, can't wrestle. I'm the sorry. The match was 23 minutes long. Sorry the Undertaker can't wrestle. And then they let him go 23 minutes. not a great minutes. match, so you can't say he always has great matches. Whatever. Of course it was a little didn't. exaggerated. 
He always looks strong. That's the point. That's what people are not fucking happy with. That's why they never liked John Cena fucking back in the day and still don't. What That's if why people no, hate him. No, Cena never lost. That's what people didn't like. Not more that he looked strong. It's that he never lost. He had a 360-day title reign because it ended because he tore his pec. Who knows how long that would have went on for. He never lost. Reigns loses. He's had four title reigns, three title reigns, and they've all been under 50 days. Yet he still looks stronger than the he champion. He had one for five minutes. He looks better than a champion most nights. Is that when Sheamus catches yeah, yes. him? You have the title. You look better than the guy who doesn't have the title. Then why does Roman always look better than the champion? That's one opinion. Sometimes he doesn't. Like, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, he doesn't yeah, always I mean, look the strongest guy in the card. I, I mean, I don't know what you're watching, Ben. Braun guess, looks stronger than him. So I guess every— uh, Elimination Chamber. Roman won, but Braun looks stronger. Why are you not mad at that? He didn't look stronger. Yes, he, he did. He eliminated five guys. And then still lost. Okay. He didn't look stronger throughout the entire match. Roman he, lost a match to Braun. And then tried Braun killing won, him. Yeah. And then tried to murder him. He doesn't look that strong. He had to use a, a fucking car to try to kill him. Uh, he got out there walking, and fucking Braun was in a fucking goddamn— I'm, I, if Braun did the same shit, you'd say, oh, it's Braun, so he can, he can look strong. Yeah, because Braun's never fucking done anything that's like this for three years. So <laughs> I guess all the people who hate Roman are just they're just making it up. They're he never, just, he never looks hate, strong. They hate he the guys that strong. WWE likes. Because yeah. guys like Daniel Bryan didn't get a title shot. That's exactly it. Yeah, it pretty much is. Yep. Why do you think people hate Roman Reigns? Because he, he was chosen. Because he, he actually has talent, too. Because Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins gets, didn't get chosen at first. That's why they liked... They hate Roman Reigns because they um, wanted to see Seth, the other two because they were indie guys. Seth did get chosen. At yeah, first. after. I'm just saying he didn't. He's the one who turned heel and got the big push. But and Roman he got over a... because people liked him. And then Roman was shoved down our throats shoved. and people didn't like it. Seth, Which, by the way, Roman Reigns. Um, is... Seth was also shoved down our throats, too. He was champion forever and never won clean. Yeah, he really never did. They never let a heel champion win clean. That does. How Just is that shoving like Seth Rollins? And they didn't because he wasn't. Yeah, he got. They he, got over again. Was, people saw it immediately in the Shield that he was being fucking pushed to be the next guy, and he wasn't even. The, no the, one booed him when he was two. in the Shield. Nobody he's, booed he's, the Shield. He's easily people better still, than Dean Ambrose. People still saw it. He wasn't as over as Dean Ambrose was. He's better. That doesn't Who's mean better. Dean, Dean or Roman? I hate them both. <laughs> I think Roman's more. O- Dean's more over. I think Roman's a better wrestler. Yeah, that's fine. But people but Dean's prefer Dean. Yeah. It's because he's crazy. I think Seth's more over than Dean. Hey, he's is. a better heel. I think he's sort of a tool as a face. And Roman's uh, third title reign was 77 days, by the way. Whatever. Still not that long. His one before that was 41. Then he lost it in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. I can't. I forgot that's the last time Roman's been champion. He hasn't been champion been two in two years. Just because they know people are like they don't want to see it. I mean, it's smart, but they've been playing in the same I match for a year and a half. I don't get how people love Brock and hate Roman. I don't they think don't anyone love loves Brock. Brock. People do love Brock. It's crazy. It's because they, he's a fucking attraction. Yeah, he's a huge attraction. But he doesn't wrestle well anymore. He just suplexes. What was the last good match Brock had? It was with with, with Goldberg because it lasted five minutes. No, Cena. Cena Which had one? good matches. That was his yeah, that fir- was before. That I was saying his, his last good match. His match with last. Triple H at 29 was an actual match. They had a match. He's for was the last, it good, though? The last couple of years, he's just been mailing it in. The, uh, the whatchamacallit, last year, the triple threat. The title needs to be on TV all the time, but fucking Roman doesn't need the title. They just, for whatever reason, they're obsessed with putting... No, but he should never win the title. They're obsessed with putting the fucking, making him look as amazing as possible. Because they think for some reason it's going to fucking f- turn the fans around to fucking root for I don't for think, no, but you're, I honestly don't, they don't want Ro- Roman to get cheered anymore. They like the Cena reaction. They want that at this point. They originally wanted Roman to be top babyface, but don't you think now they like the half boo no, half cheer? No, they're they're just realizing that it's never gonna change. I think ever they, they want the half boo half cheer. Absolutely not. Why would it you is. want the guy that they positioned to be the next Hulk Hogan to get half cheer? He's not that half anymore. They're not positioned to be the next. That's Hulk what Hogan. I just said. They're coming. They're like, all right, we're well, never. It's, been like it's that never for a gonna change years, for like two years now. Yeah, they realize that they're never gonna change. So why it. are people still mad? Oh my because god! Because they I don't want to see him. Completely just. But realized. isn't that also half of why wrestling is great? You want some guy to lose so badly. I it means he's doing his job pretty well. Who Braun's partner is going to be? Mark Henry. Jason Jordan. No, no, he's not cleared. He is cleared. Said who? He's gonna. He's what gonna about come big back. ass? I could. Definitely, why would he pick Jason Jordan? He won't pick him. Kurt's going to say, since you didn't pick a partner, I picked one for you. Oh god! And that's it's going to be happen. Jason Jordan. Why would you make? 
Kurt the biggest heel before his match with Ronda. I could see that happening. It's going to be effing terrible. That just dawned on me now. He's, what about Big Ass I don't think the he's Battle cleared. Royal? I, don't oh, if, I haven't heard anything about him being cleared. They said that him and Big Cass are both pretty much ready to return, so some other Joe. So what, what if, what if J- it's Joe? What if Jason Jordan does the same thing he did when he was injured? He just stands on the apron and becomes a champion and never gets in the match. The only reason Joe That's when they lost makes sense for Braun because he was like, wasn't he like teaming with the bar when they were doing the Shield thing around uh, Survivor Series? Wasn't he helping them? Yes. I mean, obviously they could do it and be whatever, but... I think it's going to be Jason Jordan. That would be terrible. Honestly, Jason Jordan's awesome. He's just so bad. He just needs to officially, like, turn heel. He's not even bad. It's just like his... Uh, Ron and Elias would be the most fun. He's just naturally hated, and it's kind of amazing. Yeah, it's because his character. He's really good at being a whiny bitch. It's not like that's who Jason Jordan, the human being, is. No, I remember Jason Jordan, the human being, on Breaking Ground. He's awesome. Yeah, he got those sweet shoes to walk in the mud. Braun and Elias would be the most entertaining. If you can tell it me what shoes definitely. he bought, what the t- what the name of the shoes were. Oh, I don't know. Oh, boy, the catapult. You sound like me, and I like to put my balls on him. You sound like me, and I like to put my balls on him. Whoa, oh, oh. That's the best part, when he dances. How does his body move like that? I don't know. I don't know how he does the double dutch. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did we go over every match? Wait, you don't think Big Ass is winning the uh, Battle Royal? I hope he fucking dies. I don't think they have him come back to, like, the Raw after. He needs to be a heel. He's just too easy to hate because he's a fucking Donald Trump-loving idiot. Like, just... It's Does just... he even talk about it that much, or did it just leak that people don't like him because he likes Trump? I'm sure... I mean, he doesn't tweet about it, Trump supporters, I'm sure they never shut up about it. Well, he knows he'd get crucified on Twitter. Yeah. It's just That's just a waste of a spot. Especially if Raw goes back to two hours. It's not like he's even good either. Is it going back to two hours? If they go to you Fox, it would? it would have to. You can't <sighs> be so you can't money. be on Fox. I mean, they're not going to lose any money. No advertising money. For if, the if they third go hour. to if they're on Fox, they have to be two hours. Why? Because the evening news, news is on at 10 p.m. Unless uh, you start at seven, that would suck. It has to be three hours. They should just be both on FXX or FX. You know, the Are they never going to go to the network? I know. Why I bet it's gonna happen if they go to I Fox. Thought that's just what he Vince wants everything on his own. Network. If they go to Fox, it'll be eight to ten on Fox, and then ten to eleven on the network. I could see that happening every week. That's not terrible. They need three hours. There's too many people. They need SmackDown to be three hours at this point. No, SmackDown has nothing. Well, then Smack, no one's been Smackdown's on the show. Like they're not bad. pushing anybody. Yeah. But like, who, who's gonna get pushed? Ty. That's about it. Ty and Corbin. And they do push Corbin. Well, when you do the superstar shakeup, and then Seth Rollins ends up on SmackDown. AJ well, there, I think Raw. AJ's. If AJ goes, they to have Raw, to do that. No, AJ needs to be. He needs to be the. Ed, well, Edge was on both. Well, the worst Undertaker, thing that's going to happen is when the club goes from Raw to SmackDown, and they lose Balor. Well, they could then go. They have AJ. They keep AJ. AJ. Will be on Raw. I, I think no. AJ and Seth are going to switch. I think Balor should always be on Raw, and AJ should always be on SmackDown. That's that's how you get. Usos stale. are going to Raw. I mean, what is there left for AJ to do? Undertaker was always on SmackDown. AJ's the face that runs the place. Undertaker was the fucking... They each have their own anchor of, like, their own superstar. I don't know. That's what I think. Usos definitely go to Raw, though. Like, that's without question. Tag teams need a shakeup. The, the Usos need to be on Raw. Raw needs the Usos. AJ's going to Raw. He was supposed to last year. I bet you they do it this year. They didn't because SmackDown was the better show. And now SmackDown's terrible. Which, which is not AJ's that's, fault. That's Yeah, that's the only reason why it's going to happen. Ginger's going to go to Raw and be a jobber. Again. No, I bet Ginger stays. There's Samoa no Joe. Way. Samoa Joe needs to go to SmackDown feud with Nakamura. He just that needs be to be amazing. healthy. Yeah, poor guy. He doesn't need a feud with Nakamura. We saw that already. That'd be awesome. Please give me something we haven't seen. We haven't seen it in WWE. Doesn't matter. It's NXT. It's the same thing. It'll just be worse. Didn't they have one match? They had three. The title switched hands twice. Nakamura? Yeah. yeah. Nakamura. Oh, and you Joe. said and Joe? Oh, I thought you said Balor and Nakamura. No, they had one match. Meaningless match. That would be great. Because, like, who's Nakamura going to feud with? Cian Almas. Nobody wants to see that. Everyone would want to that see that. That would be an amazing match. I thought AJ should fucking... I thought AJ should retain and then go on SmackDown and be like, nobody can fucking beat me. I'm AJ Styles. I'm the man. And then El Idolo comes out. Boom. That's the other Five crappy thing. Matches. All those guys on NXT, they're going to get obviously called up. Sorry, Zack Ryder. You're getting fired soon. I wish. He would never get Who's fired. Who's going to get called up from NXT? Almas. I mean, he could, he'd still get a rematch. Gargano. Yeah. He'll get called up. That's Authors of Pain. It. That's a They're going to feud with the Bludgeon Brothers. They're going Raw. No, they're going to Raw. You think? Yeah. That's too much of a feud of the same team, though. I don't want to see that. They're going to. They would have good matches with the Bar. I think Drew Galloway. McIntyre. He's healthy. Yeah, he's coming back soon. I thought he was going to be in the Rumble if he was healthy. I don't know if he's healthy still or yet. 
But there's a lot of guys. Like Ember Moon's getting called up, clearly. How many times is she left? Because we're almost at two hours. She's a guy? Yeah, she... Have you, you said you said a lot Ember of guys Moon? are getting called up. Yeah, Ember she's Moon. hot. She looks like a dude. No. She's the champion. She's not. She's, I don't think there has a champion ever lost and then just got called up and like they didn't get a rematch. Well, they get the rematch like on an NXT episode or something. That's so weak. I have to take a piss. Which do you want to know who the uh, next challenger for uh, Flip Gordon's any, any W title is? No, it's Lucha Mania. Penta Ohm. It's Pentagon. It's Pentagon Zero Mero. I know. Like, he I, changes his name all the time, but it's Pentagon. He's a man. He's awesome. I hate Flip Gordon. So Everyone, much. Ha- me and Matt hate Flip Gordon too. I hate him so much. He just is a fucking pussy. Edo and Zeke, tell us what you think of Flip Gordon. Bet you he doesn't know. Who- well, he's on ROH, isn't he? And he sucks. He teams with the Bucks, the- or he teams with um the team who faces the Bucks. Whoever that was. Your son likes me. He likes to throw balls at me. Wow. What you've never seen Craig Murray incident? No, I have. All right, what other topics do you have? We're at 140. I could give Ramey a list to read. What Don't you want to know the 34 best WrestleMania matches? Hold no. on. I, that'll just piss Matt off. Oh, God. Fucking Sal. I have a list of I have behind an, the scenes secrets from every WrestleMania fans didn't know, 20 gimmicks and storylines that WWE was forced to drop, and then whatever your list is. Oh, send me the gimmicks. That's going to be number one, Muhammad Hassan, guaranteed. No, give him the other one. The backstage one's better. Oh, I read that one. We could do both. I actually read that one, too. I don't think I read the gimmick one. I Wait, you, are you guys ready for the 34 best WrestleMania matches, though? It's bad. Yeah, it? it pretty is. It's pretty It's pretty bad. All right, go. Uh, I'll DM it to you, I guess. I'm going to go 34 to 1. So 34 was uh, Lesnar versus Reigns, WrestleMania 31. I like that match. Okay. That's are the they, are they just picking yep. one from each WrestleMania? Or is this just is the 34 best, best match from matches? each Mania? Or is it? Just no, there's there's multiple matches from the same okay. Mania as I know. I, I'll accept that one. Go. Uh, Daniel Bryan versus Batista versus Randy Orton from Wait, WrestleMania 30. Not as good as the, th- Dan- th- the 31 match with Roman and Brock is in the top 34 ever. Yeah. Fuck out of here. I don't know. I enjoyed it. Um. Yeah, I don't think it's the top fucking. I, I have to see what, what else. What, what, what else the, gets beat What was the next one? 33 was Daniel Bryan versus Batista versus Randy Orton. This is Mania matches, 30. not moments. I don't think that was matches. even. I think it was worse than Triple H versus Daniel Bryan. Uh, yeah. Daniel well, Bryan I mean, versus Triple H was number 32. Yeah, so at least that's ranked better. All right. Number 31, CM Punk versus The Undertaker from Mania 29. I don't remember it being uh, special. S- that was the best match on the card by far. Yeah, but that card sucked. 30, John Cena versus The Rock from Mania 28. No. No. The buildup was much better than the fucking match. 29, Triple H versus The Undertaker, Mania 28. Okay, at least it's not ranked lower. Well, let's see if fucking... 28... <laughs> Is Triple H versus The Undertaker for Mania 27? Right, good. good. Most people think the Hell in a Cell is better. Don't get it. Because, I don't. Because they're like, they must be like, oh, it's the Hell in a Cell and it's with Shawn Michaels. That match is not even close to what they had in 27. It's one guy it gets had, beat up for an hour and then the one, other guy gets beat up for an hour. It had one spot where they did the super kick pedigree and he kicked out. That match is no way, shape, or form better than their 27 match. No way. Speaking of 27, number 27, Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker for Mania 26. Good. 25 is way better. I mean, Numbers. does anyone think 26 was better? Probably. Because he lost his career? That match wasn't as good. The second one's never as good. They did the same stuff, pretty much. The only difference was they started fast at 26. Oh, 25 is the best. That has to be number one or I'm leaving. You might want to leave because it's the next one on the list. They're just doing it. Shawn like- Michaels and Undertaker at 25 is 24th? 26th. That's horrendous. That's the best Who match in the history list? of WrestleMania. Some guy on no DQ. It was like an opinion article. Absolute Jeez. moron. Kill uh, yourself. Fucking number- die. I hope your whole family dies. <laughs> Oh, wow. So you think that should be number one, so now the next 25 are going to be really terrible. That's the best match in WrestleMania history. Ooh, I actually disagree with that. Go, What's better than that? Uh, the Iron Man match? What was number one on here is what I think is the best Mania match of all time. All right, go. Just keep going. Uh, number 25, Undertaker versus Edge from Mania 24. That was a really good even... match, but I don't think it was better than Shawn Michaels. I don't even remember that Absolutely match that not even close. Yeah, this guy's a fucking idiot. Hope he dies in a fire. Uh, 24, Shawn Michaels versus Ric Flair from Mania 24. That's some WrestleMania I still never still, actually watched. We were at school and we just we never watched it. Yeah, I never. And did. I, I never watched that whole Mania. Number twenty better than any of the other ones. Number twenty three, Shawn Michaels versus John Cena for Mania twenty three. I don't even remember how good it was or not. It was a good match. Yeah. Uh, that was when uh, Shawn Michaels wouldn't shake his hand. Wow, he, he wouldn't shake he his did, hand. He did. What was the reasoning? I, I just Cena wasn't I just selling this. any of the stuff. He wasn't uh, selling yeah. like the leg injury or something. And he just oh after it was over, he wouldn't sell the leg injury and he went to shake his hand and Shawn's like yeah not today kid yeah. Which, in the Sean, ring at Mania? Yeah. Sean's wow. a dick, but like I kind of agree with him on that one. John, you need to fucking sell. 
He he, get, he sells during the match, and then as soon as it's over, boom, I'm ready. I'm good. <laughs> what is he, Roman? Well, no, Roman sells. Anytime Roman he lifts up the goddamn stairs, you must they must weigh 6,000 pounds. I've never seen anybody struggle to lift <laughs> yeah. up the stairs. I'd say Cena's probably more likely to get taken out on a stretcher than Roman is. I can't believe he got taken out last week. I expected him to just walk out and be like, yeah, I'm, never I'm, been I'm fucking stretcher. fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, he I'm, always I'm, limps and sells. John Roman well, could have the Tron fall on him and he'd fucking walk away. Yeah, but he'd limp away. He wouldn't walk away. He'd crawl. He'd yeah, still, he'd crawl. He'd there still you go. Get away. Yeah, but John would never allow the fucking Tron to fall on him. That's not how he couldn't control that. It's a fucking Tron. Go number twenty-two, the Undertaker versus Batista from WrestleMania that's a, twenty-three. That's bat- who is this guy? What's his Twitter? I'll find it. Because like that 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 match wasn't good. Is it Aaron Rift? I don't remember who it was. What an absolute fucking idiot. This list is a joke. Uh, number- WWE list would have been better than this. Yeah, but the Hell in the Cell would have been like two. Remember, it's just one man's opinion, Matt. It's just one man's opinion. Yeah, it's a fucking moron's opinion. You're bringing it on this podcast. Yeah, that, I need that, to that find poison? out. I need to find out the guy's Twitter. So Matt fuck, can stop tweet saying him. poison. That poison. If I if I see if I see that poison in here, go I'm fucking horse. Twenty one. Mick Foley versus Edge. WrestleMania twenty two. That match was awesome. That was awesome. It wasn't a good like wrestling match, it was but, it was hard, fucking, but it was a hardcore match. So. It number was, twenty. HBK versus Kurt Angle from Mania twenty one. What really number? good. Twenty one. That was one that's of not the, even in the top ten what? for this guy. Oh, okay, yeah, I was gonna say. What's Num- this guy doing? Number nineteen. From WrestleMania 20, Shawn Michaels versus Triple H versus no. The Unknown. No. How was that not in the top ten? You think that match was better than... Angle and Shawn was way better than the Triple Threat. Well, wait till you get Definitely to the top ten. Definitely not way better. I think Shawn... Both of those Angle matches could were be two. fucking amazing. Could be the second best Mania match of all time. 18, HBK versus Chris Jericho for Mania 19. Good, good match, match. Not better than any of the other Angle ones. match. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think it should be as high as it is. No. Uh, 17, Austin versus Rock for Mania 19. Yeah. Number 16, I think, is just going to infuriate From 19? That. Yeah. That wasn't even Wait, that good. That's when, 19? that's when Rock yeah. won. That match um, wasn't any good. Th- this uh. next one, I think, is going to infuriate Matt. This guy's a fucking moron. Number 16, also from WrestleMania 19, Hulk Hogan versus Vince McMahon. <laughs> I mean, that was a cool thing to see, but how is that on the list of best matches? Uh, I think this guy meant to write best moments. Yeah, I'll need to find that out. This guy's a moron. Number 15, Undertaker versus Ric Flair from WrestleMania 18. Oh, God. John Mayer. Match, John Mayer no. is trending. What the fuck happened? John Mayer? Is he Mara. dead? Oh, tired of answering questions. How is that just trending now? Oh, John Mayer. I think he said I, John Mayer. I really like that match, too, but it's not better than the li- ones you've listed before that. Number 14, Hulk Hogan versus The Rock. Yeah. That's what Cody says is the best, best match, match ever. ever. Yeah, which, which is a little weird. He Cody. says, he goes... I understand what he's saying, but I think that... that he's just means, saying that, that's what wrestling that, is all that about. That means that, that wrestling actual... The actual wrestling part means nothing. It means less. So I think Cody's a stupid-haired idiot on that. Stupid-haired idiot. He's, he's a fucking stupid, he's bleach hairs. blonde moron for, for that one opinion. Other than that, I love Cody. But, yeah. yeah if I, you've I, listened this far, comment Randy Osga 27 See how people spell Osga. Hope I hope Randy comments wrong. <laughs> he spells his name wrong. Randy with an I. What's and next? Oscar, but yeah. Number 15, 14, 13. Number 13. Steve Austin versus The Rock from Mania 17. Okay. Number 12. Oh, I know what you probably think is the best match of all time. What? Brett Austin. Oh, he also has it mentioned Triple H and Cena. I hope that's not in the fucking top no, ten. Me too. That wasn't even as good as the fucking John Michaels one. Number twelve, Edge and Christian versus the Dudleys versus the Hardys for Mania seventeen. Okay. Right. Number eleven, Edge and Christian versus the Dudleys versus the Hardys for Mania sixteen. No, seventeen was better. I think seventeen was better too. Wait, what better. was the first? It was two- WrestleMania two thousand. And he had the second one ahead of that. He had, yeah, no, he had the first one ahead of it. The, yeah, the, the, ori- yeah, the original. Oh, the, they only did one TLC at Mania. Yeah, the other one was called the. Uh, the triangle ladder match. It was billed as WrestleMania 2000 was the triangle ladder match. Then they did TLC one. I'm pretty sure at SummerSlam, and then TLC two at WrestleMania 17. Which they didn't. There was uh, I forget what the Dudleys were fucking what pay for it was, but they were like, "Yeah, you're doing a TLC match tonight." I think it might have been a SmackDown. They like had no time to prepare for it. <laughs> they were just like, "Yeah, you're doing that tonight." Jeez. All right, keep going. Number ten. We've hit in the top ten. Yep. I, yeah, I gathered that when you said ten. Brett Austin from Mania 13. Okay. Number nine, Brett HBK. Mania Number 12. nine? Brett HBK. At Mania 12. Nine, okay. The Number, Iron Man, yeah. Number eight, Shawn Michaels versus Razor Ramon, WrestleMania 10. 
right? I mean, if you watch that back, it can't be that great because ladder matches have become so good. I feel like that one's still one of the best, and it was one that was the the first on pay per view. No, I know. I'm just saying it's like evolve. Ladder matches evolve so much you expect to see crazy shit. So I feel like when you go back and watch it, it's not as good. At least somebody from my generation. Texas Tech within five. Yeah. What's next? <laughs> Number seven. Owen Hart versus Bret Hart, WrestleMania 10. That was one of the best. Number six, Bret Hart versus Roddy Piper, WrestleMania 8. I don't remember. That it. was the best match on that card. I don't think it's one of the top six Mania matches ever, though. I don't. Uh, probably not. But that was better. It was a good match. That like, was even better one. than Flair and Savage. Fucking Piper. That was one of Piper's only, like, five pinfall losses ever or some shit. You just said Piper won. I'm a Piper lost, sorry. All right. Number five. Randy Savage versus the Ultimate Warrior, WrestleMania 7. I think that's more for the moment than yeah. for... That match itself it's like wasn't Rock that Hogan. great, but he yeah. gave him, like, seven elbows at the top, and he kicked out. Fucking nobody cares about that, but Roman kicks out of fucking <laughs> one at five, and everyone's going nuts. Ro- I mean, Warrior did that one time. Roman oh, does it every it fucking joke. time. Number four. Hulk Hogan versus the Ultimate Warrior, WrestleMania 6. That was such a good match compared to what that should have been. They actually did a good wrestling was match. Was it better than Rock versus Hogan? Yes, of course it was. Hogan was like... Oh, wait, wait. This was Aaron Rift. This was Aaron Rift. Yeah, he's the main no DQ guy. Top 34 WrestleMania matches in history was his article. Idiot. All right, so that was number... uh, What number is that? Four. Number three. Hogan vs. Savage. Mania 5. Yeah, that wasn't as good as Hogan Warrior. Number two. Hogan Andre for WrestleMania 3. That match wasn't... See, this guy's taking into account... Not He's not talking about wrestling matches. He's talking about fucking on paper. Because that should be number one. Well, number one was what I think is the best WrestleMania match of all time. What, Ricky Steamboat and Savage? Yes. I mean, have you heard Ricky Steamboat? He said that was... He hated a- it. He said it was average, so... Because he's had so many good matches. Aaron Riff is a fucking idiot. A lot of his list is just absolutely retarded. Aaron Riff's not a... At least he put Hell in a Cell guy. behind fucking... 27 for Triple H Taker. That's better. Oh, and apparently Apollo got hurt at a live event. No. Doing what? He apparently wrestled. Wow. Hurt his knee. This poor guy. Is there anything else to talk about? What was it? What I, was your list? You you said you DM'd it to me. Yeah. I have an idea that we should do. Matt's gonna originally say no, but do it anyway once me and Ramy start doing it. But let's oh. do your list first. What about the guy who was 0-20 on his bracket? Oh, that guy. There was a guy who got the first 20 picks of the NCAA tournament wrong, and Ramey and I agree that that's harder to do than get them all right. Yeah, definitely. You got every C- – oh, and 20! But then well, he got it, one right. It had to have it. been a joke bracket because you wouldn't have picked all 16 seeds to win. Wait, he would have had to pick one – Exactly. He got UMBC. <laughs> he got that one wrong. He would have picked Virginia and then all one seeds to lose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Like, how does that's, that even happen? That's unbelievable. I didn't even think of it that way. Of course, he would. He fucking picked the one sixteen to bucket. <laughs> he picked the <laughs> one one seed that lost, and the other three fucking. Oh my god! I mean, definitely wasn't that guy's first bracket, but that is insane. That's fucking hilarious. Want me to talk about the dream I had of Charlotte? I read you, that. Yeah, was, please. Did please, you see that? Me. Yeah, I commented on it. Did you? Oh yeah, you, with the Hogan. It was something about, like, I was in class, Mikey's sitting behind me. The payoff to this is the best. And I forget what the thing was, but I was mentioning how I said, I didn't say that, because I mentioned Charlotte in the tweet, I didn't say what I actually said in the dream. I was like, yeah, she sucks, she's terrible. And she pulls me, I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking, they're watching the fucking game. I'm no, listening. I'm listening. And they're, you're also telling this to our listeners, because we've already seen it. All two of them, eat owns eat. Fucking, and then Charlotte, like, pulls me aside, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm screwed. And then she's like, shows me the schedule, she's like, you're in my later class. And I'm like, but I have a class at that time, but I like this class. It's with Mikey. And then I woke up. That's the best. She pulls you aside and says, "Uh, Matt, you're actually in my later class. Yeah. I I was like, oh. She's a teacher. And I was like, but wait, I want to fucking be in this class with Mikey. But I have another class at that time. Did Mikey speak at all in this tweet? In this tweet. He didn't respond to the tweet, of course. That's hysterical. Oh, we didn't do the the, the, We didn't do the scavenger hunt either. No, Uh, we're we're going to announce one. Yeah, we got to plan that. We're thinking about, here's the idea. We're thinking about doing like a thing where you have to listen to multiple episodes, either go back or future ones where you have to find certain clues inside the episode, and we'll do like a giveaway. We're also thinking about doing a live one, not not a live one, a call-in episode. Well, I guess it would have to be live too, a live one where you can call in through Skype 
um, you I would make a, a Skype account for the podcast or whatever. You would message me like one sentence of something you want to discuss, like what they do on the radio, and then we'll accept, we'll call you if we want to talk. We will get so many prank hey, Howard Stern's butt cheese. Yeah, it's one fucking I mean, Steve, the Steve, to do it. Steve Bartman so, called into fucking ESPN and talked to Dan Patrick. Oh yeah. God, I remember that Howard Stern's butt cheese, and we've been had. <laughs> God, it's still one of the I'm pretty sure that's what he said, right? I think so. Wow, sorry, you missed out. Dexter f- season four cards. What is this? When did you eBay? Uh, must have been. That's years ago. I haven't even looked at Dexter cards in years. So yeah, we're gonna, those are our two ideas. We're also doing a mania podcast, so get ready. <sighs> and gonna wait, it's gonna be it's gonna be like a talking shop where everyone just talks over each other and nothing gets said. But hold it's on. Hilarious. Speaking of that, I think I have one more drop. <laughs> well, b- before that, hold on, hold man. on. Here's my last drop. Or at least I'll, I'll, or I'll do it. I'll, I'll have like I want to have day one. That's Griff speaking. Was he having a stroke? I I Matt didn't, didn't even know. I didn't it. call him out on it until I watched the video. No, I I said I was like, what is this? And you go, how did I not hear that? I I think I just was ignoring. You, Griff. you were fucking li- looking at the access lineup. Griff talks a lot, and I just sort of like have to filter what I hear, and I I must have just ignored that. No, I'm a uh, uh, I'm a uh, I'm a. Uh. <laughs> what about Almas? I think that's what he was trying to say. What time are we at? Uh, one fifty-five. This one's going long. Showing yourself in the mirror. Wait, what did you say? Isn't what did you say about Griff? He, he talks too long. He talks too much. He talks a lot. So I we think. know. <laughs> nice double cliff, Murph. Oh, he actually double clipped in that he video. Double also. clipped. Double clip. What, what do you think Cliff's doing from Legends? Cliff Compton or no, Cliff, Cliff Bars? Oh, Cliff the fucking big black guy. Yeah, guy's Heathcliff Slocum. Heathcliff. Heathcliff. Gary Cohen has the run. Oh, I was thinking of Slade Heathcott. I love Slade Heathcott. We should not have gotten rid of him. Should have traded Judge. Should have. Should have. All right. You want to do your list, or you want to? Can I say what I want to do? Yeah. What's the stupid thing well, you, you want to do? Since the season is starting, awful. And we did predictions. What on is this for? Baseball. Since we did the predictions on the league, let's do our Yankees predictions on how we think everyone's going to do, or the starters are going to do. That's it. Like it's impossible. I don't know how many. Greg fun. Bird never gonna play. That's why yeah. it's fun. Let's see who comes closest at the end. Fucking Greg Bird never gonna play. I mean, I have to look at what they did over the last couple of years. You so got like, a computer? It's basically what. Uh, that's annoying. Like how, I don't know. Didi should have twenty home runs and one hundred and fifty eight RBIs. Well, Didi oh, should have twenty nine home runs or thirty. Judge will have twelve home runs and sixteen RBIs because he's gonna get hurt. <laughs> it's a lot of solo homers. That's what I want to do before. I'll, I'll do one on my phone and just so I have it uh-huh, for myself. Uh-huh, but. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Did you ever change my uh, my pick for comeback player of the year to Phil Hughes? You picked Felix Hernandez. Yeah, now you? I'm switching it to Phil you Hughes. Cannot. You cannot. What? I said you have until the season starts. Absolutely not. Are you changing anything about the Mets? They keep getting hurt and then healthy and then hurt again. I'm, I'm keeping it. Jason. I am keeping it. Wait, you picked him to go to the World Series? I know. I was asking him if he cha- he had him going to beating the Dodgers going to the NLCS. You guys are insane. Jason Vargas got hurt. Their season's done. Well, and Zach he Wheeler was, got sent down. And Matt Harvey's going to be nasty. So. I don't believe that. Noah Syndergaard is winning Cy Young if he's healthy. Cinder Noah Guard. He is fucking unreal. He pitched seven innings in a preseason game or spring training game. Okay. No one does that. That makes him good. No, well, it was his stats were unreal, but it's just like why I don't know why they had him do that. Hey Matt, where's our uh, weird crime of the week? Oh yeah, I could look that up. I can just pick one. What are the ones you sent me? You can talk about those. Oh the the death. Oh yeah, the death. Oh god, I texted that to you, didn't I? I think so. I have to find it. Like, what kind of what kind of weird news stories do you want? Like, death? Do you want fucking molesters? Do you want bestiality? Because I can get them all. Enter- entertain us. Surprise us. Uh, let's see. All right, here's something that has titties. Teen admits poisoning her 11-week-old niece's breast milk. Who the fuck would do that? A 19-year-old girl has admitted... To poisoning breast milk in an effort to kill her 11 year old, 11 week old niece. Why? That is horrific. Did it work? Uh, it says an attempt, so I don't think so. All right, Alex, you ready for this one? Yeah. I read this to Matt yesterday, or I texted it to him. In 2013, a man named Brad Lee Davis and his stepdad, Denver. Brad Lee Davis or Bradley Davis? Brad Lee Davis. Wow. Okay. And his stepdad, Denver Lee St. Clair, got into a heated argument. This led to Brad. So the, the kid giving Denver an atomic wedgie so extreme that a stepdad choked to death on the elastic band in his underwear. Brad pled guilty to manslaughter two years later. So please explain how that how how how, how. He, gets, he got sentenced to thirty years in prison. So his underwear stretched all the way over into his mouth, and then he choked on it. 
I piece got, fell I, off. Wait, did he choke or did he get strangled? It choked to death, it says. It says choked to death. I don't know how that's So to me, I'm thinking like yeah, choke and like him. strangled him? How could yeah. his underwear th- possibly go from his ass all the way over until his That's an atomic throat. wedgie. But... Yeah, but how is that actually possible? Bradley Davis looks like a murderer. Oh, he's a, he's an ex-Marine. He strangled his stepfather, so they called that a strangle. I wonder if he gave the wedgie and then just choked him. To Probably. Because there's no way. Although, then that wouldn't be manslaughter. He gave murder. his stepfather an atomic wedgie for insulting his mother. Just defending his mom's honor. What is he, fucking Nicolas Cage and fucking uh, Con Air? Kills those guys with fucking shoving their nose brains, their nose brains, their nose bone through their brain. He was strangled by Come on, I just mentioned Con Air. Isn't that your favorite movie? Con Air? Love that movie. Yeah, exactly. Fucking, isn't that how he kills them? Yes. Knocks their fucking nose into their brain. Yeah, he was strangled by his waistband from his own underwear pulled over his head. That's insane. I know how I'm killing myself. So he's still in jail? He has 30 30 years. years. For that? It was an accident. An accident. Wow, an accident. He killed the guy with a wedgie. It's an accidental murder. Yeah, he didn't mean to kill him. Oh, it says the move strangled the victim, who also suffered head wounds that prosecutors say would have been fatal if he hadn't died from the wedgie first. So, apparently, guy he got the living piss beaten out of him too. Uh, well, there you go. What a fucking asshole! And then there's this. What could he have possibly said about his mom that she was worthless? That's not. That's not worth murder. I'm sorry. That's not saying worth your mom murder. is a worthless cunt isn't worth it. I mean, I don't know. Raimi didn't visit his mom in the hospital, so. I don't think he gives a shit at all. I'm a horrible person. Did we but... even say that on the on the podcast? I, I don't think that know. was upstairs. Where, yeah, but did still. Did you make brownies? I did not make brownies. No, he hasn't made brownies in a while. He had made me chocolate. Like he made cookies that like they sound this they tasted like Stop and Chop's professional bakery did them. Like I would never been able to tell the difference. Like ass. They were, no, they were fucking good. Why don't you make food on Saturday nights for Sunday when I come over? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You rarely do. Like I really really want those brownies again. Like, they were so fucking good. They were, and that, they were and like the brownies and or that, cookies, you said? No, the brownies uh, were even better because he makes that, them with, like, his own, like, fucking whatever. He just comes up with He hated shit. the ones that we had last time. Well, it's because the presentation stick. was bad, but it they tasted matter. They were amazing. amazing. And then that cake you made me was really fucking good, I'm too. I'm all about the presentation, too. It's got to look good. Yeah, so neither throw of us, it away. Yeah. Just be like, all right, I'll try again. I would rather you kill yourself than throw away brownies. Yeah. He also made me pizza, and he's like, I didn't like the crust. And I was like, that was actually the best part. But also, don't eat the crust. Well, I made then a couple days later, Kate and I made pizza, and I did the, the dough so horribly bad, it literally looked like a blind child rolled it out. It was horrible. So you can't eat it. It just looked bad, or did, did it, like, it? was it too soft? No, we ate it. Good. Oh, good. No, like, I rolled it out so horribly, like, I was trying to roll it out square, and it came piece. out looking like a half rectangle that had, like, the side cut <laughs> That's off. That's fine. That's just unique. So week after Mania, you trying to do this live one, this four-hour podcast, order Domino's again? Yes. So don't eat for the week, and the entire week we're away, so you have room for the next Well, I told Matt I need to drop, like, 30 pounds. To what? So you weigh 30 pounds? That's what I nice. said. Oh, my God. All right, we, we good for this podcast? It's 202. He has that one other list. Want to go through the list? You, you both it? read it, though. I sort of All right, go. remember it. Might as well. I mean, we're not going to do this for two weeks, maybe. All right, this is 20 gimmicks and storylines that WWE was forced to drop. Muhammad Hassan. Number 20. Mr. Kennedy, illegitimate son of yeah. Vince McMahon. We all know that one. He got injured. Or he was suspended or whatever. Why don't you just read it? Vince blew up. Yeah, we know that one. Then, uh... Oh, we're not going with the descriptions? Well, he who shall not be named. Benoit. It was Kennedy being an idiot, and then Benoit. Well, it says Vince McMahon died in his limo and exploded. That night, the storyline was supposed to play out that Linda McMahon was arrested as being his killer. A will reading was going to air a few That's weeks later. That's what they were going to do? Is that real? I feel like anyone Revealing Mr. Kennedy as the illiterate son of Vince McMahon. Stephanie and Triple H would then announce their second marriage. Triple H would fight for ownership of the WWE. The shoot would last until Mania of that year. Who would he With fight? Kennedy? Wow. Wait, so Kennedy was the first one and then the blow-up one was second? No, this is still the oh, same, same one. Oh, okay. Uh, originally, Triple H would have won, and Vince would then reveal that he was faking his death so his true son would gain ownership of the WWE with Linda being framed for the murder. His true son being Kennedy. Yeah. Well, how could – if you reveal yourself – It would have been after Triple H won. It would have been after Triple H won. Yeah, but, I mean, Linda would have been in jail. She would have got out of jail. Vince probably would have went to jail. Hey. Wow, so Benoit really saved us from a terrible storyline. Actually, he kind of did, but then they still ended Wait, up so having So who would Triple H have feuded that's with? way better. Triple H would have feuded with Kennedy. But, but that's not – before we knew that he was his illegitimate son? Yeah. But then how would that – No, f- during the will reading, then him and – 
Kennedy and Triple H would have fought for ownership. Of oh, so they would have revealed that Kennedy was his son at the will reading. Yeah. I would have loved to have seen that segment. Just a what? fucking will reading. Wait, why? they? Didn't he blow up after that whole segment with Hornswoggle? No. He blew up, and then he came on television and was like, Benoit killed himself. And then the El- many, 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 many months later, uh, Hornswoggle got named as the Illuminate's son. Uh, number 19. Why did they even... Uh, oh, I guess, yeah. Okay. That's... So would the will reading have been months later, or would it have been like weeks. the next week? Weeks later, yeah. I think. Well, I mean, you don't really wait that long. Probably after the funeral, maybe a week or two. Yeah. So that storyline would have got bumped up. Wow. Hornswoggle is – once they do Hornswoggle being his son and then kind of doing a couple weeks with DX, seems a lot better than fucking whatever that was. I don't know. Hornswoggle is his son. Was yeah, but it dumb. was more like just a joke at that point. Who cares? Not a big storyline. This would have been like main event of WrestleMania. Yeah, Kennedy and fucking Helmsley. Until Kennedy screws up a hip toss, and then pretty much next. I don't uh, think he, I don't think he even screwed that up. I think it just Orton being a it just happened. Dick Him and Orton were like best friends too. He said randomly wasn't it once, wasn't it Cena who tore his pec doing something with Kennedy? Yeah, and then Orton also said he was unsafe. Yeah. Orton, he said or he said randomly once Orton was just in the locker room. He walked in, no one else was in there, and he was fucking naked, like dump, dipping his balls into Kennedy's boots and laughing. And Kennedy was like. Okay. <laughs> that sounds about her. That sounds about Fucking right. Fucking Randall, what an asshole. Uh, number nineteen, Alundra Blaze versus Kong versus Trash Can. I don't think I did actually read. That. I think I stopped after I saw that title. It's like, what, what? What was their plan? Did it have that match, and then she threw it in the trash can and left? They wanted Alundra Blaze to feud with Aja Khan, Aja Khan, Aja, uh, Aja Amazing Khan. Kong? No, no, I <laughs> know, obviously. And Blaze sat out the rest of her contract since she didn't like working with her. And then the day her contract went up, she returned to Nitro as Medusa, and then threw the WF Championship in the trash can. She was just allowed to sit out a contract. Now they can roll you over. Yep. Uh, I like number eighteen, Lord Tensai. What were they thinking? <laughs> cool. He beat Cena clean. Hey, are those tattoos real? Yeah. Yeah, they hurt. Don't get them. <laughs> he said that to a kid we were with. To- really? He told him the tattoos were real. Access, and he was like, oh, those tattoos real? And he's like, yeah, they hurt. Don't get them. Fucking Jason Albert. Hate that. Just be Matt Bloom. <laughs> this, this announcer gimmick. Fucking dumb. Don't worry. This actually, the way this ends, says his final match was against Adam Rose on January 18th, 2014. Did you really read the whole thing to yourself first and not? Yeah. Asshole. Uh, he lost. Matt Bloom then announced on a video blog that he was a WWE trainer under the name of Jason Albert in the Orlando <laughs> Bloom Training Center. What? Wait, Orlando Bloom. That's got to be a typo, right? Wait, he announced that he was changing his name to something else. <laughs> and he got tattoos removed. What a fucking toolbox! All right, next. Okay, number seventeen. I actually don't remember. Okay. King of the Ring briefcase raised mystery. Excuse me. <laughs> what could that title possibly mean? King of the Ring in 1999 was a pay-per-view live showing at Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, it included 15 professional wrestling matches like Undertaker defeating The Rock and a tag team match between the Hardys and the Brood. Wasn't however, that for the title? However, Undertaker Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Vince McMahon and Shane McMahon in a ladder, ladder oh, match. Oh, yeah, yeah, for the company. Is one mystery no one's yet to address. A briefcase with control of the company dangled high above the wrestling ring. When Austin was at the top of the ladder about to grab the briefcase, it suddenly moved out of his reach. Second later, the briefcase was lowered as Shane McMahon was grabbing it, winning the company back. I don't think they ever revealed who it was. WWE has never officially revealed who moved the briefcase. When Jim Ross was asked in 2011, he replied, Sorry, I don't remember what I had for lunch last Tuesday, much less what occurred in 1999. I mean, I'm sure it would have just been somebody working for Vince, so it wouldn't, wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Was that, was that Big Show's uh, debut? No, no, that was St. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. No, I know. Massacre. Was that what the original plan was? And they're like, fuck it, you're going to come out of the, the ring? Wouldn't surprise me. Ooh. No. That, that's smart. Have a giant no, movie briefcase. He debuted before King of the Ring. Oh, oh that's right, in February. Yeah. Number 16, Irish Lynch to Steampunk Heel. What? Interesting title. Born Rebecca Quinn. She wrestled in Ireland under... under uh, Why do they need to do this fucking this bullshit before telling you? I don't need to know her bio. She changed her name to Rebecca Knox. She suffered a ma- In 2006, she suffered a major head injury that kept her out of wrestling. She returned to Shimmer in 2011 as a manager. So she didn't wrestle for five years. Yeah. In 2013, Rebecca Quinn signed on an NXT, being renamed Becky Lynch. She was given a babyface introduction to Irish green colors while dancing silly jigs. I don't. I need to see that. You don't remember that? I don't. I don't ever watch NXT. At one point, they gave her a headbanger gimmick until her current steampunk heel gimmick showed how much of a boss she was. Her reign in NXT led to a main roster spot. Looking back, it's crazy. So she what's was a heel. what's the gimmick that they? What was the plans that they had to change? 
uh, that sounds she like she just dancing. got a gimmick change. Yeah, that's basically a gimmick change, which that's was really dumb stupid. to put on that, that list. Should not be on this list. Should just made it to nineteen. It's not like they had big plans for Becky Lynch, the fucking Irish, fucking step dancer, whatever it's called. Number fifteen, raw guest host, cool ideas, still fail. <laughs> that's not really a. They did that for way too long. It's not like they just randomly dropped it. Some bad moments included Al Sharpton, Vern Troyer dancing with Mark Henry and a handful of ladies, Buzz Aldrin's confused state, Cheech and Chong enjoying a box of Lucky Charms from Hornswoggle, and Nicole Snooky, whatever. Really, no mention is, of Piven, guys? Being in the middle of everything. Uh, it, it, it was hot, the only good one. He Summerfest? Was he was awful. Why? Wow, he Fucking... actually got in the ring and turned heel. Um, do you remember who the first guest host was? No. Wasn't it Batista or something? Yeah, it wasn't a celebrity. It was Batista. Not too bad it wasn't Bob Barker. Remember that? That was one of the better ones. And I think that went to bed for that show. I didn't I think I watched Looking it. Jericho. Price yeah. Is right. All right, what's next? Hornswoggle, the king of bad storylines. Is that what it says? Yes. Read. Don't read it to yourself. He, he debuted dick. in SmackDown as the Little Bastard. He partnered with Irish wrestler that was Finley. Fun. That was good. In February 2007, his character was named changed a little... Changed, uh, changed to Hornswoggle. How did everyone be called Little Bastard? Because it was like 06 <laughs> and no one gave a shit. Hornswoggle's character had many bad storylines. One of his new gimmicks he reveals in an interview was going to be a mob boss style character, Lou, Manfred- Lou Manfredini, WC. While running Raw, he would throw his power around getting revenge on the superstars and made him feel like a mascot. Who, the Rock? Who <laughs> thought he was a make a wish child? Thank God. Due to Hornswoggle not being able to pull off this character, the gimmick disappeared after he was revealed the legitimate son of Vince McMahon. <laughs> wow, that's terrible. After some WWE lawyers were put on the case, they revealed Hornswoggle to be the son of Finley. Shane McMahon revealed he was trying to swindle money from his father and made the whole story up. I don't even remember that part. I don't remember they, that either. Yeah, wow. Who, uh, who that. made this list? So Vince the supposedly riches. had a son who was revealed, and then it, he faked it. But then he technically still has a bastard son out there. So who the fuck Kennedy. is Kennedy. <laughs> That'd be great if he came back like now. Well, God, don't let Vince know that this actually happened because then it'll end up being Triple H. Then Triple H and Stephanie would be brother and sister and really be married. He would want he that. He wanted to impregnate Stephanie. Yeah, that would have been fucking great. She was hot back then. She was like, I think the original was have Shane do it. And then she was like, that's weird. And she, he's like, all right, what about me? She's like, Dad, that's weird. <sighs> that would have been fucking crazy. That, I don't. I, somebody would have fucking written an angry letter and they would have got kicked off the air what or some year shit was like it? that. When was she pregnant? Like, it was seven? Oh, five? It was probably something around there. Would have worked in, like, 99. Maybe. Would have yeah. worked too well. Next. Uh, the next one's terrible. If they did it in, like, Tennessee or, like, Arkansas, it would have worked. You're the only 10 I see. <laughs> and are they just broadcasting? Yeah, no, it had to be at a live event. Yeah, that really, <laughs> really makes sense. I'm pregnant, and it's my dad's baby. They'd be like, yeah! Keep going. Biggest face pop. Number 13. Lana, beauty, but not the full package. Nothing else but yeah, that. Yeah, they dropped her with her fucking dancing gimmick already. Yeah, that's actually how it how it ends. Once she de- re-debuted on TV, the W took away the chair and dancing due to wanting to keep it family friendly. Friendly. Lana became Tamina's sidekick due to her not being the full package. So because she can't she's wrestle. She's so bad, and she still beat Bailey. Terrible. Number 12. Nexus buries The Undertaker for no reason. What, there was no payoff? They buried I everyone. I thought these were storylines that just are things that had to get canceled, not shit we don't remember. When did they bury The Undertaker? For four months in 2010, oh. Kane vs. The Undertaker had amazing showdowns that led to a Buried Alive match. The Undertaker and Kane right. battled like... Uh, very Legends loosely saying did. amazing. They've, yeah, those weren't that great. They fought in and off out of the ring, leading up to fighting next to an open grave. The Undertaker looked like he was about to win when Nexus showed up swarming around him. Oh, they yeah, held they up never... The Undertaker's Kane took the knockout hit, sending him into the grave. Pretty much doing what they did with the first Buried Alive, right? With all those random people coming out. With every Buried Alive. Anyone that I can think of had somebody help them win. Shockingly, there was barely any talk of it again. David Otunga threatened to tell the whole world why Leader he was attacked, but he never did say why. <laughs> Kane paid them. Simple. There we go. Pretty Next. much. Next. Uh, raw general manager, robot, or hornswoggle. I hate that they revealed him years later as being the fucking anonymous GM. That's so fucking how did they stupid. Even, I don't even, how did they do it? I don't even remember. It's probably on Raw, like, 1,000 or some bullshit. <laughs> they just said, yeah, he was the GM. Fuck that. I can't believe they went, th- they went on with that for so long. We went to Austin versus The Rock to Edge arguing with computers. Jesus Christ. It's a great fucking line. So, uh, Just read the damn thing. That's how I feel like with Raymond with these fucking lists. Number 10. Like, so f- nothing about that? 
It was just stupid. I mean, is it even worth it? We all remember what that was shit. The, what did they drop? I mean, they just announced he was the GM, and that was it. Yeah, they dropped it. She, shield defeated by a broken arm. There are a lot of good and bad factions in the history of the WWE. NWO and Evolution are just two examples of factions that have worked. One bad faction would be the core. Oh. <laughs> David Otunga, leader of the core. I hate you. You didn't drop that? I, no, I didn't. I, I, I didn't remember what video that was from, but I did just say that when you mentioned the Nexus. So it says the next sentence is, yeah, the best faction in history so far has to be the Shield. It is. But what female Shield? The women's division in NXT wanted to try their own female Bad and beautiful. Version. The female Shield dangerous. was born and a promo was cut in 2013. Wait, they, before they, when did they debut? 13. End of 12? 12. Oh. Yeah, right at the end of 12. It so. consisted of three rookies from NXT. Paige. Summer Rae, and a developmental talent, Anya. Summer Rae at that time was Fandango's dance partner and manager. Paige has been wrestling since she was 13. None of them are nearly as badass to pull off that game. Sadly, this is as far as it went due to Anya breaking her arm in training. Somebody Thank God. you, Anya. Somebody find a picture of Anya. I'm guessing she's like a better-looking Shayna Baszler, but barely better-looking. Russian kickboxer. She could have pulled off the gimmick. She's not that hot, but she could have done it. You don't need to be hot to be in the shield. I mean, oh. they were, but you don't need to be. Anna, Anna Bogomazova? Bogomazova. Show yeah. her. Yeah, yeah do you? She's not bad. She's only 27. She, she like kind of looks like Billy Kay for it in a. If you just look at her. With a square face. She was born in Mother Russia. She's six foot one. She could have been in the shield. Paige and Summer Ray. Well, Paige probably could have too. But Paige is too white to be in the shield. The black fucking vest would be too contrasting on her skin. <laughs> But she's, oh, also, don't worry. she's just crazy. She plans on suing the WWE for injury and extra for damages due to having two surgeries, and now she has a scar in her hand. You can't sue somebody for getting hurt. How long like ago that. did it happen, and when is she suing? It happened in 2013, but now she's suing them last year. It's not like she fucked. They were like, yeah, you need to wrestle this fucking 800 pound person. Uh, she's suing them, claiming that the defendants, the WWE, did not properly train other amateur wrestlers who ran into the plaintiff while she warmed up. Oh, don't worry. In she June, broke her arm, somebody ran case. into her? Yeah. That seems impossible. Well, so dying from an atomic wedgie seems impossible. But. Well, at least he choked. You can't run. If I ran into you at full speed, I'd never be able to break your arm. It's true. Yeah, unless, if unless you knocked him over and he landed on it. Yeah, but that's that's not what it said. Still. What did it say? I, was, I wasn't listening. She just ran into her and broke her yeah, arm. They ran into her and broke her arm. Were they holding fucking she sledgehammers? Would like, she would have had to have been like stretching like this. What like, is she, fucking uh, Brian Roberts? Run through it. Remember the Yankee game where Brian Roberts had his arm go yeah, like that was like disgusting. Yes. Oh, my God, yes. Why did you? I was watching that game with you. You laughed and pointed. I said, "Ha ha ha ha!" Not uh, today. Joe. Just yeah. kidding. Ha ha ha! No, you suck. I was on to the final four. Fuck them. All right, what's next? Southern couple, Alexa Bliss and Dawson? Question mark. Yeah, that was her original gimmick. It was the a fuck? southern thing. Yeah, but it, were... it wasn't real. It was like promo class. Yeah, she became more comfortable on the microphone playing Scott Dawson's girlfriend in NXT promo classes. The plan was to have them repeat the southern couple gimmick from uh, Jamie Noble and Nydia. It's a great fucking... Can we talk about the Revival being back now for months and they're still both fat? I don't think they're ever not going to be fat. I mean, they, well, they, they were in sh- shape. Yeah, they, they, you can still see the little flabby bellies. Come on, guys, get back in Were back they in ever shape. not have flab- flabby bellies? They weren't flabby. They just didn't have abs. But now they look like they haven't wrestled in months. You should watch their ride along. Yeah, I'm good. Number eight, Bad what? News Barrett, Beloved Heel. Beloved Heel? Beloved Cunt? I just saw that We talked about that on our last podcast. What was the line? Devoted mother, beloved cunt? I don't remember. From fucking uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> we talked about that like four podcasts. Yeah, that ago. was not recently. That was like before our break. One of our fucking podcasts. That was before the, the hiatus. One. Beloved cunt. What was it supposed to say? Aunt. <laughs> Devoted sister, beloved cunt. That was f- season one, episode eight. All right, this list is fucking dragging. Uh, Barrett reported that in 2013 he had become the Bad News Barrett, the Bad News Barrett. Uh, he was meant to be a heel character. However, the WWE Universe was so entertained by the character that they would cheer for him as though he was a babyface. Even while insulting the WWE Universe, they would still cheer. In 2015, King Barrett was born. In May 2016, he left the WWE after a brief break while he was trying to focus on his acting career. I don't that understand. When something fucking happens that's like opposite of what you want, but it's still good, just go with it. Yeah. Fucking dropping Bad News Barrett was terrible. That shit was awesome. You know what they said to Barrett after he got over? Yeah, stop it. No. You're dead! 
Oh, God. And then Barrett replied, We know! Why would Barrett say that we know? Who is he talking about? Just everyone knows. Me and fucking Otunga? You want to hear them doing bad math? I just want him to keep doing the list. 50, and then add 10. 60, then divide it by 4. 12. No. 20. No. I couldn't do that either. I, I got a lost after fucking add 20. Number seven, face of America, Kevin Owens change. Oh, remember when he shaved his beard and looked like a fucking idiot? He looked like he was 15. Yeah, fat ass 15. Yeah. There was a few speculations on why his gimmick was starting to change. One, Kevin Owens was injured. This turned out to not be true, so that's not really a speculation. Uh, two, AJ Styles had a DVD in the works, and this would help push him higher in the rankings. That's dumb. Wait, what? People are going to buy AJ's DVD regardless. It's fucking AJ Styles. What would that have to do with fucking Kevin Owens? Changing, because he lost the title to AJ Styles. Oh, they're saying why he... Yeah, why he was no longer facing. Uh, Number three, uh, Owens' character had to change because there were already two other characters that have anti-American gimmicks. That that I remember. They should have changed fucking... uh, Well, he was the face of America. It's a little different. Who was it? It was Rusev and who? Jinder. Jinder was the champion, and Rusev came back to his anti-heel crap with Cena. He also lost his verification on Twitter because he's dumb and changed his fucking... No, No. uh, Owens, Owens, because he changed his... Yeah, to Kevin Cena. Worth it. Hysterical. Because he can get it back once he Sammy didn't do it, so it's fucking like, what's the point? Well, Sammy's not... He should have lived the gimmick. Yeah, well, they should have told them both to do it. I'm sure Kevin did it by himself, and Sammy's like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, because he's fucking Sammy's like, I can't get that back. What's he going to change it to, though? El Generico? Although, you can fucking... You have to be able to get into your account to change the name, so you sh- shouldn't <laughs> lose your verification. Unless you get, if somebody hacked your account, why would they change the name? Whatever, know. just keep going. Number six. Maybe he did that on purpose. He said, "Take it away," because he he didn't have it before WB. Dear Twitter, can you please unverify me for two weeks before I have my WrestleMania moment? <sighs> uh, number six. New Jack stabs John Cena. Nope, Jesus did it. New Jack. That, no way that was going to be the payoff. Although New Jack impressed Vince McMahon with his promo skills, WWE decided not to hire him because they were worried he would seriously hurt someone. Yeah, smart. How, however, had New Jack been hired, rumor has it that he would have been Carlito's bodyguard after he defeated John Cena for the U.S. title. How old would he have been then? Can't believe they did a stabbing gimmick. At a nightclub. Fucking John. Doing at nightclub. What was Jesus doing? The SmackDown general manager stated that Cena was struggling to save his kidney... Wasn't he filming yeah. the Marine or something? Probably. Heels and faces were shocks, except Carlito, who told Tyler Long that Cena had it coming. Although, was he in a movie before he became WWE champion? I think so. No, the Marine was like 05, 06. This was like 04. He probably didn't even miss any time. He fucking got I stabbed think he missed and came a week. back. Yeah. This made some fans unsettled, remembering the 1988 stabbing of Bruiser Brody. Who was watching John Cena's storyline remembering Bruiser Brody getting stabbed? In real life. I remember what oh, happened. John Cena was never actually stabbed, but he was out so he could film the Marine. Oh, okay. Of course he wasn't actually stabbed. Well, I was worried about his kidney, damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's from drinking. All the piss he drinks. Number five, Hulk Hogan versus Bruno San Martino. Hogan a no-show. What? As a baby face, he was going to battle Bruno San Martino in 1980. However, rumor has it that McMahon Sr. had canceled the matches and told Hogan not to show up. McMahon Sr. never informed San Martino. The reasoning behind this change would save Hogan from losing to San Martino, costing him credibility as a threat to Andre the Giant and Bob Backlund. That's just a bad job by Vince Sr. I fucked you How, not tell the other guy. Where was Hogan at in his career in 1980? He wasn't Four even years there. away from being champion? Yeah. So was he, like, big or was he a nobody yet? He, was still, right. he wasn't anybody really yet. I mean, people still knew him, I think. You can lose before your push and fucking be fine. Not back then. In 2005, Shawn Michaels and Hulk Hogan's feud was going to last two more pay-per-views. The second pay-per-view, Shawn Michaels was slated to win, and the third was possibly a steel cage match to determine the best wrestler. Due to Michaels returning, yeah, to have the, the best wrestler in a cage roster. match. Makes no we sense. We all know Hogan said no. He said his fucking knee injury or whatever was fucking acting up or some shit. Even then, when he was in his 50s, didn't want to. Hogan wouldn't job to him. Wouldn't Even... job to the best wrestler in the world. Number. Chris Jericho. No, nah. best wrestler, not best overall. WWE Superstar. Oh, CM Punk. No. That was a joke. And then add 20. Number four. And then divide by four. Finn Balor Demon versus Bray Wyatt's sister Abigail, a big disappointment. Oh, that's because he got sick. But then they never, like, did anything. They never did fucking him wearing a dress. Maybe that's what it'll come back as. After oh, the, God. Like, reincarnation. Sister Abigail? It's better than Husky Harris. He's just going to come back as a fucking Woken Warrior. Same gimmick, just fucking probably weirder. 
and they'll fucking be a tag team, and then they'll beat the fucking Braun Strowman. What's Brother Nero going to do? He gets Free suspended again. <laughs> gets suspended. Number three, Mark Henry and Young had a baby hand. I mean, that, that, that got dropped? What, they murdered the baby? I think so. Okay. Sarah. Stop reading to yourself. This is a podcast. Jesus Christ, what a fucking Are dick. you not confident in your reading skills anymore? No, I like to read ahead so I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Stop being a goddamn maggot. Uh, Mark's sexual chocolate Henry received that name due to him being a making a pass at anything that moved. One match, China even tricked Henry into kissing a man in drag live in a Raw episode. I don't remember that. Uh, yeah, I this, remember that. This is the only reaction I have to this. Takes a second to look. Good one. Is <laughs> that Michael K? Oh, I should have yeah. pu- pulled up the doc laugh. Nah. I'm getting that now. Uh-huh. It wasn't long before Henry found the You know Eddie woman. Olchek's cancer-free now? Good. Yeah. All right, sorry. Go. It wasn't long before Henry found the only woman who could match his sexual appetite, octogenarian Mae Young. Not too long into the relationship, Young soon became pregnant. She was powerbound by the Dudley boys, which caused her to deliver the baby, or, well, a bloody rubber hand. Many fans were disgusted with this gimmick. You know what Vince said to all these... Well, but there's nothing even funny about how that, that even? How is that even possible? It's and like then Eddie you stuck see a finger up his ass. Eddie just cheesing it over there. Oh, my God. You know what all those gimmicks Vince said to them after? What? said this. Oh, it won't work. Damn it. It's one of the best drops, too. Hey, good one, Montrezl Harrell. Luckily no. Play that Henry, again. he was talented enough to rebound from this character and became a world title contender. He was even one of the many considered to break the Undertaker's streak at WrestleMania 22. Awesome. Another quickly canceled gimmick was Mark Henry having to rap. The WWE Universe found it weird and felt embarrassed for Henry. What, a, some, what about Griff would say. What about Mark Henry raising his hands? <laughs> you don't remember that when he'd come out in oh red and God. just go, no. When he was teaming with MVP. Oh my All God. right, this is something Griff would say if he had to read a, uh, an ad. Smart. Better be good. Oh, fucking bad request. I don't know why it doesn't work. All right, so that's two. Let's see if I can go down and find the original one. Keep going, Ramey, I guess. Yeah, just keep Num- talking. Number, uh, number two, Booker T's stalker was released from the WWE. He had a stalker? Boogie man? Stevie Ray and Booker T signed on to WCW in 1993. Blah, 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 blah. From 2002 to 2003, Booker T and Goldust joined forces battling the Un-Americans at SummerSlam. The Un-Americans equal unintelligent is a sign I actually brought to a Raw. <laughs> that's actually awesome. Uh, <laughs> and battled Chris Jericho and Christian for tag team titles at No Mercy. In 2003, Booker T and Goldust went their own ways with Booker T focusing on the Intercontinental Championship. This started his feud with Christian. While Booker T was in the locker room preparing for his match against Jericho, Booker T received a note stating, I still remember. The storyline was supposed <laughs> to follow with Booker T receiving multiple cryptic messages from an obvious stalker that would lead to the revealing of his old tag partner, Goldust. The WWE had to cancel this due to Goldust being released from the WWE due to his contract not being resigned. They couldn't have just had someone else? G- remember GTV? Yeah. They, they should can- have GTV come back. I wish. That'd be fucking fun. They never revealed that either. In And number one. Number one. Drew McIntyre and Kelly Kelly. A love story. Well, more of a denial of one. That made number one? In 2011, The Chosen One had a storyline with Kelly Kelly. She would attempt to show her how he was not a bad guy. He even saved her from Laycool, making the WWE Universe think the Flynn would succeed. However, his anger would show during matches like when he would fight with Trent Beretta, keeping Kelly Kelly to deny him. After being turned down so much from Kelly Kelly, McIntyre teamed with Vicky Guerrero during SmackDown in 2011. They lost to Edge and Kelly Kelly. Then he switched over to Raw. He earned a contract with SmackDown when he won a match against Justin Gabriel, blah, blah, and then became three-man band and his life got ruined. It's fine now. I sort of wasn't even listening to it. I just looked at that thing. That was pretty terrible. Who found out who was supposed to be GTA, GTV? It was supposed Gold to does. be Tom Green. No. Wow. I thought it was gold dust. When I did the live with Chris Jericho and Stephanie at the Titan Studios, WWE Studios, GTV was supposed to be Tom Green. Yes, and I just found out about it the other day. I didn't know. Who wrote that? Some fucking guy doing an article. Oh. That's terrible. I thought it was gold dust TV. That's when the Tom Green show was for, like coming out in the late 90s, so that would have been weird. Vince actually saw Tom Green's stuff and said, this guy is not funny. Done. Oh, okay, great. I mean, I'm shocked Vince watched anything. Vince didn't know the fuck doesn't know Scarface. He didn't know, know what Razor Ramon was a ripoff of Scarface. But Vince didn't know that. No. He didn't know. He went into him and he was like, "You ever seen Scarface?" He said, "No," or something like that. But he he did basically the Scarface, and he, Vince had never seen that movie. They were pretty much like 
there's no way Vince would have allowed this gimmick because it's pretty much copyright, copywriting fucking Al Pacino. And he's like, of course he didn't know what Scarface was. Vince doesn't watch anything. Fucking guy. All right, so no one wants to do Yankee stats, so I think this podcast is over. It's also too long to do now. Yeah. I am going to write them and send them to Ramy. I guess so the, put it the title of this podcast bucket. is just like WrestleMania fever or fucking NFL draft bullshit. Penis ejaculator three. I wish. That's what Ramy said on the test. Uh, it's basically well, better than what Matt says every time we do the test. It's true. It's fucking. Basi- not only does he have a penis, not only does he ejaculate, but he's a penis ejaculator. Four. <laughs> so basically, uh, it's we'll, we'll, wow, figure, wow, we'll figure wow, out the wow. title. Yeah, that's the title. Ha ha ha. Or fucking Griff. Oh, 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 oh. Dad's yeah. making burgers, so I gotta go home soon. We will, uh, I guess, see you at Mania. We will. We will catch you on the old uh, dusty you. trail. You want to end on a, on a, on a drop? I used all of them. Find another one. I don't know another. Drop. Find David Otunga, leader of the core. No, you have to do that. Oh, fine. Who even said it? Or some kid you've never heard of. Chris Mantitis. Do you think Chris Olay one listens to this and two remembers saying that? I would hope he at least remembered it. Because we've talked to him about Did it. Did you tweet him right now? No. Have we? Have we talked to him about it? When we were in Garden City, I'm pretty sure we talked about it. He probably was just like, yeah, because he was the leader of the core. David Otunga, leader of the core. I mean, I could go pull up our fucking thing and you can hear Alex say a pack of 20 packs. Kill yourself. A pack of 20 packs? Yeah. yeah it's a card thing you wouldn't understand. There's a box of 20 packs and he said it was a pack of 20 packs. It was. It, 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 it's it was, not. It it's a, a box of 20 it was packs. A pack. It was its own pack. Or I can pull up Alex's old videos and you can just, just hear him. Imagine. Oh, it's yeah, yeah. What do we got out? No, we can oh, knock, oh, oh. We can knock oh, Scarl out with this. <laughs> you, can knock, you can knock, knock it out with this. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's beautiful New Jersey. It's too long. Look at the view. I don't know when he says it. Beautiful New Jersey. Great. Great. Yeah. Oh, shit, nobody says it. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful New Jersey. Oh, you actually yeah. see the I'll go see the call. Let's go see G.I. Let's go see the call. It's only Mark's. Podcast sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Nobody says anything after that either. Oh my god! No one, like, Were you even in the room? Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't you say anything? I, I wasn't fucking like paying attention to it. I realized it after when I was watching the video. David Otunga, leader of the car. David Otunga, leader of the car. Uh, I guess that's what we're calling this podcast. Well, the NASCAR race today got canceled because of snow. snow. That what that was? I'm gonna tweet him right now. We're calling it David O'Tunga. Should I say? Should core. I just be like, "Who is the leader of the core?" and see what he says? Yeah. Now is the podcast gonna be David O'Tunga, leader of the core? Question mark. Is it C O R R E? Yeah. And the fucking goddamn. Why the extra R? Stupidity. It's <sighs> British, I guess. Penguins couldn't even beat the Flyers. Who was it? It was, it was, a, it was, was it Gabriel, Gabriel Slater, O'Tunga, and, and Wade. Barrett. Which is basically Logan Nessie Barrett. Not true. Ezekiel Jackson was in the core. He, well, he, he later after. joined on. Did he? Yeah. Because I remember he was in it. And he, won, he was a freaking Ezekiel IC champ. Ezekiel Jackson. Isn't he Ezekiel Elliott's dad? Yes. Yeah, Michael different last uncle. name. Mm. David Otunga, leader of the core. Oh, oh, I'm Wade. So they Bye. debuted January Just 14th. Just scribble on it, Wade. They, they, they didn't even last for five months. Leader of the core, yeah. yeah. They got squashed by Kofi Kingston, Fucking the big show. Who are the other ones? Ray and Who Kane? cares? Why had SummerSlam access when there were less people we couldn't take pictures with most people? We could have had a picture with d back then. How did we not get a picture Couldn't with get a picture with them. No picture with Kane. There was no pictures with anyone but Cody. And Wade. Yeah, but that was an actual picture. Line. I can't believe you asked John to do a standing picture. Yeah, so I could have the belt in it. I know, but I'm saying, like, VIPs, you, you've never done that since. I know, because I was I was new and I wasn't afraid. I'd also I told know. him, I also said, thanks for following me on Twitter. What did he say? I just I was just like thanks for following me. It's a cool thing I could tell people. And, and then he like, he was bag. no he told me I had a shirt a shirt mag. of the told, told me I had a shirt of the day though. Yeah, he, he was just being nice. I'm sure he's ever, I'm sure there were 15 shirt of the days. You kidding me? You. Nobody had a shirt as cool as him. A guy. Yeah, but sure. John Cena would see John a white C- T-shirt and try to be nice back. Like, shirt of the day. No, he wouldn't. Absolutely not. Shirt of the day. Yeah. Is no. that the first MacGyver compliment? Yeah. yeah. Wow, it was John. Somebody you hate. I don't hate John. And that two pack got ruined. Yeah. CM Punk fucked it up. No, my fucking backpack fucked it up. Well, no, I'm saying the autographs on it. Cena's did, not Punk. Yeah, but he went over in a different color and John's... uh, No, John signed it in a different spot. uh, Oh, whatever. Punk should have signed up there, too. Whatever, I don't care. That thing was already destroyed. I stopped caring. 
Uh, well, he'll never be David Otunga. Okay. I met like 40 people at SummerSlam Access. It was sick. Cock munching punk. David Otunga. David the Cool. Are we just going to try and drag this out so yeah, it's really do you terrible? Do anything else to say, Remy? I got nothing. Do you regret buying Matt a PlayStation? He'll never play. No, he'll play. Talking about if I, I just have to buy the... If you buy the show, you'll play for a week. But I haven't played a baseball game since GameCube, so I'm, I'm due. MVP 05? I don't know. Something. Is it easy to hit? Because I'm I suck. Hit X. Because I remember the one with GameCube, you had to like take this triangle and like tilt it back and do some shit and position it somewhere. Yeah, you don't need to do that. And if the if the pitcher threw it up here and you were aimed down here, you'd be screwed. That's like fucking uh, Ken Griffey Slugfest for N64. If you no, had that, that you on, just you could had to turn switch. it off. It was fucking like some GameCube game. Have you ever held one of those NCAA trophies? I have. Have you really? Yeah. yeah but have you held a real one? Yeah. They're all the same. No one cares about have different writing on it. Yeah, but that was like Division Six baseball. Yeah, Division Two. It's still the same trophy. The exact same trophy. Yes, literally. They just pass the same one around. Every single one of those trophies in every college sport yeah, is I know, the exact same. Fucking, you want the D one one? It doesn't matter. It's just what the t- it says. It's not the physical trophies. The exact yeah, same. It is. The dimensions. What is this? Why has this been here for fucking? What Ramey's, is it? Kiwi Ramey spray? still hasn't fixed my shower. What does it say? Quick seal. Huh. Ramy has two things to do when I'm gone for the maintenance. My shower stopped draining. Like just I'll be, jerk off. I'll be the in the shower for two minutes, and like the water will come up to, like halfway to my fucking ankle. I'm yeah, like, it's this called is bad. fucking lift the lever. And yeah, I stuck my sinker. finger in it. The fuck, there's nothing clogging it that like high up that I could reach. He just doesn't know he has the bath on. So the, the yeah, sink the is bath up. on. Have you seen the shower? There's no bath mode. There's no bath mode. <laughs> yeah, it's because it's not a bathtub. You could, if you he has like an inch maybe. And then the water would run out over the floor. Story of my life, I only get an inch. It's true. Plus, there's also a huge crack that's getting worse. So do you so, think Griff should go to the basketball game or do the AJ signing and then go to the basketball game? He's going to be late to the game anyway, so. Not anyway. I mean, if, if he, he just skips the signing. I mean, what? Uh, You're going, right? Yeah, but we're going to we're gonna have to fucking, hopefully we get a wristband in time. If we go at five, I think we will. I'll call. It's two You're hours. Call. We'll get Mikey to call. Yeah. So Mike, we, Mikey went in and came out knowing... Remy has Less to get a, a fucking one of what those you, fucking snake things to unclog the drain. See what's going on in there. I got and one of those. Would you say Mikey went in? Do you actually have one of those? Yeah, somewhere. Mikey went and in then, asking for directions, came out knowing less than he knew when he went in. Yeah, and then he also f- has to fix the crack because we're you're gonna end up getting mold in your house and we're gonna die. Well, in that case, water's gonna go under it. It's already doing it, and I'm sure that's gonna mold. So we'll be dead. Mikey, fucking ah, find that clip. That's a good drop. Mikey, fucking come came go, went in knowing nothing, came out knowing less. Drops can't be too long, though. Yeah, that's our stuff is better than my hookay. It's nothing. Oh, that's our Harold. We, 99% of our, the drops we played today were not from us. Yeah, they're from us that we found. Yeah, the tenderloin. Ugh. All right. Thanks for listening. See, you know, see, see you in New Orleans. Ten days. Ten. Ten. Not including today. Because today's almost over. Yep. It's, right, so this is the worst ending we've had by far. Next week is seven days. When do you guys leave? Tuesday. So we have seven. Nine. Eight, Tuesday nine. the third. Oh, it's nine not including today. Shit. All right. That's uh, my mama. So I'm sure mostly. Oh, that dog of mine. If we, get, if we do a uh, mania one, it'll be a lot of Griff, Hassan, because we'll be in our room. I don't think Hassan's going to be in our room. Well, I'm sure he'll come back one of the nights or something. Probably won't. I can't believe you didn't know Mike Drunk Beater. You don't know Mike Drunk Beater? No. How do you know how to remember that? Larry, the guy who works for the power of whatever. Power of water and power? Yeah. But uh You tell me how that got in there. I'm I, sure, I, I enunciated that wrong. I'm sure uh You tell me how that got sure in there. BTB will be in our room at least once. I virtually guarantee Giggity. you like none of that happens. Like we had plenty of chances to hang out with BTB last year and we just never last did. Last year we were we were doing too much. I feel like we're doing less this year. Oh, you guys want to fucking go out to like every restaurant? You want to go out to Bourbon Street every night? I don't care about the restaurants. It's Griff. I want to get food. Hey Griff, I know you're listening to this at work. How's your work day going? It's good. I'm gonna plant a tree out there for you. You know what that's from? Yeah, it's Peter, yeah. future Peter. And I'm gonna chop off my arm. And then he chops off his other arm. He's like, oh wait. <sighs> Griff, when you're listening to this right now, text me. Mike no, Dalton. Fa- Facebook, Facebook message us. Mike Dalton, asshole, lick, extravaganza, butthole, Matt, Lorenzo, toolbox. Guarantee you he just listened to that. Has to pause right now, go back, write it all down. And I don't even remember it. what I said. Something about Mike Dalton, asshole, and then you said, like, butt licker after that. Or and then Matt. All I heard was lick. 
Flick. The shortest word. All right, so that's about ATB it. ATB isn't in our, my bed by Thursday. Like, what's the failure? I don't think anyone's going to go to anyone's room. We're just going to go out somewhere. Like, BTB's going to be with his girlfriend. He's not going to want to come to our fucking room. BTB, if you don't come to our room once to do a podcast... I don't think he's listened to any of these. I'm going to murder you. Like, that's got to so, be a drop. I don't know why I'm going you'd go, to murder you. I don't know why you'd go with your girlfriend, because she's not going to want to do, like... She's, in, she's a mark. Yeah, but she's not going to want to hang out with us. She better, she better be a mark for our videos. I don't think BTB ever listens to these, to be honest. I wouldn't listen to these if I were... If Why? Two hours? Maybe if I was still working at Michael's when I would be able to put in my headphones and just do shit, but now I'm a delivery driver, so I can't have headphones in. People have fucking time. You could also just fucking that, rip it off YouTube. You, and need to li- you need to listen to Edge and Christian's podcast. They are fucking hilarious. Yeah, they're fucking, they were hilarious when they were wrestlers. Yeah, Johnny, kick him they're in just, the ding ding. They're just funny guys. You think he'll, he was going to debut right after WrestleMania? Who? Johnny, kick him in the ding ding. Yes. Well, he attacked Tommaso in the parking lot the other day. Yeah, but he drove away. Reversed and, first and then drove and away. And Regal's going to make a big announcement on Wednesday, which is going to be TakeOver. It's going to be stupid. He's Why gonna... wouldn't they just do career versus career instead of having the Almas match be the career? Just don't have him face Almas again at Atlanta. What? Or don't make it career and then have Champa screw him and then say, I want to fight you career versus career. Why would Tommaso put his own career on the line, though? To destroy Gargano's career. He wouldn't do that. Pretty sure this could be one of the best takeover cards they've had. It is. It's on paper, amazing. it is. BTB, he's like, thanks for helping me uh, choose to go to ROH. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure most people in that poll picked NXT. I just think tickets were too expensive. That's such a – that's going to – I mean, I would have got – not even close. ROH is cool. I can see the Kingdom and shit and some good matches, but I'm, uh, NXT is going to be fucking for awesome. For most ROH fans that don't go to NEW, I feel like the Kingdom is like the ninth best thing for them. No, the Kingdom are cool. People like them. They're starting to get over. No, but I'm just saying there's Kenny, Cody – the Kenny Bucks. America. I love that you guys are meeting people that you don't even watch. Like Griff's like, yeah, I don't really watch Kenny Omega. I'm gonna meet him. This is Kenny Omega. I mean, I wanted him to sign something with Alpha Omega because I like that match. I'm gonna save so much money by not getting anyone at WrestleCon. How the only person you? I might you're get just gonna is be sleeping in if I go. How upset are you that Diona lost in the uh, Women of Honor tournament? <sighs> if I got you, damn it. If I got you a WrestleCon that. pass for your birthday, would you meet people? No, I'd go, but I'm not. That's I, so, I don't so want you much, to go and meet nobody. I I might just go just to like so we can film stuff and it'd be cool. Cause I don't want to stay at home and not be in the videos. But I I'm not. I can't. I'm not gonna waste that kind of money for people I don't want to meet. Simon Grimm. That's it. Like there's Flip nobody. Flip Gordon. I'm not, fuck, fuck Flip Gordon. Gordon. It's a joke. Me? You can meet him at any W for free. Fuck Flip Gordon. Like the list is just, I just not. This is the best WrestleCon. I have had. to spend a ton of money to try and find a Finn Balor or fucking a Sasha. Sasha's not on Ticketmaster? No, none of them are, except for fucking, like, Asuka and Dean. Asuka and Alma still are. Have you seen the card for uh, Supercard of Honor? It's not great. It's not anywhere near TakeOver. Briscoes versus Jay Lethal and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Kenny King versus Silas Young in a last man standing match. That should be pretty good. I like Silas Young. Fucking Silas Young. Tomohiro Ishii versus Punishment Martinez. I feel like Punish Martinez is terrible. Hangman Page versus Kota Ibushi. I hated Page when he was, like, Adam Page, when he was with fucking The Decade, BJ Whitmer and someone. I remember he was, like, their lackey, and I was like, this guy's fucking terrible. Dalton Castle versus uh, The Villain. I've never seen a Marty Scrow match. Is he good? Is that a title match? Yeah. Cody versus Kenny. It's, like, those are great matches. There's just nowhere near gets, Aleister Black and He gets and to eat uh, Deanna's butthole. And he, true. Cody gets to eat fucking Brandy's butthole. Deanna's hotter. Yeah, then uh, hot. six-man tag I match for the wasn't. ROH six-man titles. So yeah. Kellen Center versus the Kingdom. The Kingdom better effing win. I wish. I'd mark it. They better who's, effing who's win. Who's the third guy? Scorpio, Scorpio Sky. Scott. You could, is it, it's on the same time as NXT, right? The exact same time? Yeah. So you can text me when who wins, and if they win, I'm going to fucking mark out. I think out. he's going to be watching NXT. Yeah, 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 I'm going to go check on Twitter. St- exactly. Yeah. I don't think he's going to order Ring of Honor. Middle, order middle of the that. middle of the card, it's gonna be like Shayna Baszler versus Ember Moon. It's gonna be a rest hold, and Matt's just gonna go, "Yes!" <laughs> be like, "The Kingdom." He'll hear me from section three hundred. Are you gonna be disappointed that Almas is gonna lose the uh, title, Aleister Black? No, because he actually beat Gargano, which I didn't think he was. He's had a pretty long title reign, and he's gonna go to Raw or SmackDown. How bad's it gonna be when Gargano loses to Ciampa? He has to lose. Yeah. Well, I mean, if he, you have... if he just does it where he's only hired for one match. He could win. But then what does Champa do? 
he just fucking bitches. goes to 205 Live and they feud for the Cruiserweight title. He probably title. stays in NXT and just bitches. Yeah, exactly. Pissed he, he is. Uh, I think Garg- Ciampa has to win. But you don't have Gargano lose that match after he... He goes out on his back again. He, he's also the guy like Sami Zayn. It's like he can lose and lose and lose and like it doesn't hurt him because we sucks. love him. Sammy does not. Sucks. I don't. I don't get. What an idiot! That thing. Like, like, I hate when you say things like that because I agree with you on so much that Matt disagrees with, but you give yourself no credibility. So I'm convinced he doesn't even think the Miz is a really good wrestler. He's just convinced himself that he's no. I actually, anybody that I, I like. think the Miz I is awesome. I believe you. Yeah, this not as awesome. a wrestler. He's an as awesome a wrestler. As a better, he's a better character than he is a wrestler. I'll say that. But he's an amazing character. He's a. It's. A, it's. There's no one on the mic better than the Miz right now. He's the best heel in the WWE. John Cena is still better than him. Miz best Con- heel in the WWE. Easily. Who's a better heel? Who are the top heels? Miz. That mm. aren't over. Like he actually gets booed. Like Rusev. Nobody Jin- cares about Baron Corbin. Jinder. Yeah, Jinder gets booed. He he gets silence. I mean, but the Miz can't, Miz couldn't even pronounce fucking Fergal Devin. He speaks. Too I think he did fast. it on purpose. I don't think he did. I thought he did too, no but he said There's, Tyler. He wouldn't have said Tyler Black. He would have said. He would have been like. Myler Tack. Well, maybe he said it just to like mock Finn Balor because no, Finn Balor's not over. According definitely to not. Miz. He already made he, fun he, of him. He, no, he fucked up. He me- he messes up too much to give him the benefit of the doubt. He he speaks too fast and he stutters a lot or yeah, mispronounces a lot. Yeah, because he's he's just not smart. Yeah, it's nothing to do with intelligence. Yes, it does. It's just speaking, your brain, your mouth works faster than your it's brain. Nothing to do with intelligence, and then immediately mentions his brain. I'm just saying your mouth goes faster than your brain. It's not like how stupid he is. It's not like he knew. It's not like he thought his name was Fergal Nevitt. How do you know? He could have. So, so when you mispronounce and you stutter, you're not stupid. You're just, I'm talking too fast. You're not fast. stupid. That makes you fucking stupid. If I stupid. accidentally say Dolph Zagler, I know his name's Dolph Ziggler. I just accidentally misspoke. Yeah. That, I mean, I'm not stupid because fucking, of it. You think fucking Einstein would have misspoke? No. Yes. yes. He fucking failed all of his classes. That has nothing to do. I mean, I'm sure that's not true. No, he actually failed. He failed a lot. out of class. Yeah. He failed out of school. He dropped out. He dropped out or failed out. Both. Which one is it? You can't. He's both. the guy that his teachers told him he would never succeed. You can't both. Did he drop out or did he fail out? He, well, he failed, and I think he dropped out. I'm sure he didn't never misspoke though. Never in his life misspoke. Probably not. There, that's a bigger overstatement than saying I'm me saying Roman Reigns every single match is great. Never misspoke. Albert Einstein had a perfect life. Never misspoke. Perfect sure. game for his life. Miz misspeaks what all do you think the time. Of the nine person obviously not though. smart. He's not. But they had Jack Curry in there. That guy's a fucking idiot. Like, according to Michael K, Jack Curry is like first ticket to heaven. Like all like pro person. Says he's one of the nicest guys ever. Yeah, then why would he block me when I didn't even say anything mean to him? You probably did. I didn't. I said he was complaining. Didn't they only never... block you because you said something about well, her ass? I said something bad. But like she, you never looked it up. I think Posada was like. It wouldn't let me see it. I'm not going to hit. What, were you fucking blocked by fucking Jack Curry too? No, it didn't show anything above it. It's weird. When you said this is what I think it is, there was nothing above it. It was something to be like 2011 where somebody was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna hit ninth. I'd rather not play." And Jack Curry said something, and I was like, "So what? Why? I don't understand that. Why wouldn't you just say, yeah, I suck. I shouldn't hit tenth. Even t- couldn't even hit tenth right now. Put me on the bench. Something like that. I didn't even say, Jack, you're dumb. I was just like, I don't understand what you're talking about. What was Jack me. saying? Just said, I don't know what he was talking about. He's no Bob so Lorenz. Long. Yeah, but somebody was complaining about where they were hitting in the lineup, and I, he was probably reporting about it. And I said, "Well, I don't understand." So he didn't have a personal stance on it. Why would he? He's a fucking reporter. He was reporting I don't something. Know, and I said, "I don't would... understand why Posada would say this. He should say, I suck. I shouldn't even hit tenth, and then fucking not be in the lineup.' And then he fucking blocked me because he probably was like, "This guy telling me that I suck." Maybe he so probably he's a fucking your tweets tool. and so you say a he lot of dumb shit. He also has a stupid face. Whatever. I'd rather see Al Leiter in that booth any fucking day. Kidding Ryan, me? Ryan Rucco should have made that. Yeah, no. Ryan Rucco is a great announcer. He actually does calls like Doc Emmerich where he gets excited and doesn't do the Michael K where he says the exact same phrase every time. Oh, makes him good, I guess. I like. I prefer somebody who has a different call every home run than the same one. So you must love John Sterling. Then. He's getting a Stanton ovation. That made me way so angry. That's the worst no, call No, he ever. does the same thing. It is high. It is far. It is gone. Even when it's not high or far. Or, or gone. <laughs> so I guess Ruko's not creative enough to actually come up with one then. No, he is creative enough to have a different saying. Just I don't think he thing. has a saying. He just he doesn't have a saying. Exactly. He has so a he reaction. He just says, oh, and that ball is gone. Like, yeah, he did you hear his home run against the judge of Seattle? He, yeah, I don't. 
You don't need a call. You need to react and have it be uh, emotional. And so then, literally anyone can do that. All, all he can do no. is react. Because he has. He's... So Michael K is not good. No, it's just two different styles of broadcasting. I prefer a guy like Doc Emmerich. It's not. It's also baseball. It's... I'm just saying a guy who. So, wait, but who puts emotion should, and screams? He, score! He shouldn't be saying score then, because it's the same call every time. No, it's, he screams it different every time. He's, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You just I said just, you don't want him because Michael K says see it every time. No, Doc says goes, goal every time. He goes time. back, track, wall, gone. Instead of like, look up the Ryan just, Ruka call against Seattle where it was like, he said like eight different things and it was awesome. He also calls four games a year. So, of course, he doesn't fucking say the same stuff because he's never he on TV. He doesn't have a catchphrase. He's not one of the catchphrase guys. That doesn't mean he's good. I think he is really good. I'm sorry you don't. Like that That's my mean, opinion. Like, because he doesn't have a catchphrase. That's why I like him. You and, can't tell me that's not a reason why I don't like him. That's because he's good. Well, how yeah, does that make him he's good. good? Why you think he's good. Because he has good home run calls, and they're different every time. I'm still here, guys. Just saying. He, is, <laughs> he called one home run. He's called a bunch of them. He called one in the preseason that was awesome for Gary Sanchez. Well, what did he say? I, I don't remember the word for word, but I remember Great. it was a good call. Gary Sanchez, home run. Probably. I mean, all he has to do is react. Yeah. Oh my, he's good. I, I'm sorry. You can't. He, Michael K. sometimes sounds like a robot. Someone with John Sterling. I, I don't. I don't agree. I mean, I you do. listen to him on the fucking radio every day, and he sounds like a robot. Why are you a fan No, of him? when he's announcing a home run call, it's all I'm saying. I don't understand how that's a bad thing. It's not like there's it's a not, home run all the time. Did I ever say Michael K was bad? No, he you, didn't. you just said did Ryan Rucco like was Michael better. K. You didn't say Ryan Rucco was better. He said Ryan Rucco was amazing. I said I love Ryan Rucco calling games. He said he should call more games. He will one day when Michael Can't K retires in 40 years. Whoa, whoa. I don't think Ryan Ruka's ever played some Michael he, K. That's what they say all the time on, oh. on the Michael K show. It'll never happen. Literally, they're like, Ruka's waiting for you, man, waiting for you to step out the door. Ruka will get a permanent job somewhere else long before that. Well, Michael yeah. K has got another 15 years. Well, he also does the the Nets games a lot, so he has 15 a job 15 years? Yes. Michael K's what? Not even 60 no, Michael yet? Michael K will last like 25, 30, 40 more years. They're going to have to carry him out of the booth. Michael K is almost 60. They're going to have to carry him out of the booth at one-on-one. He's 57 or 58. No, he'll, he'll, he's got totally he's like 80. No, but he'll probably want to retire sooner than later to watch his kids grow up, you know, before he dies. I think he'd give up the, the radio show before that. The yeah. radio show is easier to do, though. He, he doesn't do go on ro- most road trips now. He, he doesn't, still goes he doesn't go out west. He doesn't go west. He's, a, he's out there for most of them. He probably does 140 to, to 162 or, games. I don't think he goes that. to L.A. or Seattle. They only go there like twice. Exactly. Those are the ones he misses. So he still does a ton but of But I games. think he would do the radio show before doing the Yankees because if he does a radio that's show, easy. he doesn't no, have to travel. That's his dream job, he yeah. says. Yeah, he's been doing his dream job for 30 years. He, I'm almost positive he'd give up the radio show. That's also more taxing. He does that every day for four hours instead of a couple months. He does it every day. Yeah, but it's months. only four hours, though, you know? So he, yeah, the Yankees, I, I, I Yankee season's only a couple of months. But he's been gone since February. He's been in Tampa most of the time. The Yankee season's a couple of months. It's half a year. Yeah, and the radio show doesn't have an off season. No, but he only has to work four hours. It's, his show's only four hours. Yeah, three to seven. Francesca and Russo would do like six or seven. It's not that. That's Monday that's through like, Friday. That's, that's a part time job. That's a great fucking job. Only has I, to work likes, four hours a day. He likes doing Yankee games. Better. No, I know he likes doing Yankee games. I mean, his daughters. Like, but if what, it was five, about fucking four, something if it was like that. about. But watching. I'm saying he's gonna. He's he would go to less games, but he still would do all the home games. I could see him doing something like that, just doing home games. Pretty sure Vince Scully did that the last couple of years. Pretty sure Vince Scully can do I mean, whatever that guy's the fuck he wants. Also, ninety something. He li- physically cannot travel. Well, how old is Vince Scully? I think he's like eighty-seven. I think he's in yeah. his nineties. Ninety on the dot. Wow. But he retired two years ago. Piece of shit. Couldn't even do it until you're ninety. He's his him as an announcer. He also doesn't get excited for calls, but he tells just stories throughout the entire game that are like amazing. Guy's ninety. What do you want him to do? No, I'm just his whole career. Uh, I mean, what kind of frame of reference do you have for Vin Scully? Uh, I remember when listening I was to him in back LA in and I talked to people about it who listened to him and I'm saying why. I asked him why is he always like that? Is he not? Is he have? Is he ever get excited for home run calls? And he said no. He doesn't like to. Uh, I think you the quote was he doesn't. To, he doesn't like to, to. He likes the the play to be itself. He doesn't want to overshadow the play or something. Which I think it only enhances the play when you have a good call. Yeah, but you don't have to be excited to have a good call. But like, even though Ch- Charlie Culberson home run to clinch the playoff spot two years ago on Vin Scully's last home game, it's a home is a deep to left, and it's a home run, Charlie Culberson. Like I'm just like, come on, it's your last game. Get a little excited. That guy's ninety. If he got excited, he'd die. Well, he was eighty nine at that point, or eighty eighty eight. I guess if Ryan Rucco's better than him. 
Oh, well, Michael Conforto's like on the DL. I like Ryan Rucco is all I said. Wait, did we just say Ryan Rucco is better than Vince Scully? Well, he acted All like he I was said was I like oh. Ryan Rucco. I like that style of said, announcing. You said he was great, and I said I, I don't think so. All right, well, you yelled at my opinion. Which I don't is. know how he's great, though. He's great to you. You, just you cannot have opinions. You just made it seem like he's the fucking best, and everyone knows it. I think he's great. I think he's a very good announcer. Even Michael K thinks he's a good announcer. Damn it, Ryan Rucco, you're the tops. I don't like his voice. I, I don't Michael like that K. I'm older than him. Michael, Michael, R2C2 is an awesome podcast. Michael K's voice is. Cool. I don't like that I'm older than him and he's done more in his life than I'll ever possibly. Ruko? Yes. How old is he? 30. Shit, good for Ruko. Maybe 31. He's a good looking dude. Yeah, he's 31. You Have you ever listened to R2C2? No. It's pretty good. CC swears a lot. Does he? Yeah. Well, I've only listened to two, though. It was uh, Judge and uh, Russell Wilson. They're short. Russell Wilson wants 20 minutes, I think. Judge is 40 minutes. What, CeCe's got to go to the bar? Too busy? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. They did the judge one in the tunnel in Tampa. And, like, at one point, all the pitchers walk by him, and they're like, oh, they're looking at CeCe. Why aren't you going with him, CeCe? So, I don't know. It's a good podcast. We're almost at three hours. There's been, like, Jesus. four or five air balls in this game. Yeah, it's pretty Somebody terrible. Somebody air a free throw. This is horrific. Have you, you seen the, uh, did you see, uh, What's his name? Chris Paul. Was it Chris Paul? Yeah, Chris Paul went to Wake Forest, right? Yeah, did you see him in high school? He, uh, he, the day his, like, grandpa died, he scored this exact amount of points as his, as his age, and his last one was on a free throw, drains the first one, airballs the second one, walks off the court. No, that's kind of awesome. Oh, his grandfather's age. His grandfather's age? Yeah, it was, like, 70 or 80. He scored in high school. Points. Look it up, yeah. It was, it was a lot. Maybe it was 60-something. He might have died young. Throwing away points. What? What if, it, what if yeah. they needed that last point? I think they were up by a 61. Lot. 61, yeah, it was young. Oh, because his grandfather was beaten and left to die. Jesus. Oh, he didn't die normally. He was murdered. Yeah. Jesus. Did he die, or was he just left to die? Oh, he left to die and then died. Oh, wow. That's that's the worst. Yikes. Did they catch the guy who did it? Five people. Did they catch the guys? Yep. At least it took, it took five, five people to beat fucking a one sixty year old guy. Sixty one year old. Jesus. Fuck Duke. Roman Reigns would have walked away from that. Yeah, he would have been. He would have gotten up crawled. and speared him. Would have crawled. One spear to five guys. Yeah, he would speared one through the other. He four. would spear literally a five guys burger. It makes no sense. He gets beat up way worse than he got on Monday. They were just trying to get him sympathy. Put him on the stretcher, have Brock horribly dump the stretcher, botch it. He pushed it first. Yeah, he, just wanted to, he just wanted to give him a little ride. Didn't do anything. He pushed it, and then it fell over, and he didn't hit him again. He got beat up with a chair for like a minute, and they put him on a stretcher. Did you see the meme? I think Griff sent it to me. Horrific. It was like when, you're, uh, when your hospital realizes you don't have insurance, and just saw Brock running and pushing the stretcher. Fucking awful. He got beat up for way too long. People are going to shit on that match so much. Even well, that's why it's not going on last. Even though it will be good. No, it is 100% going on last. No way. What is? Rhonda. It's not. That'll be worse. That should be on the pre-show. Rhonda? Yeah. I wish. You That'd thought it was going to be match of the night. I never said it was going to be match Didn't, of the night. Wasn't he hyping it up at one point? I don't think so. I, I don't think thinks, I ever said it was going to be match of the night. He thinks Rhonda's going to be better than I think so, but she's, she's not. I think Rhonda's going to be a good wrestler. Eventually. Based on what if I've she seen. she does it full time. Based on what I've seen, I no. She's going to do it. We've seen less I bet of, you she's not we've even We've seen less of Rhonda, though, than we have of Sam Darnold. You mean Sam Darno? Yeah, taking it That's back full circle. That sounds it's so Sam much. Darno, D A. How would should we no. spell it? D A R N E A U D. How does no. Travis spell it? Or, I think that way. Or, I think no, it's like D apostrophe. Who's the other Darno? I already came up with the title and I already forgot it. What did I say it was before? Uh, David Otunga, leader of the court. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that has to be it. That's a great title. You're a great title. I wish I was. I feel like we've said David Otunga, leader of the court, though, on like five different podcasts. Yeah, but we, we discussed it, and yeah, exactly. I, I love it. how we were going to end the podcast about an hour ago. Yeah. I want to get my fucking PlayStation plugged in and fucking download some shit. And uh, your your network won't be fucking behind everyone. It still probably will. The internet down here is slower than upstairs. Shit happens on, on Raw no. quicker. In this in our house at home, his Xbox was always behind my PlayStation. Oh, really? I think it's just Same the internet. Xbox network. They're fucking terrible. You're terrible. Thanks. Horses are terrible. When does the show come out? Tuesday? I think Tuesday. And when will the cover have come on it by? Tuesday night? Yeah. Nice. It comes out. And this isn't a game that Tuesday. Remy will play and then give to me. 
like WWE where you get sick of immediately. So I have to actually go buy it. Which God That's knows true. how long it'll take. But damn it, Mark That's DeRosa right. replaces Harold Reynolds in commentary. Who? Mark DeRosa. It's a- a- Rod rid of Harold Spin Reynolds? Now. Fuck that. It's Matt Vescurgeon, Dan Plesak, and Mark DeRosa. I also love Matt Vescurgeon. Oh, are you saying for the game? Yeah. Wait, Harold Reynolds isn't in it? He's so annoying. Yeah, he got replaced. I never heard of that guy, though. Who, who replaced him? Mark DeRosa. Who's a baseball player? Yeah, but, like, does he announce? Play uh, for MLB Network. Uh, probably know his voice. Here's a sweet WWE meme. Brock Lesnar, I... Suplex City, bitch. Roman, Brock really is a bitch. Paul Heyman, Universal title is Brock's bitch. So at WrestleMania 34 main event, a bitch is going to fight another bitch for that bitch's bitch. <laughs> A lot of bitches going on. I always didn't like Matt Vasgersian because of the show. I thought his voice was kind of annoying until I fucking – he announced the uh, the series against uh, Cleveland, and he had some great calls, and I thought he, he was a good announcer. I never actually really, like, listened to him call a real game. I don't, only, I've only those have... six fucking phrases he knows in the show. His home run call against Bird was – against – for Bird against Miller was fucking awesome. And the two Gregorius home runs off Kluber. Oh, and the NHL playoffs don't start until we get back, so we won't miss that. Really? Sweet. The 12th. That's crazy. Okay, that's wrong. I don't know why it says I was going to say, because last year it started when we got back, but this year it's a week later. And don't worry, John Mara said about... John uh, Mayer? J- John Mara? Isn't that Mara? what you said when you Yeah, said I thought that's what he said. <laughs> about the Giants' search for a franchise quarterback to succeed Eli Manning. We may have one on the roster right now. We just don't know that yet. Yeah, who's the, th- never who's the played. other QB on the roster? Davis Webb. But there's, there's no one else? Why do, Why not just say Davis Webb then? Yeah. I don't it might know. be Davis Webb. Why not say it? Might, it could be anyone else. It could be the punter. Do we have a punter yet? Probably not. April 11th. So. Let's is draft this, one second overall. April 11th, so the day we get back. Yeah, that Wednesday. Ooh, that could be fun. You think the Devils are making it? Are they? What are they, four, three, six points up? Three points up on Florida, I think. They're winning a lot, though, right? They had Six a good road trip, 10. but fucking Tampa, uh, Columbus just won 10 in a row before losing. The Giants do have a punter. Who? Austin Rexshow. Is that his real what name? A name. He got he signed on January 1st, a reserve slash future contract with the Giants. Rexshow? How do you spell it? Oh, Recho. Ah, oh, you That's bastard. R-E-H-K-O-W. It's almost better. Wreck the hoe. Wreck that hoe. God damn. I need a Recho jersey. And the only quarterbacks you guys have are uh, Eli and Davis Webb. And fucking... Wait, so who the fuck's going to be our third string quarterback? Josh you, Allen? You don't need to Jake have Jake Allen? Jake Allen. No, it's Josh. No, it's Jake. It's the not... Goalie. We can't like draft him. Though. Martin Brodeur? We have to sign him. Yeah, I wish. He'd probably be a better quarterback than Davis Mark Webb. Mark Tan? Martin. That's our, what our uncle thought Our uncle was. was like, I always thought it was Mark Tan Brodeur. He thought Tan Brodeur was the last name? I guess I thought so. he thought his middle name was Tan. He, <laughs> I'm kidding. Cowboys Dan? only have two quarterbacks. Dan? Damn. For now, everyone signs a third quarterback. No, they only had two quarterbacks all last year. They didn't have one on the practice squad? They had just Dak and Cooper Rush. So if Dak goes down, they're, they're fucked. Then they would have signed a quarterback. Yeah, but that Cooper week, Rush, baby, Cooper Rush rookie. goes down. I think we should end this now. Yeah. Probably all at right. like 2.40 now. All right. 3.02. We're up to three hours? Yeah. I told you we were almost at three like four minutes ago. Why the fuck did we stop? We stop. ended the podcast an hour ago and we kept going. He yeah. stopped recording an hour ago. We've just been talking. I, I would never do this again, man. Peace, motherfuckers. Wasted. Bye, 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 bye. bye, bye. bye. Fuck you, die. <laughs> what you was die. the best one? Penis, 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 <laughs> penis, 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 penis. Goodbye, penis. Die. Bye, bye. You, you, you get control of whenever I it happens, and so I barely talk. It. Yeah, he does. He's Eat too it. focused on trying to stop. He it. Eat. Malk. Bye, Malk. <laughs> Logan Barrett, BTB, butt fucker.